Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. This is episode 425. This is going to be our Ten of Swords set review. Strap in, get ready. It's going to be a wild ride. I'm your sexy ranch and co host, Calderness. Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how do six yeah. people yeah. think I am funny? It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which Absolute fools, it's not Witcher nonsense. I'm now gonna make your hero clicks rise you by cool stuff inks dot com. Are you kidding kidding stuff. Me? Okay, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I thought. I thought well, thirty. Wow. Well, well, yeah, all right. Well, you can get you can get cool stuff in stock. Now it's over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was true. Who's brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. You find cool stuff in stock every day, including all these true hook singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Joining me, like always, in the studio is Simeon Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? Oh, third times the charm, man. Um, so, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, fun again, stories, uh, fun stories all around. This is our third time recording this episode. This, this is there's no longer what made us happy this week, what made us grumpy and crabby this week. Mm -hmm. Um, against the, the information we must have in this episode to bestow upon you the otherworldly ideas that we have inside of our brains about Ten of Swords must be so incredibly influential that all forces, natural and unnatural, need to try yeah. to stop us from recording this episode. Um, so, Simeon, we originally started recording this episode the Saturday. The Rockefellers. The, yeah. you know, there's, there's some that are still alive that I don't want to name. but You can't mention those ones. Um, <laughs> no, we started recording this episode, well, recording is a loose term, uh, Saturday, waiting for the live stream to start. Yeah. And it was going really through. well. Got halfway through the set. And I was like, this is a great episode. We have some great it insight. We're doing, so good. Pretty, we're doing pretty fast. You know, we're doing quick, concise dials. And we're like, let's just check OBS really quick. See if it's like recording. And it, it was not. It was not recording. So we talked for two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, got almost through the rares. And it was not recording whatsoever. And so Simi and I were just having a fun chat. Last night quite literally an act of god stopped us from it did, it did. So, so the simian well first before that happened you couldn't even get ready to record oh, you didn't have yeah. your headphones I, you had I had to, to go out and get headphones because i left those in uh sioux falls um i had yep. to redo all of my settings because apparently replugging my microphone and everything into my computer made it like discover it as a new device rather than one that's been quite literally been doing like the same exact thing for three years. Um, yeah. And yeah, so like it took, we tried to start at like five. It was like 620 when yeah. we finally got around to like starting. Yeah. And then we um, almost got through the intro. As as I say, blah, blah, blah. I did the, it's 425. How do you, how do you, let's get rowdy. Music is playing and my, my power cuts out. Oh, no, really? I, like, my Discord freezes. And then someone yells from upstairs. And I'm like, ah, oh, shoot. Power comes back on. It c goes out again. I run upstairs. I'm like, what's going on? What's wrong? And there is smoke rolling through one of our pastures um, towards the house. And I'm like, well, that is a ton of smoke. And they're go check that out and see what's up you know it's raining it's whatever it's lightning and stuff and sure enough it's it's a pasture we have cows in too and like so it's a little scary and i get there and there's like two maybe three football field lengths of this scorched earth literally it was so like, narrow though it was very narrow i didn't was, get was the wind really like, strong you know the wind was moving around a lot but it wasn't crazy strong so i was like man it burnt a ton it's like I see. I see the spot where, like, I assume the lightning struck the grass, and it was a very dry day. Um, and it starts this like prairie fire. It wasn't on fire when I got there, but it was such a long, narrow strip of just like burnt, and it was just burnt. It goes like under through, like it goes around these hills. And I'm like, what in the world? And like, everything is still like smoking and smoldering. And I'm like, geez, it's smoky. I can barely like breathe around here. And it's like horrible. And and yeah, and so I like have to wait until we get water and put out all these little spots. And you know, I call my parents. I'm like, hey, the cows like there's a fire. <laughs> there's a fire in the like where the cows were. It's out now, but 
because of like the rain, I assume. And so we do that. As I am leaving the pasture to drive back home on the four wheeler, the H brace, if you know what an H brace was, uh, falls apart. And I'm like, awesome. So I put in a new steel post so I can jury rig the gate together so the cows don't get out. And I'm like, this is so cool. By the time I like, I, I texted Sydney like before I went out, I'm like, just let's not, we can't record. Let's just not record. Yeah, I get back at like, like 8 30, 9 o'clock, like two hours later. And I'm just like, what is going on? So now we're recording. Now this episode is happening. We're recording this episode so far against no all odds. <laughs> so far, no We've snags. We'll see. Hundred tests. Um, I'm watching OBS very carefully. Uh, still says recording. So we're five, oh, almost six minutes in. Oh boy. And, uh, yeah. No sign oh. of stopping. So. Uh, so our ten of swords set review, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be kind of with a. Uh, sealed in mind slash battle royale in mind yeah. because of Gen Con being this week and battle royales being ran with this also set. Also, the set everything. drops today as set of this today. recording. Yeah, drops today. Uh, right on schedule, technically. The reason why we had the intro play over uh, normal is just so that we can get this a little bit quicker. There's going to be yeah. almost no editing to this, if any at all. Uh, yeah. So, hopefully. Oh boy! Hopefully the zero editing uh, works out in our favor. But um, yeah. yeah, Gen Con's happening. There's some news. We'll get to all that next week. We'll probably have some more news next week, anyhow. Um, right. But yeah, X of Swords. Was I going with odds this time? I, you know, how about I just take the odds again? Okay. I kind of liked my odds. I liked my crew. I was talking about. I like them. So, um, first is Storm. I played this storm sealed last week in our pre-release. Um, her big cool thing is that she has the Gale Force knockback. Force blast is free. When storm uses it, she may choose a direction of the knockback. So, to me, this is this is just really cool uh, to position around opposing characters. I use this to obviously get them away for her, so I could support her, or I would move them into somebody that had flurry but no move and attack. 45 points this isn't uh this isn't incredible uh but this free way to move opposing characters is like it makes me miss ye oldie tk um this is better yeah. than that it's really cool or uh, uh but yeah, she's got some shot. spell thing shot yeah wwe people wwe it's, baby um it's been stealth since that combat reflexes um she's a 10 for three she's got flight she's x-men she's nothing crazy but a casual fun pick for sure as far as like a battle royale or a sealed pick, she's not. There's not a lot of flyers in this set. Sim, so take the no, flyers and the true. perplexes you can get. Not yeah. a bad sealed pick, a flyer perplexer. Uh, the Gale Force knockback I enjoyed in sealed battle royale pick. I don't know. She's not like the last one in the booster, but she's like second to last. I would say battle royale yeah, pick. Not a great. Not a like yeah. not a four out of five good. A fourth out of fifth pick. Fourth, um, yeah, she's your fourth choice in a battle royale. I would on say. What's in my booster? Normally, in a third and booster, else. I'm still looking no. for an attacker. Right. But... If there's like a generic or something, yeah. I would choose her over a generic, of course. But right. like, yeah. It also like, depends storm. on dial length and stuff like that. She does bring to the table in a battle royal a perplex and a flight and yeah. stealth combat reflexes. She's a little bit harder to kill than uh, some of the lower point things in the set. But yeah. True. I I really want to see what her sword does because the sword her sword that she carries is not in this set. It's going oh, to be not organized been... play. Oh, okay. Um, so I'd really like to see what her sword does to see if it makes any part of her like knockback stuff interesting. I'm guessing it's not. And obviously, to, but... you can start with any sword. But so far, like, why would you start if you pull a sword? Don't don't give it to Storm. The no yeah. movement attack in this rough particular set. Sword. Like, in this maybe case, in constructed, yeah. but in this particular set, yeah. Um, Anyone that you pull in sealed or in battle royals, you're going to play that person with their sword because they to tend play, yeah. to be a better character than the other optional yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of better than the optional people, here's another optional person that you can play with a sword. <laughs> um, also, don't know what his sword does. I can't even remember the name of it right now. But this is Cipher 002 in the set. He's got some fun keywords. He's got all the like normal X adjacent kind of keywords. Um, and that's basically it. No generic ones. But 25 points, X-Men team ability, 3 range, which I think... Uh, Storm has 5. five. I was going to say, I think I a lot of bro. the sword bearers get 3. If they wouldn't normally have range, the sword bearers oh, get okay. 3 range for some reason. Okay. 
but this is old Duglock. So he can start with a sword, so he could be 30 points. There'd have to be a sword that makes him like some sort of super support kind of thing, because this dial is not attacking like most of no. the time. No move and attack, no special attack powers, no attack powers to speak of at all. Uh, just toughness with four clicks and four clicks of empower enhancement. Um, this is a guy in sealed. I'm definitely putting on my team if I can fit him. Uh, empower enhancement. That's plus one damage to anybody, like whatever they're doing. Yeah, that's just no awesome. matter what. Um, Battle Royale. It's hard because this isn't going to be a first round pick. This isn't going to be a second. It's not going to be a third. Like I said, I'm looking for my main attacker, like basically the highest point figure I pull. Um, second one, I'm looking for like either the highest point or something that just really meshes well with the first one. Third, I'm trying to find like a tertiary, like a range attacker or like somebody that can kind of like sit back and like kind of take shots. Uh, so like fourth, it depends on what else I pull, like what else I'm past. But fourth yeah. pick, I could see myself grabbing this guy over something else because of the empower enhancement. Um, but I don't see him ever coming to you as like a fifth pick. Maybe. Maybe if you like pull him in your no, booster I, and it's I, just a loaded booster, they yeah. All if it's pass a super him. loader booster, then maybe he does make it all the way back to you. But yeah. that kind of depends. So. But no, like I, I wouldn't waste my third pick on him unless it was some real bad third pick stuff. But yeah. uh, in constructed and in sealed, absolutely stunner. It's uh, tough. X Men for twenty five. Like two two uh, damage powers that increase damage, so it's both of the good things for a little support yeah. dude. Plus, he looks fun. Look at him. He got a little smile. It's all right. Yeah. He's all happy right. to be there. He's all yeah. right, I guess. I do like that hey. pose with like the one hand on the, uh, yeah. the sword. Yeah, it's solid. Uh, Solemn. Solemn's my guy. Uh, he's got one awesome trait, and that's he can reduce penetrating damage, which is great because he's got like yeah. four clicks of invulnerability top dial with then four clicks can. of toughness. A charge with precision strike for four damage. Uh, homeboy can potentially start with a sword. This is one where I'd be like, you know, maybe give Solemn that sword. He's a I mean, great attacker. Precision strike like, plus blades is pretty yeah. solid. Like, yeah, like I dig it. Plus some of the effects. Um, yeah. Dribbles on to a little bit of flurry exploit later, so he's like not out of the game totally. He's only 85 points for a common. This to me is like your power common. I could see. Playing a ton of these. Number yeah. one sealed. Like I feel like you got to put them on your team. It, it will say unless you're making an X Men team because he doesn't have X Men. Um, but in Battle Royal, to me, he's like a number one or at least a number two pick, depending on like what else yeah. you have. If you get a bad rare, a solid like, number two. I won't call it a bad rare, but if you get like a support, like if I pull Wizkid, right? Yeah, it's gonna be really hard for me to pick Wizkid as my like the number one pick in my booster. If right. this is like a guy that's also in the booster. Because yeah. do I want an 11 for 4, or do I want, like, a just support piece kind of thing? Uh, exactly. Probably going with this. Battle Royale, damage is king, attackers are king. So, man, the three, that three range, though. Ooh, optional yeah. sword trait gives you three range. Look at that, Solemn. But no, Solemn's a great pick. I I love the guy. Yeah, and like Calder was saying with Storm, uh, being able to, like, do that force blast back to him where he'd have a flurry 10 yeah. for 3 with exploit. Yeah. His 45-point line isn't... Ah. It's an option, so like it, it exactly sealed, cuts his dial in half. So yeah. it's like, eh, okay. In sealed, it's like, do I already I, have something better than him? I and I have forty five points left because honestly, I just do not like that bottom dial for. Anything. He just he tanks so much damage with invulnerability. Like I know it can still yeah. be outwitted, but like he just tanks so much damage having invuln over toughness. It's like it's just so much invincible better. when it's protected. It is, yeah, like, reduced penetrating damage. Reduced pen, yeah. And yeah. uh, speaking of someone who can deal pen damage, we've Ooh. got the first generic, uh, one keyword, robot, uh, 50 points, which is high for a generic. That, like, takes me back to the, like, Parademon kind of, like, uh, Justice League Trinity oh, sure. kind of era. Yeah. Like, generics could cost a Expensive ton of generics, money. yeah. So 50 points. Uh, but 50 points, that's, like, not, not worth just discarding. So, uh, running shot, psychic blast. He's five speed running shot and then five range. So effective ten range, uh, ten attack with three damage. Only got invuln with a seventeen, and then he stops or 
does not stop. Uh, on click four <laughs> through six, he has flurry with close combat expert. So he's an 11 for four and then a 10 for four for his last three clicks, which is almost as good as three damage pen um, on his like last half of the dial. The lack of uh, high defense values is a little frustrating, but this is a, an absolute killer piece in Battle Royals. Uh, this is like something that I would definitely consider for my second or third piece. Um, I agree, absolutely yeah. for my fourth and fifth. If this gets past me, I'm more than happy to take it because it's a long dial. I don't have to worry about the points. And like he's got multiple ways of dealing damage. He can close the gap and then just body block for a turn. And then he's on flurry with pretty solid close combat expert values. So, yeah, I really like this guy. In Constructed, I don't care about this character. I don't know where this he's character is. He's really expensive. Came from. Yeah, he's got yeah. low attack values. Really I'd really expensive. like to collect this guy, but there's other generics that I'm going to collect first for sure. Yeah. That's yeah, a little rough. Yo, we got a vampire, Simeon. Check him out. Look at him go. Vampire. Uh, I like him. I like him for 25 points. He's like, he's kind of got that. Nosferatu vampire look too, oh, yeah. with the being all bald and creepy. Gross like look. if, uh, and... let's see, what's that one guy's name? Um, if Lord Voldemort had a nose, kind of like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looks like if Lord Voldemort had a nose. That's a He's... callback that no one else gets. Oh, but... gosh, no. Uh, <laughs> just monster full dial of stealth, though, full dial of toughness, and full dial of exploit weakness with one top click of blades and then the rest of his dial being steel energy he doesn't vampire up but he heals back once he's been taking some damage 25 points i don't i don't hate him in a battle royale um i don't think you ever pick this guy i think you just kind of get stuck with him but i mean and then like five clicks of life with stealth is pretty tough for your opponent to justify on a 25 point figure when like yeah trying to be time efficient and like getting points or king like you can't one shot this yeah, guy score. You know, like, he's an 11 for one, but he's got Blades top dial. I don't know. It's solid. I could see him, you know, he's a fun little vampire piece. I'd play him in Constructed. I think he's a solid vampire. No moving attack, like always, is a bummer. But, I mean, the one you know, thing, that 11 Blades is it is so solid. Like, the one it's thing fine I would absolutely points. change about this guy, um, not necessarily give him flight, but give him the underworld team ability so that oh yeah vampires yeah. could carry vampires i know it doesn't really make sense but like that's just play wise that's how i would really like him because it would help i think his number one like use for me is going to be i can carry him up with someone else that's going to do an attack or like move up anyhow yeah. drop him down in stealth and um oh some body blocking possibly yeah. yeah possibly attack possibly body block but Mostly, I want to be able to use that eleven blades with exploit at some point. Uh, I don't really care about the like the two damage exploit later on. And I yeah. really, what I really hate about that is somebody like Solemn or someone like um, anyone with Invincible. That steel energy, his entire bottom dial does nothing. Like <laughs> it's a ten for two. Like having a printed two when someone's yeah, got two Invincible damage or reduces yeah. pen. It's so so bad. Um, I guess Alex might Alex might understand our reference to uh... Alex might Alex Alex <laughs> will yeah Alexo uh, yeah he'll get it Lord Voldemort with will. those uh, the next generic so this is another one that is along the same lines of Cipher she has a little bit more utility well a little different utility than Cipher for it's the different, same points yeah. um, so you're mostly playing her because you have a range attacker that can use the enhancement. So if I pull, like, the Fury that has that uh, 10 for 3, yeah. and I pull her, then I might combine those on a team to have a 10 for 4. Um, if I have enough range attackers, I'm playing her. In Battle Royal, I'm not picking her first. No moving attack. Psychic wow. Blast is fine. and But, like, the, the chances of me landing on that prob and it being useful at that point... You know, she's going to be like a 16 and it's going to be for close or like 16 and eight, uh, or 18 for range um, with like a prop. And that's assuming she takes like three damage. Yeah. It's rough. Want her to take three. <laughs> yeah. It's rough, especially when the, the vampire has five clicks for the same points. Uh, um, I mean, yeah. Yeah. She does have her, a rollout top goal, dial. 
But... I would say my biggest thing is make sure she's not within like solemn striking distance because that 11 for four precision strike yeah. would be very, she's very just bad. It done. just deletes her. So, yeah, yeah, try to be safe with how you position her, carrying her up yeah. and everything. I assume like she's Magneto's best friend. Don't get me oh, wrong. Yeah. He can carry yes. up an enhancement. There's a few characters like, we'll get to. Great. Her. Um, uh, she is yeah. awesome to play with in sealed or yeah. maybe even constructed. Um, constructed, as far as mystical goes, mystical enhancement or mystical prob already has a cheaper option. Like, sure, they're shorter dials, but I think the Lokis and the Doctor Fates are already be much better options than her. Uh, and they yeah. increase your action total on top of that. So, yeah, I like her. Um, she's not the first generic I'm going to grab. She's probably not even like in the top three from this set but i do like her um i think in a battle royal she would be passed to me like she would be the one that i'm stuck with i yeah. don't think i'm picking yeah. her, You're gonna end with her even fourth like i would agree yeah even though the like the range damage increase is cool it's just yeah. it's not something i want to bank on and most of the time i'm gonna need to pass something better anyhow uh next up the green priestess though uh, same 25 points here. Got some ESD, running shot, precision strike, two damage, just precision strike, the entire dial. Um, she just go on to some RCE with some super senses later. She's still only four clicks of life, which again makes her very one-shottable. Uh, definitely keep this chick away from Solemn. He will instantly kill her. No rollout, no nothing involved. Um, one thing to keep in mind, though, she's got a very low... She's got an eight square reach with her four squares from yeah. her eight speed running shot and her four square range. Um, she's only a 10 for two with precision strike. Not a terrible like tertiary like attacker in sealed maybe. I don't think I'd ever pick this in a battle royal. Like at least she's got running shot. She's maybe like a fourth round pick. It's between this and maybe something that has yeah. no movement attack or whatever. If you look um, ahead but... and you see you're getting past a white priestess Maybe you grab this and I would instead of snag her. something else. Yeah, um, I would snag her again. I wish yeah. for some reason they had flight or underworld. The priestesses had something so they can hang out, be yeah. buddies together. But no, no bueno. But she's like I a fine. Believe, I can't believe they very... finally gave someone with a bow and arrow a four range. They were like, no, no, no. You don't understand. Your bow and arrow is too weak to go past like. Yeah. What storm can throw a cloud at, or I don't know. Storm's got a fire well, range. I mean, like, in theory, most people that have bow and arrows should just be a lesser range than, like, a gun or yeah. something. You know? Or, like, like arrows, who like shoot his laser forever. Shot eight range or eight, eight square reach. Like, Different, bro. It's yeah. Green Arrow and Hawkeye, bro. They could shoot from miles away. Let's not get into the Green Arrow Hawkeye, like, argument. But, like, yeah, for, like, those main characters of bow and arrows, they're basically, like, for weapons, sniper, something, whatever. But, like, normally, like, try to shoot a bale 30 feet away from you with a bow and arrow. <laughs> it kind of sucks. Like, if you don't know how to use it, it sucks. Yeah, she's like, not even uh, holding the compound bow, so, like... No, dude. What's the pull strength on that? Uh, yeah, it can't I mean, be much. It can't be much. It's only four, four range. Only four range, yeah. <laughs> All right. Somebody who's got more range. A tiny dragon. <laughs> tiny dragon. Dude, that fire love, goes far. I love the like, the pose on this guy. He's one of my favorite characters yeah. in the set. I think he's one of, like, the more fun characters in the set. I'm glad we finally got a Lockheed. I, I'm actually interested. I haven't looked it up, I guess. I don't know if we've had, like, a Lockheed that was actually dialed before this one. Maybe, but I don't think so. Uh, we've had a sculpt so. of one, and we've had bystanders and stuff like that. But um, he is an eight-range running shot with – or eight-speed running shot with six range. So an effective range of, uh, let's see, ten. And then a ten energy explosion goes down to a nine – he has defend plus free make an attack targeting an opposing character that missed a friendly character since your last turn. So it's kind of like a retaliation, kind of like um, some not submission uh, reversal, kind of like reversal, yeah. reversal kind of thing. Um, it's not great, but it's I mean, for forty five points, what are you expecting? He's tiny size, so he has a nineteen from range top dial or an eighteen from close. He goes down to a 17 for two clicks, and then he's back to an 18. He's got the X-Men team ability. For 45 points, he's a filler piece. Uh, he's not a filler piece you really want to be stuck with, but energy explosion's oh. still decent. 
Um, he is a super risky 45 to play in a battle royal, I oh, think. Uh, yeah. He's super no easy reducer. to get knocked out. Yeah, no reducer. I really like him in sealed, though. Um, I wish he was number one. I wish he was 35 points, um, just period. But uh, I like him in sealed, like an X-Men team or something where I'm going to keep him back. Someone can get like hit by an attack, and then you can running shut up, shoot, and then free attack. Like, be pretty solid. Except with some enhancements, you can actually crack reducers, you know? Wouldn't be bad. Absolutely. So, you know, it's a neat little thing you can do with him. Yeah. I think in a battle royal, for me, it depends on what's the last, what the last two figures are, but he's either a, a fourth or fifth pick. Like, I'm definitely. Either, I'm either picking him between like him and. Um, like maybe Sylvathi Vampire White. I think I choose him over all the generics except the Fury. Yeah, every generic but that one I'm choosing him over at least. You know, probably. Yeah. yeah. It's iffy on whether or not I choose Doug Lock over him. I don't know. I, like, want, I might want one of my opponents to have Lockheed because 45 points and is then a go better, after him. <laughs> yeah. A better four click dial to score than a 25 point click. You know. Very true. Yeah, Very it true. takes a little bit of the target off your back. But yep. Yeah, it's definitely one of the one of my favorite sculpts in the game, or in this set, Any, I should say. Any Moonstar. This this girl's got it all. I think in a battle royal, she can be like a two or three pick. Oh, yeah. I think she can be really high. Um, but mo most because the Rally Five, the Rally Red Five is just so overpowered. We've learned in a lot of battle royals. Um, so it gives her mind control. Uh, three. Remove one of her rally die to use my control as free, but only to target a character that she hit with an attack this turn. So she's got six range triple target, eleven attack in cap with eight speed, seventeen defense toughness, two damage, up dial right. So she's got a ten square reach with triple target. So she can number one, she can straight up triple target mind control, do all those attacks, remove a red rally five, free target someone else with mind control, make them attack again. You can get like four attacks off with this chick in one oil. turn. She'll That's, that probably be a lot. always have a rally five. She'll probably always so. have like that, yeah, that uh, die on her card. And don't like, you know, in a battle royal, you get like four or five turns, like max. So don't, you know, don't don't turn up your nose at throwing some in cap someone's way if you really want to like hurt them from doing some stuff. But you know, down dial, she's super super rough. So I would definitely try to you know protect her as much as you can. She's only got a seventeen toughness. She can be. Super offensive with that triple target mind control. It is just beautiful. So I really like this piece a lot. 50 points. I'll build around it. It's also a dope sculpt. It's very dynamic. Yeah. It was like she was running into a uh, a bow and arrow pose. This is, this is, of course, a psychic bow and arrow. So that's why it's <laughs> six range and not four range. Um, but it's a great sculpt. It looks really cool. And it's a great, it's a great fun figure. 50 points may seem like a lot. But I think once she gets rolling with the rally die, you're like, wow, this chick isn't. Yeah. Things about like characters like this that they design, um, they make me happy and sealed. Because if I pull this, and, like this is one of my main characters, I don't need to pull like the the four damage dude or like the five damage dude, oh. or, like the psychic blast uh, exploit guy. Because a triple target mind control, I now have those characters for a turn. Um, yeah. So yeah, anybody that like sleeps on her in a battle royal or in a sealed. Uh, might end up hurting their own team quite a bit. Uh, next up is Colossus. Mm. It's the first mm. stop click that we see. So he's got stop, defend. He has two clicks of defend. One with, is a stop click. An 18 and a 19. A full dial of charge with 8 speed. A full dial of super strength with two clicks of 11 attack and two clicks of 10. Uh, he brings an empower to the team. And then he brings two clicks of support, which is very strange, but... He also has a rally die, and that is free. Remove one of Colossus's rally dice to use support as free. So he can technically use support when he has those 11 attacks, um, and then he also has like two ways of supporting when he's on his last two clicks. I like this guy because he's got a stop click, which even though it's just stop defend in this set for 50 points, like it's pretty solid. He's got X-Men team ability, so it's pretty easy to heal him off of a stop click, too. And, yeah, uh, yeah like, I mean, you're not going to do a ton of damage. You're going to be maybe picking up a light or a heavy object for four. Uh, you're only got a four square reach, but, you know, it's just a Colossus. He's got good yeah. producer step top and then a stop click for 50 points. And I, uh, 
I'd say third round pick. I'm probably not using my second yeah. pick to grab him. Depends on like what's in the booster, I, obviously. But I wouldn't. <laughs> I've no. played two battle royals and then a full set of sealed games <laughs> with this Colossus. He is he's yet to work for me. He really has the idea of like your charge piece getting support later when he yeah. is like in the thick of it. Doesn't isn't great. Like yeah, you can't use support Colossus when adjacent take. to an opposing character. So that's something you have to keep exactly. in mind. And then, like, he's not exactly a beast when it comes to close combat, so it's not like he's going to rush up, hit somebody, kill him, and then support next turn. He'll be, yeah. he'll be locked in combat for a minute. He's you just an 11 for back, three. Though. I mean, it's... He could. He could. He's got super strength, yeah. you know. It's a choice. It's a choice that could happen. Um, I will say... Um, still rack up those rally fives, though. In a battle Absolutely. royal, a 19 defend, if that's the only thing that you're rocking, someone will eventually hit it. Like, whether they have gonna, a 12, yeah. 11, 10, 9... Eventually, someone will roll and be lucky. And since he has no reducer, no rollout, if he's on that stop click, he will die at some point. It's rough. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. As uh, <laughs> the famous Russian always said, uh, if he dies, he dies. But yeah, solid yeah. little piece. I don't think he yeah. replaces any of my Colossuses for constructed, though. No. Hey, it's it's all aim red Scott. Oh no, wait, that's the Orcish soldier. Um, orcish? this little copy orcish? orcish, Orcish, he's orchard, quite Orcish, Orcish, the Orcish soldier. Anyways, uh, this little copycat, twenty five points. Howdy, if you thought generics with low ranges and running shots before were bad, this guy's only six speed running shot with four range. He's got a whole seven square reach. I will say the interesting thing about him is he's a 10 for two with RCE. So he's an 11 for three at 25 points, which isn't nothing combined with some enhancement. You know, we've already discussed two common enhancements, right? So there's white priestess, there's Doug lock, make him a five damage. Pretty easy. He can be an 11 for three, five damage. Now he's got awful range, just absolutely terrible range. But for 25 points, I don't hate throwing him on filler on your team. You know, I could, again, he's not like a high pick for a battle royale, like a four to five if he gets back to you. Um, as I far as like where that last click came from in their like their point scheming, because like Cypher, right. White Priestess, Green Priestess, or um, all of the, like the 25 point people that we've talked about so far, no one ends with that terrible. <laughs> 14 no, he's got a much eight worse. attack one damage like what is this much worse is this? yeah once he gets once he gets hit he is trash he is absolute garbage he's very front loaded uh he only has the running shot for the one click um but some point filler in your team on i might pick up a few of these generics they got robot soldier and sentinel keyword like they're all right but yeah once they take damage they're oh they're they're like mastermind fodder at that point they're just bad you know they're just horrible yeah. um but yeah, i think i'm gonna pick up a handful orange. Just sure. because it's a cool looking soldier with like a little gun thing. Yeah. And uh it'll be fun for like swarm teams. But yeah. This is definitely like a got past to me kind of thing. I'm not building yeah. my team around it. Uh and I'm only using him for filler if I didn't pull one of the other generics that we've seen. Um next up is Iceman. So this Iceman has one special attack that is the majority of his dial. It's six clicks out of his eight-click long dial. He's got a 75-point line and a 45-point line. And on both of those, he starts with a running shot, uh, ESD, and three damage, and the special attack power. So that is when Iceman hits, each hit character modifies their speed minus two until your next turn. He has two targets, so he can potentially just not kill but he could assign like three damage to the Fury and then no damage to Orcus Soldier and give them both a minus two speed. And that makes them True. both bad. Like, like reduces their he range by a anywhere. lot. Yeah. On his Horrible. own, he's got a reach of an 11. He is a flyer. Um, I'm probably not using him as a main attacker, even though I really like that top dial 20 defense from range. Uh, that 11 for 3 is pretty solid, but I'm probably playing him at the 45 point line for that 10 for 3 uh, tough, or 10 for 3 with the 19 ESD. Yeah. Uh, his range is a little bit limited, or it's limited by 2, 1, 1. Yeah. Uh, he's running 4 and shooting 6. So, yeah, he's a 10 yeah. square reach instead of a 11. Yeah. 
But um, no, it's a really cool effect. It surprisingly will like ruin people's plans if it hits. And all it has to do is hit. You don't have to assign damage. Uh, but yeah, it's an interesting take on Iceman. He gets a bottom dial of plasticity and then two clicks of in cap, which I'm probably not like thrilled about at that point. But uh, the bottom dial plasticity is pretty great. If I get hit off of my like 45 point line onto that, um, he can just move, like power action move next to whoever hit him and or if he's not already adjacent and just kind of ruin someone's day for at least one turn. Uh, this is a in a battle royal at 75 points. Mm. This is maybe a second. He's got a deep dial. I yeah. mean, it's a big maybe on second, depending on what else is in that booster. It's like eight clicks of life for six if range. I think I can get like some enhancement and like outwit yeah. kind of stuff because he can definitely do damage. He's just man. There's there's going to be a lot better peeps is in like the uncommon that we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I would say probably around second or third pick. He does have a decent amount of life. He's solid. Yeah. Oh boy, bad Cyclops. Here we go. Uh, so Cyclops here's fifty points. He has the great captain trait. Leadership when he uses it and succeeds this turn. From the character that the X Men team ability can use it as free, which isn't nothing. But I think he's a, he's only a, an attack three damage RCE eleven for four top dial, eighteen defense with just absolutely nothing. And then he rolls on to once he drops his first three clicks of uh, of uh, whatever running shot, he goes on to three clicks of ESD. His RC is whole dial. He's got interesting combat values. I will say his attack does go up once he Strange, becomes a little yeah. stagnant boy who can't running shot anymore, cannot move and attack. Um, in a battle royal, he is like your third, fourth pick. He's still an attacker. He's still an 11 for four. Um, but he is a very easy you know, 50 points with that 18 nothing. Um, don't let old Scott here get based. But, uh, no. you know, he is still six clicks of life. So it's solid. I think in sealed, I would hope you have a better use of 50 points, but there's not a ton of leadership. So maybe if he's your leadership, he's your leadership. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. But you he does take up a lot of for points. certain powers and sealed. True. Hopefully that's um, not like the situation, but yeah. yeah. But uh, the Cyclops here isn't, mu isn't much. He's, I wouldn't build with him. There's he's, way better Cyclopses to build with in it's a cool sculpt, but yeah, like he's, Constructed, you know, he's not even he's not even go reaching to the top 10 cyclopses of all no time. way no maybe top 10 in modern <laughs> cyclopses maybe There's yeah six or whatever, but yeah i don't know what we're up to in modern but i don't even know if he beats out any of the uh uncanny x-men ones and there were some bad ones in that uh all right more next up is a figure that is definitely something i would play in sealed at either point line so Gorgon, he has the team player team ability, which is awesome. You can really play around with that in sealed. You can like get two PDs, two shield team abilities, um, you know, two Brotherhoods, two X Men, whatever. I mean, you'll definitely have the option for X Men yeah. and Brotherhood in this set, but uh, team player really rounds out your ability because having one PD is great, but being able to copy it and having two is really, really good. Oh yeah. So at yeah. seventy five points. He's got no reducers. He has the sword bearer trait. He doesn't come with one. Um, what is it? Grass cutter and god killer. Grass cutter and god killer. Two, we, two swords of totally the same caliber. Yeah. Yes. When we first equal, equal recorded value, this, both. we made a joke sword. about how uh, Matt Reed is also a grass cutter or yeah. also has access to grass cutter blades. Um, oh. But so the main reason I'm playing him is because he's the first outwit we've seen and outwit is huge and sealed. True. Um, that is something that can turn solemn into like dust in a few turns. Uh, it's something that like, just really reduces a few characters stay ability by quite a bit. He's on his own. He's only an 11 for three. He is a five speed or five range charge. He can move five when he charges, um, right. but he can also close the gap and then like get knocked down dial and flurry his lower point value the 35 point line still gives you a 10 attack two damage without wit so that like 35 that line point line yields a lot if you need to save 40 points yeah you still have all the same stuff that you want to pay for gorgon little worse values but i mean 
yeah, at be a little bit, five. A little Ooh. bit more protected with what you do with him, but yeah, uh, he's definitely still pulling his weight in the ways that like matter, like bringing that outwit to sure. the team, bringing that team player team ability to the team, that kind of stuff. But no, yeah. um, for seventy five points, he's not my first pick. He's definitely a solid second. He's a solid secondary yeah. attacker. He. Uh, has high values when he closes like the gap and uh, bringing that outwit is pretty important so you're obviously playing him at 75 in battle royals but in constructed yeah. or constructed or in the sealed, or sealed 35 yeah. is probably the line i'm picking it's the way to go oh man do you believe in magic i i freaking sure do <laughs> magic here uh I like her a lot. She's a 25-point perplex and then a mutant bus. Phasing teleport passenger four, but only to carry characters that share a keyword with her. She's mystical, new mutants, and X-Men. Um, there's a lot of mystical. Both the priestesses have mystical, so she can at least carry up quite a few people, even if you don't get a bunch of X-Men. Um, but, you know, she's an eight-speed phasing. I think it's awesome. I, I actually... I think she came all the way back around to me in Sealed, because, again, she's not a great attacker, but 25-point perplex... For someone to carry up my entire team, the action tokens off of them for that first turn, that first move, it's really solid. I really, really like this magic. I think you would love, you would love to pull her in Sealed. In Sealed, absolutely. In Battle Royal, you're like, ah, she's not my main attacker. I'll be going to pass on her, see what I get. But she's a very solid magic that fits a very specific role, and I like her. Yeah. We'll have to see what her sword, or like what possible sword she could be equipped Great. with that... Again, just like Cypher for 25 points. Am I really investing a five point equipment in this? Right, um, especially maybe nine attack with no move and attack. Like it, it's but like, maybe, ugh. yeah, because yeah. yeah, phasing no move and attack. Yeah. Uh, it's very like unlikely that I'm gonna get blades off. The only one I can think offhand yeah. would be, um, is it Mercy, the one that. Iska comes with where you can re-roll attacks at targeting them. Sure, over. yeah, if you want to but keep her alive for longer. In there, sealed and in battle royals, like that's not well. In battle royals, they are, it's the character that's pulled with the sword that gets the sword. Um, so yeah, yeah, not like not going to happen well, in battle you, royals. You Maybe can equip it to somebody else, but when you choose that character, they come with their equipment. Right. But I think you can still choose to give it to someone else if you wanted to. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I believe on so. time. Um, Finish us off. In a battle royal, thing. like very, very solid to have a solid taxi like that. Uh, last, but definitely not least, is probably my main pick for sealed out of the commons because a thirty-point prob is just stupid good. And then on top of that, roulette has once per game she may re-roll a critical hit anywhere on the map, and once per game she can re-roll a critical miss anywhere on the map. So very solid. Um, good yeah it basically gives you a double prob in a very specific situation twice per game um there's a there is a tarot card out there that makes every miss crit miss i don't think it makes every i don't think there's a card that makes every hit a crit hit but there's one that makes every so. miss a crit miss so this is like a good combo with her but honestly just 30 points for a prob um She's honestly not doing anything other than that. She's got super senses. She's got uh, two damage. She's got ten attacks down to a nine attack. She has force blast her whole dial with six and five speed. So it's literally just the minimum range six prop control that you're playing her yeah. for. And that makes her a uh, either second to last or last pick for Battle Royal. You're obviously not... Like, this is not a third pick. As much as you want to pick this as your third pick, unless you really just pulled stupid well with your yeah. first one. Like, if you pulled something that's 270 points, and this is like, there you, go. you know, I mean, I guess points don't really matter, but like, if you so pulled good. Something, yeah. something that's, like, astronomically good, um, like Strange Supreme at top dial, and then you're like, yeah, right. throw in a prob, because I don't know if I'll get one. Stuff. That's the only I mean, time it makes sense. But otherwise... Great constructed piece, great piece to get past to you at some point, and then yeah, number one like, pick in all sealed normal two booster sealed. It's like you got to put her on the team, make oh, yeah. room for her on the team. X Men and Hellions. I mean, one of those keywords yeah. can use her <laughs> for sure. But yeah, that's uh, out of the comments. Yeah, hey, it's Nathan the Cable Guy here. Uh, 
70 points, 6 range, 2 targets, running shot, pen blast, toughness, perplex. I love this guy. Uh, through and through, sealed, battle royale, whatever it is. Running shot, pen psi, 3 damage, 11 attack, perplex. Boost his defense on off turns, boost his attack on punch and hit and turns. Uh, cable here is awesome. Future, sword, soldier, warrior, X Force, X Men. Got awesome keywords. He's got the X Men team ability. After his first three clicks of Pensai and running shot, all that blast, he becomes a charge combat reflexes outwitty type guy. And then he gets randomly back on his last click to running shot pen blast, which is kind of interesting. Um, 70 points though. He does have rally, which is our Nayan, a rally five. So it's free or move one of the rally die. If you do this turn, Cable uses perplex or outwit. He may use to target a character regardless of line of fire, so it's his on dial perplex or outwit. That's some not as good action. with his perplex as you know. We prefer to probably perplex ourselves or someone we can see a friendly yeah, character. Yeah. Um, but maybe on a perplex down a defense of someone, you're going to be able to make a yeah. bunch of attacks off. But maybe Cable can't see them. But the uh, the see through everything outwit. That's the money right there. Being able to outwit through anything before you go in and charge with cable is really awesome so i like cable a lot i think he's a tier one pick tier two pick yeah. depends on what you got but uh i think he's great for 40 yeah, points 40 it's points. a different role yeah top dial outwit you know a little something something there for you so, uh, i might not use the i mean i don't i haven't seen the battle royal maps is there any battle royal map that's like closed off enough there's the one with like the weird elevated sections that kind of protect yes. you that's the right. only one that I can think of where, like, this guy might really shine, where he's got six range outwit through, like, elevated, and, like, your opponent so, can't cross the map easily uh, to get to him. Hidden Library, with all the walls and weird elevated, that's a pretty old Battle Royale map at this time. I don't know if it's being currently used anymore, but the Hidden Library would be a Battle Royale map, I would say. Okay. Being through walls and stuff is really, really helpful for. You'll know what I'm talking about. I think we played one game on the channel with it, but yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he's solid. I mean, obviously in Battle Royal, you're playing him at 70 if you get him. Yeah. I mean, in a 12 for three or, yeah. you know, 11 for three and a 19 defense, like whatever you do with that perplex, he's solid. And uh, honestly, he's, we haven't seen a ton of penetrating damage. So no, we haven't. Having that psychic Able. blast with two bolts is pretty big. Awesome. Um, and then we have Peeper who is cable light uh, mm. doesn't require the rally die, but uh, much worse in every single other way. Yeah. Pretty he's trash. basically the and worst version of any character that yeah, does what he can do. Yeah. Anyone that could do something similar is probably instantly better than him in multiple yeah. ways. Anyone that thinks he's good probably should not trust that person. They are probably trying I to wouldn't. feed you lies for some reason. Yes. Uh, of course, of course. His main thing is he has elevated, improved targeting through elevated hindering, blocking characters, and out of adjacency. whoop de doo He has no move and attack. Uh, he has nothing special as far as, like, you could TK him into position, I guess. Yeah. But he's got a solid five range. So, honestly, I don't know what he's doing. I haven't seen the team for it. Constructed-wise, uh, sure, maybe, maybe somebody's doing something crazy. Uh, I doubt it. I feel like people are pretending like they're going to do something with him, and then they'll just pick something easier to work with. But right. uh, he does have a single trait that is, I can see for both of us, friendly characters modify speed plus two if carrying Peeper. So this is where in Sealed and in Battle Royals, this guy is phenomenal. He has two team abilities, Shield and X-Men. So he can be your X-Men battery to heal up people that are actually doing the attacks. He can be your Shield team ability to increase the range for all those people with really sad ranges and then he right. gives a plus two to somebody who's carrying him so um that magic that 25 point magic with uh what was right. it eight speed, eight speed. phasing yeah. so suddenly she's a 10 speed phasing it's not a lot but it's pretty good and then if it's somebody with charge or running shot and flight they can carry him right and he gives them yeah. a plus two so it's replace then modify so it's half of whatever their value is and then it's a plus two on top of that. So yeah. that's actually much better. And then empower on top of that. So if we get to somebody, I don't remember this set fully yet, uh, but if we get to somebody with flight and charge, that's probably the oh, yeah. only person that's really good. It'd be kind of a must team. pick. Yeah. If there's some flight charge that you pick up first, I think both war and death in the rares have flight charge. Maybe I'm wrong. That sounds, um, sounds 
possible. Yeah, Things like that might be correct. We'll see when we get there. Well, yeah, we'll just shout it out when we get there. Also, how's, just, how's that sound? Just looks terrifying. He's a creepy, gross little guy. Man. Big guy. I Give guess. him his eyelids back. Who stole yeah. his eyelids? Nasty. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, we got old Sink here. Sink or Cinch or whatever you want to call this old Thomas dude. Uh, Generation X Sword and X Men. 70 points. Um, full dial of willpower. Seven clicks long. He does have flight. He's got five range. He's got precision strike, top dial. And then he goes on to four clicks of pulse wave and 11 attack down dial. Uh, so he's got two traits. He's in teleport. And then once per turn, when another friendly character within range heals after resolutions, heal sync one click. So that's solid. That's solid. You know, he can heal a little bit. It's within range, not line of fire. So that's nice. And then he has always evolving. So free. He's a friendly character within range and line of fire and two displayed standard powers that character can use. This turn, Cinch can use the chosen powers. So if you get someone's running shot, invincible, again, Magneto, uh, this dude can be really solid. Uh, if you want someone who's got prob, Maybe an attacking power or something. Again, this dude is really solid. But he is still just a 10 for 3. His values aren't aren't nuts. So it's yeah. kind of iffy on you know playing this dude. But uh, in a battle royal, he's not terrible. Especially if you pull someone with like a good reducer. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea at all. The willpower pulse wave bottom dial. Even though like willpower isn't like my go-to defensive power printed. Um, oh. If I'm in a battle royal... And there's like a bunch of people that have been beating the heck out of each other for a while. Uh, throwing in like a pulse wave and then rolling a willpower and then another pulse wave. It's the it way to get a lot of points. You a ton of points. Like, yeah. surprisingly, does do damage. Um, yeah, I think the only thing I'd really use him for in sealed. Oh, man, I'd have a hard time playing this guy in sealed. It really depends on what I pull because picking point, the two man. powers is going to be the big thing. But um, being able to use the X-Men team ability and then also uh, once per turn heal himself because a friendly character healed, that's pretty big. Like, I can use X-Men team ability, take a damage. Uh, a friendly character healed, I heal. Like, that's pretty cool. I wish there was a lower point dial for that, but for, at 70, maybe you pull... You know, he's like a Mimic Prime or a Mimic Light. Um, taking some powers and doing a little bit of stuff. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Honey Badger. So this is an absolutely solid piece in sealed. Um, it's probably depending on like what rare or super rare you pull in Battle Royal, it might circumvent them because it's just That'd really hard to KO yeah. this piece. It's like a really solid, really good piece. So Charge Blades. Uh, for four clicks, and then Flurry Blades for the last three clicks. Four clicks of the special defense power that is Invincible Super Senses, which is just really nice. So it reduces pen damage, potentially just uh, evades the attack. Exploit weakness for those first four clicks, so you've, you've got a chance to charge blades and um, hit your opponent for potentially like six pen damage bottom dial you have that flurry blades and regen so you can either heal back up to the better clicks or you can just take your chances with the flurry blades also great um, the 50 point line starts on click 4 which is the last click of that special defense power and the charge blades exploit and then there's a singular trait Oh, she also has a team player team ability which is great, but the singular trait, at the beginning of the game, generate a Jonathan bystander. So he starts next to your starting area, or in your starting area, depending on how you place him. But then at the beginning of your turn, you may place Jonathan in a square adjacent to Honey Badger. So you can literally carry her across the map. Uh, maybe she tanks a hit, um, whatever. Maybe they ignore her because they don't realize that she's a threat. Next turn, at the beginning of your turn, all of a sudden you have a secondary charge blades exploit it's a 10 for one with Very an solid. eight speed charge and he's tiny yeah. sized so he's an 18 for range but little jonathan um just bopping across the map is pretty awesome and uh it's definitely a bystander that's not super easy to ignore you know he's he's not like chewy levels of dangerous but he's borderline no he's nothing crazy but 
Blades I mean, exploit. Blades exploit. Out, is of, always something out of nowhere, yeah. across the map, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the RKO uh, Jonathan yeah. bystander. But yeah, right. Uh, hey, Honey it's... Badger. I guess for battle royal, it's a good solid two. secondary pick. Solid like, two. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Might it's not the be the good first, Cyclops. But, yeah. Hey, howdy, hey, good Cyclops. How you been? Yeah. Um, this is in his Razor X costume. Yeah. Ooh, cool. All sorts of Scott Porter going on here. Cyclops <laughs> and Racer X combined. Uh, he has improved targeting. He sees through adjacency, so he can shoot people while he's based. He's got seven range. He's an 11 attack, eight speed, uh, running shot, 17 toughness, three damage leadership. The cheapest, beautifulest leadership. Love it. He's uh, He is Recruiter X-Men. I'll read Recruiter. Recruiter is a trait that works with whatever named keyword it says it works for, slash whatever keyword it says it works for. So all the recruiter are the same. We'll read it once. We don't have to read it again. Power. Choose a character with the X-Men keyword in your KO area that hasn't been chosen for this effect and wasn't generated by the recruiter effect. You do. Generate a character with the X-Men keyword from your sideline, but has a lower point value than the chosen character. In this game, the generated character can't be replaced and your opponent scores them immediately instead of when they're KO'd. So when a character of yours dies in power action, bring in a character from your sideline of less points, the opponent instantly scores them. But now you've got someone who can also make some attacks, some hits in. So it's like, ah, shoot, I really lost a tent pulley guy or something. It's like, okay, I'll bring this guy in. Doesn't put my opponent over on points. Maybe this is just what I need to uh, finish the fight, do whatever. Cyclops here is also just a solid attacker. He's an 11 for 3. He's got 7 range. Everything that was terrible about those uh, generics that could barely move are all fixed by this Cyclops. Hopefully, again, there's a lot of enhancement. There's plenty of perplex in this set to make that 11 for 3 a little bit more than that. He's uh, he's super solid. I think he's like an instant pick in normal sealed. Uh, for this one, he's not like a, a 1 or a 2 for sure because he's he is just a very like low point costed attacker. But a 3... Maybe four, depending on what's in the booster. Uh, I can I mean, see you know, happening. A leadership in Battle Royal is also That is true. That is really good. I don't think it's the it biggest perplexing four at wit, but it is significant. It's pretty big. It is pretty big. I will say, so between X-Men Swap, um, X-Men Swap, the, what's it called? Uh, Cohen Revival, and oh, yeah. this Cyclops Recruiter, uh, Silver's in for a whirlwind. Oh yeah, of terrible X Men stuff. Yeah. So and if I bring a character kind of that can X Men stuff, you can do can Krakow and revival this Cyclops, and then like you KO a, a let's say you KO Jubilee, or like Bishop, and then I just power mm -hmm. action bring in like here's my Dark Phoenix, um, right. or yikes, or it's like turn five and you KO'd you know. Uh, like a Professor X or something, sure, yeah. and all of a sudden I bring in a Jubilee who can, you know, it's turn five, can free action turn right. into Dragon, yeah. you know. Uh, this Cyclops is interesting. I, I don't know if people are paying attention to, like, those kind of things in Silver, but, like, honestly, he makes Silver, like, a huge headache, in my opinion. Um, yeah. But, yeah, outside of that... Organ. He is just a fun casual piece if you just want a X Men leadership that can potentially do stuff. Gorgon, the second version, a um, little bit cheaper than the first. So this Gorgon comes in at 65 points or 30. Full dial of charge, uh, top dial 12 attack instead of the 11 that we saw in the common one. The 30 point line starts on click 5, where he's an 11 for 2. And that's not terrible, but. Uh, he does have willpower for the first five clicks. Uh, the 11 for two is the last click of that willpower, but it's, I don't know, it's interesting. So he has the optional trait to be a sword bearer, so plus five points for either dial. He does have the team player team ability. He has the great crap. Great Whoa! Hey, he's great not that bad. Come on, Stimmy. Of That's so mean. Great captain of Krakoa. Uh, <laughs> Krakoa captain. Krakoa, uh, that's apparently I said with. too many uh -huh. things too fast. Uh, so yeah. he has leadership oh traded. Boy. When he uses it and succeeds this turn, friendly characters that have the X Men team ability can use it as free. That's all he's got. 
uh, assassin, That's martial classic. artist, and X Men. I think for the empower, I like him at the thirty point line. I think if I'm trying to use him at 65 points, I pulled really poorly. And I he does have a six-speed charge, which is one of the higher-speed charges. Be solid. Um, he yeah. does have two lightning bolts, so you can make like target two characters with a close attack. Uh, he does have willpower, so you can potentially do it back-to-back. The lack of reducers or like combat modifiers, oh. and then just basically being an empower means I'm probably only playing him at 30 points. Uh, in sealed... 30 points for empower and leadership i'm probably playing him plus the team yeah. player like maybe i'll have a shield team member or a there's, well, there's a lot of good like stuff to copy there's brotherhood you know that 12 attack oh, yeah. solid um what else there? there's underworld brotherhood ed and x-men well you see already has x-men but yeah, like there's shield. solid team abilities yeah. to copy shield like there's decent stuff to copy in the set i like him though like I like him more than Colossus for a close attacker with charge <laughs> sure. and power, for sure. I mean, he's 15 points more, but I definitely like him a lot more. At leadership, like always, super, super yeah. solid and sealed and in a battle royale format. He does a 12 attack. A 10 Not nothing. for two precision strike exploit. So Precision like, and exploit. Yeah, <laughs> what an interesting combo. always does damage, like, unless they get roll out baby. with shape change or super senses. Right. It always does damage. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, Gorgon at 30 points, I think, is great for Constructed. And then yeah. at 65, he's probably borderline a second pick, but definitely like a Yeah, third. it's super borderline. I would say more third for yeah. sure. Uh, speaking of copies of characters, common section. Oh, boy. We, we have Magic. Uh, magic is all kinds of bad. Uh, she does pick up Mystics now. She does have Charge, Precision Strike. Because of ESD, she is also a great cra- oh, sorry, captain of Krakoa, uh, <laughs> which is the whole leadership blah 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 thing. Um, for 65 points, she has 7 clicks of life. Uh, her lower dial is just the phasing super senses prob, which I like way more points, than yeah. her, her 30 point, yeah, which is so much better than her like high 65 point dial. So like 30 point dial, play that instantly constructed, that's awesome. In a battle royale, man, it's rough because she has the charge with ESD, which a lot of people dog on. But unlike a lot of people, she can't do knockback damage. So her charge ESD is actually bad. You know, unlike John Walker, Captain America, or uh, Falcon, you know, their ESD is like fine. They got knockback or force blast or quake or super strength. This one's not so much. She can't knock people back, so she's just going to be next to them. With ESD. Uh, she's a precision strike. Not a lot of good things to say about her, though. She's she's just real bad. She got a real wonky dial. She's real bad at 65. But at 30, that, that phasing super senses, Bob control with, again, leadership and everything, that's the money. That 30-point line team ability. beautiful. Like, she's not an attacker, so at that point value, if she yeah. heals somebody a few times, it's pretty worth it. Yeah. She's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Yeah. All right. Next up, Terrot. Uh, so we have Terrot cards in the deck. Yeah, that's how you say it. And that's, uh, we that's now correct. have a Terrot character. Wow. Uh, real name, not Terrot. Strange. Uh, uh, so for I'll 30 points, you. I will just say, let's look at her dial before we look at the trait. Because for 30 points, right. she has triple target, four range, uh, incapacitate her whole dial, and special damage power her whole dial and stealth her whole dial so she's not moving attacking uh no defense power but she does have special defense or special damage power that is shape change and then free roll the d6 tarot can use their corresponding power until your next turn on a one through three it's perplex on a four through six it's outwit so no matter what she has a decent support power it's either perplex or outwit for 30 points i think shape change stealth in cap with triple target and either perplex or outwit sure you don't get to like pick which one it is it's random each time but like for 30 points i think that's really solid and sealed i think it's really solid as like you know obviously you're not going to pick this as like one of your higher picks for battle royals but if you get past it it's pretty solid and even in constructed with an x-men team uh a perplex outwit piece is like fine for 30 points now her trait makes her real dumb and constructed. Just real dumb. It's shifting the fate for Be all dumb, characters. Boys. Yeah, this Terrot. She's like 
be tasting yeah, like a GED carrot. GED dumb, bro. She yeah. <laughs> For all characters with this trait, when you would draw a tarot card from your deck, you may instead draw two and choose one to use and put the other one at the bottom of your deck. This is so it's tough. Good. It's any team so that is like any mission point tarot card team, any team that uses tarot cards well like not just a team that has tarot cards on them but a t team that like utilizes tarot cards well can utilize this character even better and obviously she's yeah. only going to work with x-men or hellions or non-theme there's no other keyword stuff going on but really in my opinion i guess there might be someone that like makes like Araco or something but honestly like no, oh, no sure. generic yeah. teams that are going to happen um on non theme, I can see myself playing like Wrecker Prime and like some other people with the mission point tarot cards. And then if I have two options of which mission point tarot card I want in effect that turn, True. Yeah. that's so much better than just having the one. Uh, by turn, let's see, by turn two, this single character already tells yeah. me what the order of my cards are in like the deck. Your, so your five you know, card it's, deck it's shuffled when I start, but. I, I go to flip one and I flip two instead. Now I know what three I have left. I flip the third and fourth the next turn, and now I know what the last card is. And I'm going to yeah. flip the last card and also know what the first card I flipped was because, like, that's that's just how it works. Um, this character is really good in a five-card Darrow, like, quote-unquote meta uh, for competitive kind of stuff. I really like it. Um, in yeah. Sealed and in um, Battle Royals, she brings to you shape change and perplex outwit on the kind of a random draw. That's, but, that's uh, it. She's yeah. kind of terrible in that regard. But Ter uh, terrible, terrible. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, got him. But uh, all right, uh, Mystique here, man. Danger room construct. We'll read the danger room construct trait once for all this terrible people with it in the set. Yeah, this is true got for all danger room construct. Three more. Yeah, when Mystique makes an attack, give her an error token for each one in the attack. Maximum three. If Mystique has two or less error tokens. Uh, she takes a maximum of one damage from Mystique's attacks, and she takes a maximum of one damage from opponent's attacks. She can't be healed or chosen for Mastermind. Protected Pulse Wave. Mystique is 25 points of no, you can't do that. Uh, she's got an 8 speed plasticity, she's got an 11 attack precision strike, she's got a 17 defense super senses, and a 1 damage with a of change. Uh, I played her in sealed, she's awesome. Runner up, you got a, I've, we've said Magneto a million times, we'll get to him, I promise, he's he's insane. Very soon. Run up, yeah, run her up to their main attacker, run her up to their big running shot pen blast guy, their big beefy whoever, and now they are in plasticity. Steak with double rollouts and an 11 attack precision strike, which is so solid. You gotta hit her three times to kill this chick. It's awesome. She's the danger room that doesn't care about doing more than one damage, because that's all she needs. Yeah. She's got plasticity her whole dial. She's, She's all up in the printed damage. Only got the one printed. Like, maybe on the last click when she's got the Hail Mary blades or something, it'll be okay to have the air token, but don't worry about it. You just want her to take one damage at a time. She's baller. Yeah. Um, the lesson you learn from her isn't like even that crippling when she eventually dies. Mystique is KO'd by an opposing attack. This game, that character uh, makes an attack. Other characters can't use shape change. That's it. Not, yeah. It's not crazy. But I will say, technically, based on this wording, um, people on your team can't use shape change when you make an attack either uh, for what it's worth. Because it's, when yeah. That character makes an attack. Other, yeah, characters so can't use shape other characters just can't use shape change. It's not, it's not uh, yeah. opposing characters. It's it, it only works for the duration of that attack, but it is worth noting yeah. that it's it's not specified. That it doesn't somehow, really affect. Yeah, if somehow anything. they were attacking. Yeah, like energy exploding, or no, because energy explode wouldn't trigger shape change. But yeah, I don't know something, something. weird. Quake? But like it would, no. it would never come up. But I'm just saying, it's no. very reminiscent of like God Doom can't use powers type of a type of a deal. This just lets no one can use shape change at all. One thing, whenever this person makes an attack for whatever I, it's worth. I think this is new to these new danger room constructs. I don't remember this being a thing, but at least this is the first time I'm like really looking at. When Mystique makes an attack, give her an error token for each one in the attack roll. Maximum right. three. 
So that's that's the end of that sentence. Maximum three. That would mean right. like they are very specifically talking about if she was able to roll three dice. Well, she gets just a maximum three error token, right? Just I think overall. I don't think it's supposed to mean like per attack you only get a max of three, right? I would assume it would just be a max of three error tokens. In the attack roll. Then if she has maximum, whatever, I two guess, or less. Yeah. Uh, so if she I guess has three or yeah, more max you don't give her any more error be, tokens than it would three. be weird if it's like but hey, i mean you know there what there is one very like, specific circumstance where that could happen what, like war of the realm spider-man yes. i guess that is <laughs> right <the> yeah the <laughs> yeah. only circumstance where you roll you in roll modern that where that could hit. happen where you have to roll three uh, dice and she could potentially hit. roll three but oh, then it's gosh. weird that they would say maximum because there's no circumstance where they say True. like roll four I, um, but yeah i guess yeah once you get three Probably error tokens, so it doesn't make sense it's, to keep yeah, adding them. Yeah, meets anyhow. back on the menu with the three error tokens. Yeah. Next up, next danger room. Oh, boy. Yeah, so Sebastian Shaw here is a... All these all the danger rooms from the set are interesting. I was worried that they were going to be rehashes or similar to the like previous ones. But um, they did different point values. They did different dial lengths. So Sebastian Shaw is four clicks long. Um, he has the danger room construct trait, and then he has the lessons from the danger room, Sebastian Shaw. When Sebastian Shaw is KO'd by an opposing character, this game, when that character is targeted by an attack, the attacker can't positively modify their combat values, which is very good for one okay. character to get. Big. I mean, it's, it's hard yeah. because you have to hit him four times, but it's good. For 30 points, he is four clicks long. He has underworld team ability. He'll likely take at least three hits to the KO. One, two, yeah. three, four. No, four. Four, four hits four to hits, KO. Yeah. Um, he starts with a leap climb, super strength with a nine attack, two damage enhancement. So he's not great. He's something that um, if you can't like find a way to click him up yourself, like maybe with a legacy card, Fabian Cortez or something, um, then you know, like if you can't find a way to click him up yourself your opponent might just ignore him because he's just got really low values and he's only bringing enhancement to the table. Uh, the Underworld team ability is great for all of those people that can copy it. Obviously, he has Robot and Hellfire Club, so anyone that has those keywords, he can also taxi them around. When he gets to click three, suddenly he has... So he's got willpower for the first three clicks as well. Um, click three, he gets charge with super strength, 10 attack, and three damage with close combat expert. So this is where he becomes an 11 for 4. And then on click 4, he becomes a 12 for 5. So it's at this point that you kind of want him Harley. to be gone with those uh, error tokens. You want him to have yeah. like, maxed out error tokens. Because he also has a 19 toughness on click 4. And man, having a 30 point character that is a 12 for 5 with a 19 toughness and a 12 speed charge is really good. Yeah. In any context, Ooh, yeah. if I could pay 30 points for not the danger room construct and just for him to start on that one click line, that'd be a really broken like bystander or something. Pretty overpower. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, he's he's a solid, you know, little bring you some enhancement early dial if they do tap him a few times or if you find a way to damage him yourself a few times, right. then eventually he does get to pretty solid stats. And uh, even if he's only doing one, you know, a 12 for five, if I'm only doing one each time, I'm still a 12 attack, and I'm still a 19 defense, so it's pretty easy for me to keep hitting each oh, yeah. time. But right. possibly one of my favorite Danger Room constructs, just from, like, so the fun. simple flavor alone. He's kind of so like, got, fun, like, dude. the Hulk dial. Yeah. Uh, we got Omega Sentinel. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Omega. 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 Uh, she does ignore hindering and elevated for line of fire. It's really cool. She's got five branch, two targets, running shot, three explosion, 11 attack, three damage, enhancement, 17 toughness, top dial, police, immobility. That whole running shot, energy explosion, all those powers. First three clicks, last two. Get some force blast, outwit, pen sigh, ESD. Real weird dial on this girl. Uh, detective future, yeah. police robot, and scientist. She has a rally one on friendly attack rolls. Three, remove one of her rally die to choose a friendly character within range. Chosen characters, PD until your next turn. Not great rally, not a great no. dial, like a fourth tier 
pick. At least she's got running shot and energy yeah, explosion yeah. enhancement. Like that's decent. Um, she's an eleven for three, steal, but it's rough. It's rough, man. Yeah, real here. It's rough. PD. It depends on what else you pull. But that PD, if you're a real range heavy team, you can do some wacky stuff with it. Oh yeah. But I'm not overly impressed. And Disney Omega Plus here. PD was awesome. Like I made a lot of like 19 defense. Um, yeah. Wanda teams dropped down mm-hmm. to like 17 or 16s nice. because of how much PD was available. But Omega's, yeah, she's she's in the running for decent uncommon. She's yeah. just not like a top pick. Um, the power uncommon. This is we've mentioned him a few times. Damn. This is Beast. the thing that you kind of want to pull, similar to like Sorcerer Supreme or Strange Supreme. Yeah, um, Supreme, Strange yeah. Supreme. He's not in the same kind of like power bracket, but he's a hundred points. Uh, five clicks of running shot, Pensai, and an invincible. So top dial, he's a twelve for four yeah. with psychic blast. Um, and then at the end of that dial, he's an a eleven for three with psycho blast so uh let's see his whole dial or that all those five clicks he is an effective range of 12 which is pretty solid yeah uh if for some reason you want to play him at 30 points maybe it's constructed maybe it's like just wonky team building stuff he does have a dial that is just tk leadership and invuln which isn't terrible it's just with looking at like that top dial and sealed or in battle royals, like there's no reason to play the bottom dial ever. Um, he has the recruiter power, except it works with Brotherhood. So of course that's a power right. action. Um, take somebody from like the sideline when somebody's been KO'd, kind of thing. Other than that, all he has is Brotherhood of Mutants, two lightning bolts, seven range. He's a really solid, really powerful little uncommon. He's yeah. uh, possibly a first pick in battle royal. Tier one, tier Definitely one BR something pick. you build around and unless sealed. there's like crazy, you know, whatever chase super or whatever. But yeah. mags is tier one BR, so good. Oh, so good. Yeah, he's definitely worth grabbing. Like, if for some reason you got past this, then there's some monster on the board. And if you yeah. don't pick this guy, hopefully there's some monster in your booster. Otherwise, you just overlooked something really Very awesome. True. Yeah. All right. Not a danger room construct, but just as clear and see through as the rest of them. We got Jean Grey, 35 points for four clicks of life. Full dial of stealth, TK, barrier, and leadership. She's got flight and five range. A neat little supporty gal. What can we say? She got traded in power. Then when she is targeted by an attack after resolutions, you may place her adjacent to a friendly character within range. Jean Grey's real funky, real fun. Stealth for, you know, some blocking, you know. Drop, uh, she carries somebody, maybe puts herself in front of them, blocks some lines of fire. She's got TK, uh, t- you know, TK someone up next turn. She's got leadership. She's quite the little support for 35 points. She's kind of like, there's a little bit of everything, you know, TK, barrier, leadership, and power. Okay, Gene, we see you. You got a lot going on. Uh, I would say a sealed pick, pretty solid sealed pick. These are all great powers to have in sealed. Like, these are all awesome. Battle Royale. Uh, I would never choose her. She's no, super easy. Thirty-five you to get kill. past for sure. Um, it's not. It can help you on that first like move out, TK up, and then charge or running shot. It can definitely help you there. She should be staying in the starting area. Uh, don't. Yeah, she's just a little too risky of a thirty-five points. Definitely I've never liked the barrier idea in a battle royal setting and i've seen it used. oh it's not very fun it's not very just, fun kind of a yeah. loser if you use barrier in a battle royal i mean um, yeah cool. i'm fine with like i understand people pass the first turn yada yada it, but yeah, yeah. if you're still staying in your starting area and you're like barriering that means that you're just gonna like try and snipe stuff later and that's it's pretty it's pretty lame yeah it's pretty super yeah. lame um but yeah other than that like I like the sculpt, but she doesn't bring anything new to me or new to like the Jean Grey's options. No, she's not the best Jean Grey. No. There's better. There's better out there. She's not crazy unique. She does get the whole psionic field astral projection thing, I guess. But yeah. That's yeah. About it. That's it's it's a cool sculpt. It is. It's a better sculpt than most Jean Greys get, just because of the fact that it's translucent, but um next up we've got right. Bishop. 
So bringing the police team ability and X-Men team ability, uh, maybe that's the only reason you're building with him, but uh, he's got an 80-point line and hey a 35-point line. That's mean. <laughs> Poor Bishop. He's got the great captain of Krakoa Ooh. trait. So once again, leadership. And then uh, when he succeeds, friendly characters can use X-Men team ability. He also has, you've taken your best shot, now it's my turn. So these are the only two things he's got on his dial other than his printed powers. Um, this is free. If Bishop took damage since your last turn, heal him one click. And this turn he can use ranged combat expert. So it's a free action. Uh, and it means that like top dial at 80 points, his dial's a little bit longer than it looks in sealed. At 35 points, uh, oh, sorry, at 35 points, he's probably never using this trait. He might, I mean, he'll use the like great captain trait, which is die. awesome for 35. Yeah. So at 35, you get a leadership, an outwit, X Men, and police, which is fine. At 80 points, you know, if they hit you for four without pen damage, then you're taking three, and then next turn healing one, so you're only really taking two. Um, now, if they double tap you, you only you still only get a heal one. But he does get range combat expert. So his whole dial, he has running shot, starts with an eight speed. Uh, even on his lower dial, he's got an eight speed, which makes his effective range a ten with his six range. Uh, three damage without wit for his first four clicks, and then two damage without wit for his last couple clicks. It really highly depends on what you pull because if you pull some awesome like range support stuff or if you pull a bunch of um wild card team ability like the the team player yeah. team ability kind of stuff where they can copy your team then maybe you play him just for the pd honestly i don't ever see myself playing him at 80 i think 35 is pretty cool he's got outwit he's got running shot oh, yeah. he's got you know police x-men and then he's got the uh great captain trait but at 80 points, obviously, this is like a, with a 12 for 3 top dial, this is like a second or third pick easily in yep. Battle Royal. In Sealed, That's I have huge. to have the right yeah. team. Because if I already have an Outwit, I doubt I already have an Outwit. But if yeah. I already have an Outwit and There's I don't have a secondary attacker, so, maybe. So much enhancement, though, in the commons, uncommon. Sebastian Shaw, Doug, uh, White Priestess, you know could be a 12 for 6. Um, if you pull those and they're on your team, you're probably I mean, doing even, terrible. Even a 12 for that's... 4 if I can outwit before 12 4 I shoot. is solid. Yeah. You know, like, you can do some decent stuff. I can I can see an argument, depending on what you pull in sealed for playing him and at 80. Technically, um, clicks 2 through 4, he's still a 12 attack. Because right, yeah, if he up, ends up yeah. on any of those clicks, he's getting range combat expert. Right. Still be a 12. Somehow, Actually, he'll, be, he'll be better be a 12 for 4. Ooh, baby. So, Okay, I just thought of this. If Bishop took okay. damage since your last turn, since your last turn, I don't know how that works out timing wise. Could I legacy? Um, what's the accolade yeah. guy? Fabian trying Cortez. To do it, bro. Could oh, I, Fabian Cortez. Could I activate Fabian Cortez's thing, deal him one mm. damage, and then that was since my last turn, heal him a click, and he can use range combat expert? Could I have a 13 for four? All on his own. Mm. Mm. But it'd be even more than that because of Fabian's bonus. But yes, I see what you're well, trying to say. Mm. I mean, this would be the turn after Fabian, but. Mm. Oh, well, then, yeah, if it's the turn after, I'd be all for it. Yeah, right? Like, that just. It's not same turn. Yeah. 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 If Since it's not same turn, turn, you're still damaged. You're damaged, bro. You're during my last damaged. turn. So it's. Since yeah. My last turn. Um, but no, if he gets caught in an energy explosion or a quake. You might go to click two, like for some reason. Yeah. You might go to click two, and then you mentioned pop up quite a few energy explosion for people. four. Lockheed Omega Sentinel. There's like quite a few energy explosion in yeah. this set, so there's very good chance. But yeah, Old Bishop, he's solid. Not crazy. He's solid. Yeah, solid sculpt for uncommon. Yeah, new look for Bishop. I haven't seen yeah. him in this like maroonish, <laughs> red heavy costume. Yeah, onesie. The like old timey red onesie that the olden people wore. Yeah, dude. Old people like Bishop. Ugh. Bishop, you're from the future. I future. thought we'd have better looks by then, but okay. No, no, they went uh, back. They, they like, went back. What did cartoon characters wear when they were so still going good. to sleep? 
Yeah, uh, the onesie with the butt onesie. flap. Perfect. Beautiful. Iska, the, the unbeaten. 70 points here. Wow, six clicks of life. Optional trait. What's her sword do? It gives her blaze claws fangs. Duh, you big dummy. Uh, but also, she can reroll once per turn an attack roll that's targeting Iska. So mercy. that's pretty solid. A mercy. That's right. Yeah. Please have mercy on me. It comes with both both Iskas, actually. I didn't even think about that. But it's, it's got both both Iskas get both mercy. Iskas. Both them. Both Iskas. She's a charge. She's got a full dial of shape change. She's got invuln top four clicks. On her last three clicks, she's got flurry. She's got super senses with the double rollouts. She's got a special trait, which I cannot lose. The first time Iska the Unbeaten would be KO'd. Instead, you turn her to her last neon KO click, and then you roll a D6, and you heal her half the free result. So a big three Get her back to her charge in bold clicks. If not, you're flurry with super sense of shape change, which isn't bad. Also, it just lengthens her dial by at least two clicks, which is nice. So really, this is at least a nine-click character. Um, even better than that, really. So it's good solid. So for 70 points or 75 with the sword, you got to play with the sword. She's not like a tier one pick. If you pull a uh, super or a chase in your booster with Iska, I'd probably choose them over her. One of but the better a rares, solid though. number two. Uh, one of the better rares, and not yeah. an easy points to score either. Um, do you play you know, in a battle royal? Do you play her over the hundred point Magneto? Oh, I wouldn't. No, I don't think I would. No, I think I'd choose Mags over. I think, yeah, I think Magneto's got more, better damage output. My only damage, thing is, man. with the more sword reach. and the bottom dial even double with, rollout. Even with the sword, even with the I feel like double rollout, looks a life and stuff. I feel uh, like she's got a better chance of surviving than Mag. I mean, maybe not. Magneto does have eight clicks of heavy reducers. Heavy reducers, man. She's only like, got seven and... Eggs might get dunked on right away. I yeah. can see that. If she gets He's hit with one threat. Magneto Psychic Blast, top dial. She's already Going on down, the, bro. You know, click five. So. Hurting bad. So. But yeah, that's Iska. How much to her? Yeah. Next up Only is Iska. Other, the unbeaten. other Iska. As you can tell, this one's got gold face. Yeah, gold it's legs. Goldar Iska. Yeah. She was uh, gold dipped instead of. Black yeah, and red. She's gold. The gold and digger Iska here. Red. Um, yeah, comes with the same sword, has the same optional trait, uh, for forty-five points. So, uh, what is that? Twenty-five points less, right? Oh, it's more than that. So she's seventy-five with the less. sword. She's thirty. No, she's thirty points less. Oh, it, with the sword, yeah, thirty points. With less. the sword, otherwise uh, she's twenty-five points. Then yes, yes. No, this one that the sword is fifty. Oh, yeah, 50, 25 points, yeah, twenty-five points be, less. Okay. Twenty-five points less with everything. Man, oh, all this work? math. Wild. So, what a wild time. I like this Iska for one very simple reason. Uh, one, if you pull a prime, that's probably the best thing in the brick. So that's probably the best thing to play in most situations. I don't know if I'm honestly playing this figure first in a battle royal because it's just forty-five points, and that means that dial length and stuff is going to be beaten by things like Magneto and whatever else you might have in the, your booster but in sealed this is the best thing that was pulled in that brick usually uh, she has the team player ability she can come with a sword her rally is a green rally 4 which is not something that we've seen before which is awesome because that means whatever else you build in the set with her anytime there's a 4 whether it's friendly or opposing you give it to her you don't have to compete with like, oh, it's a red five, it's a red five, it's a red five. Who do I give it to? You know, it's not like a blue one or a blue two. Like, it's a it's a four. She's the, I think the only character four. that we currently have with a four. Period. But uh, it is uh, all attack rolls free no, when Iska the unbeaten attacks okay. or is attacked. You may remove one of her rally dice and replace a d6 in the attack roll to replace a d6 in the attack roll if you do she can't gain rally dice this turn iska the unbeaten rolls of 4-4 four, four are criticals so why would i ever want to replace a it's, it's when she is attacked or attacks why would i ever want to replace a die in my opponent's attack roll with a four if i can't gain a rally die it's because her special defense power on her stop click it's stop toughness super senses 
and when she uses it, increase the result by plus one for each four in the attack roll. So if I give my opponent two fours, no, it's free. I can only give him one. If, if my opponent rolls a four and I give him a four, uh, I increase my super senses by plus two. Or if I just increase it by plus one, either way, I'm a, it's a 50-50 or better uh, on that stop click if I have a rally four. And then anytime Iska here rolls an attack, if I roll a four in it, I can potentially crit hit. So that's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. And then um, the sword also gives Liker. you a reroll. Right, same uh, thing. It's good. Yeah. Good stuff. Top dial, precision strike, exploit. With exploit. Invincible. That's one thing that the first Iska is missing and hurting a lot is just having it's no penetrating damage. Yeah. Yeah. It makes yeah. rolling blades a lot scarier when you don't have any penetrating damage. So this one with blades, way better. Yeah. And I will say I, yeah. I really like blades exploit top dial. Um, the steel energy blades. It's pretty uh, good. Maybe I go with good. the three. Maybe I'd go with the exploit two. Like, most likely if it's on the exploit, two. Exploit, I'd always blades. roll it. Yeah. If it's invincible, then no. But. Well, even I mean, then, why not? You because you got, to, precision, yeah. you got precision strike. Roll it up, dog. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Either way, really, you're doing at least one. Always. You're always getting one through. So, yeah, roll up that blades, baby. Yeah. This is a solid little uh, prime yeah. in. Casual or constructed, maybe she makes an expert yeah. team. I oh, wouldn't turn up primes. my nose at someone bringing Iska here to casual night. I wouldn't be like, "Wow, you scumbag!" You brought yeah, Iska to I wouldn't be super night. upset. Like, no, fine. She's easy really enough cool. to take care of, but like the rally four is interesting. Uh, she has that yeah, X Men, yeah. so for what it's worth, Moira can give her a rally die. Oh, let's yeah. go! Let's uh, go! But no, in constructed or or not constructed in uh, sealed. She's definitely making my sealed team. Uh, she has all the oh, right yeah. keywords in sealed event to like definitely make her worth working around. And then in battle royal, it really depends because this is like the one case where if I get that uncommon Magneto, I might play that instead. Like I really might, even though this is a really solid forty-five point piece, I might have to pass on it just so that I have oh, that higher tough. top dial damage. Yeah, be there. Hey, yo, we got your boy Wolverine here. Look at him. It's, so it's hairy. In a different costume, though. It's, so it's red and yellow. Reddish and yellow. Not the classic brown and yellow. Like yeah. Reddish and yellow. What a guy. 12 speed charge, 12 attack, 18 defense, invulnerability, 3 damage, leadership. Dude, what a guy. He's got 5 clicks of life. He got improved movement, ignores characters, aka the best kind of improved movement. Love to see it. Keep being. Locked down because your filthy, filthy character is next to me. He goes, I don't care about Mystique. I'm going to charge wherever I want to charge. He's only 55 points or 60 with the sword. He's got a trait returning from hell over and over again when Wolverine would be KO'd by an opposing effect. Instead, don't stop turning the dial and keep turning it for the damage taken up to click 12 and place him on his card. And if your turn, Wolverine, if Wolverine is on his card, heal him one click. If click number five is revealed, which is his first non-KO click, you can ahead and place him on the map. Your opponent places him within four squares of a friendly character. If no other friendly characters are on the map that share a keyword with Wolverine while he is on this card, KO him. Detected Pulse Wave. All right, you kill him. He goes all the way on his KO clicks. Heal him up, heal him up, heal him up. Oh, there's click five. Opponent places him within four squares of a friendly person. Maybe you regen. Maybe you... uh. Provide some in power. Maybe you get off a little twelve for three hit action going on. More than likely, you probably you probably re that last click. But uh, in battle royals, I think he's a he's a solid pick. Oh yeah, he's like unkillable basically. basically like yeah. no one scores his sixty points, which is so sick. Uh, the Mermasa blade is like on a one through three. The opposing character can't use defense powers until so, like, their turn. Until your next turn, so like until, yeah, until your next Wolverine, turn. So you have the whole in there. duration of that turn. Yeah. If Wolverine is the first to attack and he rolls a one through three on blades, um, you have the whole rest of that duration to try and deal them damage without them having any defense yeah. powers. Because if you I mean if you roll four, five, six, that's just money already. You know, yeah. it's great. But like the one through three, no defense powers is so good. It's so freaking good. So. 
Yeah, this Wolverine's a super high up there pick. The Mermasa Blade is great. Ignoring characters, charge in, kill someone, charge out, kill someone else over there. Uh, the Invuln, very solid. He can, he can mess people up in a BR. Like, don't take a short dial for any you know, indication of uh, of being bad. He's he's solid. Yeah. That short don't dial. Judge I mean... Don't judge Wolverine because he's short. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's spicy. Uh, it's great because, um, yeah, if he's on his card, he's not scored. Like, even if the game ends, if they call time, if he's on his card, like, they don't get those points. Yeah. He's a great point denial Actually. piece. And uh, there's several Wolverines now that do that, but or similar things to that. But uh, that's one that's got all the right keywords to make him really good. Next up is War, who comes with Vermilion. Hey, he does have sword. flight. It's, it's yeah. a great sword. They do have flights. So this is like Peeper's best friend here because he's got makes him an eight speed charge instead of a six. Oh yeah, Ooh. Ooh. instead of a six, he becomes an eight five speed damage. Charge. Which is crazy. Charge five damage. Four range, which is higher than most of the uh, sword bearers. Sword bearers, so yeah. This is Arako, Horseman, and Warrior. It's the Horseman of War. Um, starts with a, an 11 for 4 with Exploit and Quake, Giant Reach of 3. The Vermilion Blade gives blades, obviously, and then also gives 1 pen damage, I believe. See, character uses it after resolutions, deal 1 damage. Oh, not pen. One damage Normal. to each opposing characters adjacent to the hit target. So it is just one damage. But still, situationally really good. And like, there's no reason not to play the sword with him. I don't think there's any character that's better off with that sword than he is. Uh, well, that's not true either. There's certain yeah. characters that just specifically say they deal pen damage. So, uh, right. But yeah, this is... Uh, four clicks of that special attack power, which is Quake, Giant Reach 3... Uh, with exploit and invulnerability. Bottom dial is leap climb, precision strike, and willpower, which isn't as cool, except no. if you can pull off this trait. So the trait is at the beginning of the game, if you start, if your starting force has two or more characters with a horseman keyword, this game war has steel energy, but with close or range attacks. So it doesn't keep checking. It's just an at the beginning of the game check. And then once that check is over, he gets steel energy for the rest of the game. Um, and then he's also got, if a friendly character named Apocalypse, Annihilation, or Genesis is on your force, so this is a continuous check, modify a war's attack and defense plus one. So as long as Apocalypse, Annihilation, or Genesis are on your force, this guy's got a plus one attack and defense, which makes him real, real, real nuts. Sadly, in sealed, yeah. um, he's just okay. He's really good. He's a really fast flight character. 10 damage blades right. piece. Uh, minimum damage that he's doing on his first two clicks is three with blades. And then, you know, obviously he could potentially do six on those four first four clicks. Right. Uh, but solid, solid piece. Uh, in Constructed, I think he's really solid. And then in Battle Royal, I'm probably playing with him. I think I pick him over Magneto most of the time. Not necessarily, but... Yeah, it's still kind of rough, though, because he's got nothing for him besides invulnerability so magneto can still run up on him and punk him for yeah, four damage that's true right away. knock him right down like and if you can't build with another horseman yeah. or uh and in, in sealed you or in battle royal you probably won't get really tough Apocalypse yeah annihilation genesis he's still really great i think if you pull like an empower piece for him to cart around you know that's probably instantly makes him looking like really good if you can see you can probably grab an empower from anybody else that's picking and passing boosters I still like him. 25 still like points him less, though. Yeah. All you lose is that 11 for 4, which, in sealed, <clears throat> isn't as bad. In constructed, I would definitely like that top no. dial more. But 25-point yeah. reduction for only two clicks, and they're pretty decent like reduction values. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Cool little guy. Uh, Now we get Death. Yeah, he's a dog, bro. Look at him. Looking all all dog like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Anubis or whatever is the dog one. Uh he looks really cool. Very sleek black sculpt. He's got the same thing. The 12 speed charge, four damage, invulnerability, special attack power, but instead of exploit, he's got outwit. Incredibly curious. Special attack power is when death damages an opposing character with an attack. After resolutions, deal that character one unavoidable damage. 
if that character is not KO'd, then immediately heal it. Very similar to a different character named Death in yes. Hero Court. Very or cool. Grim I like Reaper. that. Yeah. Yeah, the undead Grim Reaper callback, I really like. Grim Reaper um, and But Death also, that, like, that Simeon uh, pointed this out the first time we recorded that if they just, if they have something that says they can't heal, they have like a poison token from Aiken or something, whatever, mm. they just says they can't heal. If you deal them that one damage, that's just an extra damage, and they can't heal, baby. It's all money there. It's beautiful. Uh, what is this person's sword here? Blades Claws Fangs. When this character uses it, the hit character can't use stop for this attack. Oh, oof, baby. That's rough. Yeah. Can't they use already stop. can't use stop. And then Ooh. if for some reason they would land on a stop, like Blackheart or something, right? Um, they take an unavoidable, take unavoidable. anyhow. So, and this is like a Blackheart killing sword, time. though. Yeah. Most of the time, use, just KO ah, that guy anyhow. He you gotta, you gotta, kills to be that. Fair, for, you have to use blades. So yeah, this is really good for black heart specifically because then let's say you botch your blades roll, you only deal them three damage instead of your four, and you deal that extra one and you kill black heart for sure, which is yeah, so nasty, so good. Yeah, it's it the same kills for children. That, uh, that Colossus almost immediately. Oh, true, true. Merc Colossus for fifty that points. Now this plus, one. Yeah. Because of uh, the sword and everything, being able to maybe outwit stuff, I, I put him so much better than War. Um, the outwit, the sword, is really good. He doesn't have the giant reach, which sucks. Um, but man, he's really solid. He has the same children, first children trait with the Apocalypse Annihilation, other horsemen steal energy, all that jazz. But I really like Death here, and I really like his sword. He might be might be one of the most expensive like rares. See him and Wolverine think, for I sure. I think so. Wolverine specifically because that sword's really good. Because of the sword, um, yeah. This sword's also really good, but I mean, the Murmasa gets rid of defense powers, which sometimes include stop clicks on a one through three. True. This one just straight up gets rid of stop clicks Always when you use blades. Stop clicks. Yeah, yeah. So just like wholesale getting rid of stop clicks is pretty solid. Um, obviously getting rid of defenses period is really solid but like this would get rid of stop clicks that happen to be on like defense or uh, damage powers because sometimes they put them on damage powers and currently I think he's one of the only now there's a few characters that name stop clicks what specifically is... oh yeah but like Can't use them yeah yeah there's characters like Handful, green arrow but... and stuff that don't target it's great yeah specifically stop clicks no I I think um, so far I like all of the uh Horsemen, the all the two that we've talked about so far. Yeah, they're great, <laughs> real solid. Um, and if you uh, want a really inexpensive apocalypse to run with them and constructed, well, there's this unique danger room here apocalypse. He, is. he has the horseman and robot keyword. He's sixty points, cosmic energy, six range, one lightning bolt. Uh, in sealed, probably play this guy. I don't see why not. He's real hard to put down. Five clicks. Has that danger room construct uh, trait, so it's going to take a while for your opponent to get through his dial, dealing one damage yeah. at a time most of the time. Uh, lessons learned from the danger room. This is probably one of the worst ones to give out, but it's if Apocalypse is KO'd by an opposing character for the rest of the game, that character can use the uh, Cosmic Energy team ability, and that's yeah. rough. Uh, so top so dial, bad. he is Flight, so Phasing, Psychic Blast, 11 for three without wit he has two clicks of toughness he goes to three clicks of charge with super strength toughness and exploit um, values dip a little bit towards the end where he goes from an 11 on click three to two clicks of 10 tack and then he goes uh, from 18 on click one and two to 17s for defense on clicks three through five and then his defense or his damage goes from a three for his first three clicks, up to four damage for his last two clicks. So, at least you get a little bit of bump somewhere. Yeah. The one thing that makes him really interesting, probably worth the 60 points compared to the other Danger Room constructs, is he has a Rally Die that is a Rally 6, so a red 6. Opposing attack rolls. At the beginning of your turn, you may remove one of Apocalypse's Rally Die. If you do, give a friendly character that can use the danger room construct trait an error token and they gain the colossal damage symbol until your next turn so two fun things at the beginning of your turn you do this uh, it's not like a free action it doesn't like skip the beginning of your turn thing 
giving them colossal would also give them the uh, colossal willpower, the giant size willpower roll on a three through six, which is pretty cool. Right. Um, giving them an error token would mean like you can kind of time out like whether Sebastian Shaw, if he's on click like three or four, you can kind of time out where oh, he sure. gets like rid of them all so that he can deal full damage. Same with Apocalypse here. If he can just get rid of all of his own uh, like top dial or like even middle middle dial um, being 11 for three or 10 for four or whatever is pretty solid. And then again, just passing out that uh, colossal symbol so that they can easily good. willpower like one of those tokens off. A really solid little piece. Um, I think he'll go for a decent amount on the secondary market, but because he's unique, it should be reined in fairly decent. Uh, the a little big bit. Thing it's is, only a rare. Yeah, only a rare. We did see he's almost always, it seems like, pulled with the Annihilation Chase, which is just a sick combo. Yeah. Um, is. On his own, he's probably something I'm going to be building with and constructed. I might just like wholesale throw away my X Men theme team so I can fit him on the team because he's <laughs> worth it. Um, and yeah, uh, Battle Royale, I'm definitely playing him. He's hard to put down, and he's oh, yeah. dealing pen damage, top dial, and bottom dial. Um, you know, I'm not probably not going to worry about the rally thing too much, but if he gets him, he can give himself colossal stamina or not colossal stamina. Uh, giant size like willpower so he can get those action tokens giant off and reach keep going. down dial it's really good too oh makes yeah. his charge uh seven squares yeah, instead of four colossal you know? reach yeah which yeah. is like uh two squares three three squares three squares three squares yeah, yeah. so that really helps you out there down dial which is super nice but yeah i don't know dude he's tough to take out in a battle royale and in mm -hmm. seal too you gotta hit him a bunch of times baby and, the name of the game, but yeah, yeah your opponent's not going to want to hit him to like his last click unless they have like no. two attacks to follow up. So right. a lot of times, you know, they might like tap him once or twice, but they're not going to want to keep hitting him because then someone else right. is going to get those points easily. So yeah. Right. Next up, we got uh, a couple of Juggernaut. Dude, uh, he's great. It's that same Tyler Spee's Juggernaut sculpt, but it's yeah. orange now. So, you know, it's been a few years. I like seeing a super rare sculpt in a different way uh, be a rare sculpt. So now you can easily get like one of the cooler juggernaut sculpts, which is nice. Does it improve movement? Destroys blocking terrain. He also has five clicks of life. Like Apocalypse, he's got really stout reducers. He also has Invincible for the first two clicks of his life. And then he goes on to some toughness. He has Lessons from the Danger Room. This one, it, it's not crazy, but it, it can be kind of game changing. If Juggernaut is KO'd by an opposing character, for the rest of the game, that character does get invulnerability. Kind of depends on their dial already looks like. Maybe they already have invincible invulnerability. It's not maybe too big of a deal, but uh, it is something to keep in mind. They have that stacked on there. It can be huge. You know, you never know. Depends who finishes off Juggernaut here. Um, the special speed power, Juggernaut Head Crush. Very interesting. Deep Climb. When Juggernaut is given a move action, after resolutions, he may make a close head attack. Crush. Head Crush. So he gets the full eight speed move, and then he gets to make a close attack, which is really solid. So that's with leap climb, that's with destroys blocking terrain. So indoor, outdoor, it doesn't matter for old Juggernaut here. He's getting through it. He also has some power. He's also an 11 attack with Quake. He's solid doing that knockback damage. Got Brotherhood of Mutants. Probably my favorite danger room. He doesn't, you know, hand out all the cool stuff that Apocalypse does, and he can still be outwitted. Man, I really like him. Like, if you can somehow kill this guy, you know, props to you because he's got crazy reducers. He sticks around for a while. Hopefully, he does get enough ones that when he gets down to his flurry clicks, he can do a full damage for you. It's 11 for three. He's always in 11 attack, which I love. And he's always doing knockback, which I also love. So, the Shogunat is just such a cool danger room. Honestly, the danger room in this set are so fun. Like, they have such fun dials. I really dig them. But, uh, but yeah, that's Juggernaut. I would say heavy tier 1, tier 2 pick because he's got the full speed attack for a, a battle royal. I feel like you got to build this guy in sealed. Yeah. I think he's also just insane. I like him. I like him a lot. I don't know he how is many probably figures my in this set have robot, but even if you can't make theme, I think if you get a danger room, you kind of have to play it in sealed. It's just pretty good. Yeah. And then in Battle Royal, I mean, if this is your rare, ah, oh, man, 
if this is your rare, it's rough because solid rare. No, solid rare. What do you mean? It it's is, rough. but it's like it's not awesome. KOing any figures right away. Full speed. No. Okay, so no penetrating damage is rough. Yeah. Full speed for a one damage attack, but it's still it's a full speed jumping across the board. It's true. Hopefully, you got some other it's also close like combat just guys. Solid tie up. So solid. Really Such solid amazing tie up, tie -up dude. Yeah. Um, next up is the non-prime rogue so this Ooh, is actually wow. a rogue i really like for 60 points that's her only point value uh starts on click four so on click four if you're only paying 60 points and you just imagine like this is all you ever get she is a 10 speed charge 11 attack with quake a three damage with close combat expert so she's a 12 for four either a 12 attack quake or a 12 for four single target uh 18 invuln for three clicks and that's basically like her dial. She has three damage, those three clicks. She does go down to a 10 on click six, but like, whatever. Uh, last three clicks is Flurry with Toughness and Empower. But she has traded Steel Energy. So it's possible on those last three clicks to possibly heal up a little bit, maybe heal up a little bit more. Pretty interesting dial. Brotherhood of Mutants, Excalibur, X-Men. The main thing that you want her for is that she has a vampire dial, a vampeter. Uh, so she starts the game on click four, but she, when she uses steel energy, she can heal past her starting line. So on click three, you're going to gain a special speed power that is absorbed speed, gives her charge flurry. So now she's a 10 speed charge with flurry, uh, an 11 attack with quake still, a three damage with close combat expert still, but she'll be a 12 for four with flurry. Or Flurry Quake. I mean, either way, Insane, 12, 12 so gnarly. Pretty cool. Yeah. If you can hit those attacks and you heal to her top dial. Oh, sorry. She also has Invincible Willpower on those right. on clicks one through three. So not for nothing, she goes from Invulnerability to Invincible moving. and Willpower. Uh, yeah. If you can heal to her top click, she gets a 12 for four, which would be a 13 for five for 60 points. Uh, yeah. Also with Super Strength. So pretty crazy. Pretty awesome little uh, character. Even if you don't ever heal up, she is a flight um, close combat beast. So, like, just being able to fly people around, taxi people, and also heal and steal energy and X Men and um, yeah. stick around for a while. Really solid character. You know, One of the uh, vampire dials I think would be easy to attain, like the top dial. Crazy oh, very stats. easy. Yeah, because as soon as you hit, then you get flurry, boom, top dial is just like, kind of seems like it's right there, baby. One more attack away. The taking. Yeah. Yeah, Especially only one more away with that willpower. Awesome. Oh, yeah, very true. If you like moved up and then charged, and then you're like, ah, hopefully your willpower, whatever. Is it worth the, uh, solid. the super soldier serum? Is it? Huh? No, no, it's worth Galactus, though. I think you got to uh, give her. Yeah, yeah. that's protected. right. I think protected outwit is huge for this protected, piece. And yeah. constructed, I love. I love this piece for constructed. I think she's great in a battle royal and she's great in sealed, though. She's the first vampire where I've been like, you know what? If they didn't have the vampire like clicks to heal up to, I'd still pay the full points for this. Yeah. Like the only vampire I've, I've really ever been like, you know, she doesn't even have to heal. She's like worth it. But because she does heal, wow, is she nuts. She just heals up into some insane stuff with an already great dial. So, oh, in 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 constructed, I'm definitely putting Galactus on her and seeing like she mess some stuff up, man. Like I, I just love this dial. I love this rogue. Like yeah. this is like she's iconic rogue. This is the without having to do a casual casual comparison. This is like the perfect <laughs> rogue dial. One of the I feel few like. times where oh, like great. she wasn't like quote unquote stealing powers. But somehow feels more powerful than the rogues that do steal powers. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, like, just so like the raw better. stats alone, the stats yeah. and the charge flurries. This feels yeah. more like the X Men animated series rogue than the X Men animated series oh, yeah. rogue that we got. So I agree, I agree. Yeah, I really like it's this the one. Same, it's the same look. It's the rogue with the jacket. Yeah, you know, it's the same look. Um, but next up is her not as thrilling prime counterpart, Captain Britain rogue. <laughs> Who is still fine? Who is still solid? It is a gaudy costume, though. It's just like, man, uh, let's just put the Union Jack on her face, and it's like, oh, that's fierce. That's a fierce look. Yeah. See what you went with? Okay. Uh, the a lot of red, white, and blue. Boots? Yeah, okay, she did have yeah, her boots did go boots. all the way past her oh, knees. Yeah. That oh, seems yeah, so baby. uncomfortable, but I guess... It can't be. I feel like 
if they're gotta flexible fall enough. down, right? It's like how if you pull your sock up above your calf, eventually it'll work its way down and it'll be really annoying. Like that's gotta yeah. be. If, if you have long socks, I, I mean, don't know. You know. I, I wear so I wear. What do they call them? 14s. You wear thigh highs too. I you wear, wear thigh highs for, for work. boots. Yeah, I okay. wear thigh highs for. <laughs> I wish. I wish that was my my job. No, I wear fourteens. Oh, uh, it's a fourteen inch like it goes up past my ankle, or er, uh, right like mid shin. Um, okay, yeah, it's very stiff. Oh, and a it's, higher boot. It's not flexible, and like if I really want to like bend my ankle, it's basically impossible. There's like a oh, little see. bit of like tiptoe give so, that it well, gives, but like whatever these how do you bend your knee of? then you know what i mean like how you bend in your knee with something like that yeah it's like, tough this is all very leather. Important. there's no way that's that's leather because oh. yeah some you know superheroes spandex if, if you could leather. bend your knee in like leather that was up that high it would pinch like the little uh oh, it would hurt the little knee armpit whatever that's called the knee pit um, sure. yeah the knee pit that would pinch yeah. it so bad, <laughs> like you'd be, you'd yeah. be crying out. They called mercy. Yeah, like, ah! let me stand up straight. He's uh, all right. So she has seven Stop clicks of life. She's got great reducers, though. She's a hundred points. She's got three clicks of invincible, four clicks of impervious. Uh, she's first four clicks. She got some quake. Anyways, so she's got a trait. She got the Excalibur trait, which we've seen before. Detected mystics, but only during range attacks. And then Captain Britain has. Oh, sorry, mystics. Sorry me it's called mystical protectors i read that as protected mystics it's mystics but only during range combat attacks then she has safeguard mystics always so she does ping people if they shoot her uh, her special speed power on her first th four and last click of life is offered to the amulet of right charge and flurry captain britain rogue hits until your next turn she has friendly characters within range that share cured with her have safeguard outwit so as much as i wanted the last one to have protected outwit this one can give herself protected outwit uh if she hits Really cool. So charge flurry. She's already at twelve for four top dial. So very solid. Then her special attack power on her last three clicks is precision strike, steel energy, which is why that uh, little flurry all the way on her bottom click is very nice to heal her back up to the one before you can heal her again. Uh, her dial is very much uh, prepared. And then okay, sorry. Her perplex enhancement she for has on click core. one, click four. Yeah, for the core. Uh, click one, click four, and then click. Seven. So her first, her middle, and her last click. So if she heals, she flurries and heals and whatever off of steel energy, she'll heal right onto her perplex enhancement, which is really cool. It's a great dial design. And then she'll start with it, which is also really cool. Great dial design. But yeah, she's got perplex. She's got enhancement. she got some charge flurry. She's a 12 attack. She got quake. Uh, she's a very, like heavy hitter, top dial. She never drops below a 10, which is pretty solid. She's doing nothing wacky crazy that would like I think in my mind would take up a prime slot. I think this is more of a um we can recolor rogue and so let's make a prime out of it. Yeah. Get her like to get the character in there too, which is cool. But it's nothing like crazy where it's like this is, you know, we there we'll get to some other primes here where it's like, eh, I think I'd rather yeah. play this prime over to think that of prime. Like the last prime. So like Tachaka two. Tachaka two. There's been like several mm -hmm. Black Panther primes, but there's been like so like Black Leopard did something completely different really, than Black Panther. Literally a ton of but Black Panther. But Chaka Two was basically Almost. just like slightly better Black Panther. And uh, like, yeah, like every time Black Panther does, does have a prime, it's kind of crazy. Like Captain America, he had a prime in Captain America, he had a prime in Fantastic Four, he had a prime in Empire, he had a prime in ABPI. Black Panther gets just a ton of primes. But anyways, yeah, this Rogue is solid. She's fine. I would say, you know, uh, a tier one to tier two. Steeled pick for a battle royal because in a battle royal setting, she is probably going to be beating on some people, giving out protected outwit in a battle royal. Also, really solid. Oh, yeah. Mystic in a battle royal, very solid. The 50 point line, I would not play. The 17 impervious, uh, not a big fan. She's still in that charge flurry. She still has a perplex enhancement. The only four clicks of life. If her uh, charge real flurry rough. could potentially give out. Safeguard outwit and uh, reduces pen. Penetrating, yeah, reduces pen. But without reducing his pen, say, yeah. Magneto kills her at fifty points, and so yeah, like, just mercs her instantly. She has to be played at hundred and sealed one, because you'll absolutely in sealed. I think you'll absolutely run across at least one of those Magnetos. Eat that invincible baby. Yeah, eat it. All right, all right. Next up, Kate Pride, one of my favorite rares. I think this is probably. 
one of the figures I'm most excited for in the set. She's uh, the uh, privateer, Kate Pride. So she is the dolphin symbol, but she has a trait that gives her phasing teleport and the flight symbol. So that's pretty cool. Uh, she comes in at 50 points, so costs basically nothing. Like, you, you basically pay nothing for this figure. Uh, 10 speed charge for the first three clicks. Special attack power for the first three clicks. That is Blades Claws Fangs. When she uses it and hits an opposing character, equipped opposing character, after resolutions, that character unequips their equipment. Uh, the trait is, or the special attack power is called I Really Like That Sword. So it's a little like, you know, musketeer flick and right. uh, throw yeah. the sword away. Pretty cool, especially in a set that's heavily equipped. It's pretty cool sword she can yeah. unequip swords or unequip anything in uh, Constructed. Um, so, yeah, charge that special Blades Claws Fangs attack power the first three clicks. Uh, leadership the first two clicks and then Perplex the last three. She's only five clicks long, so she goes Super Senses with a 19, then an 18 Combat Reflexes, a 17 Combat Reflexes, and then two clicks of 17 Super Senses on her bottom dial with two clicks of stealth. Uh, instead of that special attack power, she gets two clicks of precision strike with a 10 and a nine. Um, it's not the best dial, to be honest. Not crazy. No, uh, I do really like the 19 rollout top dial. That seems like maybe hard to hit, plus dolphin, probably like somewhat decent. The thing I really love about this character though, is how it, for 50 points, you can basically change the game on your opponent to be a completely different game. And if they aren't prepared for it, then, like, yeah, not necessarily you just, like, win, but they really have to reorganize their strategy. So uh, her trait is, the Marauders will get you home. Friendly characters with the Marauders keyword have free if this effect has not been used this turn and if this character occupies an opposing player's starting area generate a stranded mutant bystander well that doesn't seem like it does much except the stranded mutant bystander has eight speed a nine attack with two damage it has the autonomous symbol and it has Ooh. a 16 defense uh with a special defense power so it has shape change on its damage power its special defense is mastermind but you may choose a friendly character with the Mar marauders keyword regardless of point value um, they have a trait that a stranded mutant bystander can only be generated by a Kate Pride's The Marauders Will Get You Home trait, and then free if stranded mutant occupies your starting area, remove it from the game, and gain four mission points. So this Kate Pride is the first, like, on her own, no, like, doesn't matter what your opponent's playing, doesn't matter what you're playing, like, on her own for 50 points, can win by mission points in right. five yeah. turns. Yeah, five turns. Um, no, not really. But no, and turns. I mean, you'd Four. you'd have to Four like points. TK and stuff. But like, yeah, just lot. this mission point a thing alone, move. it gets you four points per mar yeah, or sure. per uh, stranded mutant that gets across the map. If you're yeah. only doing this mission point thing, yeah. uh, and you have like a taxi service set up explicitly to like taxi these guys back and forth and you have marauders making these guys um yeah you can do this like fairly fr quickly uh it's obviously fun. i don't think this kate pride is going to win any competitive events with this trait i think you could play her with previous mission point figures that were competitive and yeah if you get one or two then like that's pretty crazy that like getting four or eight with like a wrecker team would really push you towards like that uh, inevitable yeah. mission point victory. Uh, but casually, it's a really fun like all of a sudden like I'm forcing all of my casual players to play yeah. a. Yeah. Uh, I kill my mutants before I get them back home, baby. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm, I'm forcing the them to wing play. Is so fun. A, like a little mission point objective thing. It's like yeah. you got to stop these guys. You gotta stop me and my marauders and uh, yeah, all I these do. little bystanders I keep making. Yeah, it's so fun. But ah, yeah. um, in uh, sealed, she is. 
I mean, she generates bystanders that do have a two damage autonomous. Uh, autonomous. They can tie up that kind of thing. So not for nothing, those bystanders are interesting and sealed. Um, and then on top of that, she has protection from range with the dolphin symbol, and she can close the gap with a 10 speed charge. So five range, um, 11 attack blades. So not terrible for 50 oh, points. All it. Ah uh, yes. Speaking of bystander generator, points. was much yeah terrible fifty points. No joke. Uh, we have we got full face tat pyro here. Uh, he's a running shot energy explosion. Face he tat. is a twelve for four since he has RCE, which I really like. Um, so that's probably the best part about this pyro. He's six range, two targets. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Uh, Pyro's got it for you. So when Pyro clears action tokens, you may generate a flame construct within range and line of fire. He makes a max three of these little guys. They got some poison. They got some super senses. They got some ooh exploit weakness. The uh, the flame constructs are like okay, they're solid. Um, but he makes them when he clears, which means you don't get to do anything with them, and you're gonna kind of hope the flame construct doesn't die until your next turn. But you know, a 16 senses is solid. A autonomous bystander is solid. And then it's it's tie up. It's it's an instant tie up, which is really cool for your opponent. And then if it's not, they don't worry about him. Yo, he's got poison. He'll mess you up, dog. So it's a thing to keep in mind. But for fifty points, you know, Pyro's not crazy deep. The flame constructs are solid. He makes them in I would say probably the worst way possible. It's unique. It's unique yeah. to him. Uh making them when you clear. I it's wish he you, would make them when he hit yeah. with like an, a range attack or something. Right. But. Like, because he's spitting fire, you know, yeah. at you. He's and like, like, I throw oh, a flame at you. Too. And then he's like, and now I do nothing. And that's when the construct And clears. that's it. And that's when it... So, yeah. in, in a way, there's also a silver lining where it's like, even when this guy clears, at least not doing nothing at all. Yeah. Which is, like, probably the best way to think of it. Um, He falls off really hard, though. He loses his ESD, loses his running shot on his fourth click in. And is he a very stagnant, just, like, sitting around, having to do move actions to get around the board. His last half of his dial... Which is, which is really a bummer. If he at least had, like, a step barrier or something, which they've given to Pyros in the past, and I would say, like, oh, yeah, this is a solid 50 points. He moves on to a sidestep barrier, but, like, losing uh, the ability to, like, move an attack or even sidestep or anything Ooh. late dial just if really he sucks. Barrier, and he could only generate, like, a bystander when he used barrier. Could also be really solid. Every I'd time he barrier, he makes a bystander. Like, I'd be cool with that. Yeah. Yeah. This pyro is like a pretty fun casual piece, though. But for everything else, he's he's iffy in a battle royal format. I wouldn't really. I'd say maybe three, four pick. Nothing nuts. I'd feel bad for you if this is your rare. Um, yeah. I, I just would. It would kind of suck. It is a bad rare um, to be stuck with because yeah, there's so many better pieces that we've already talked about. But he is yeah, like we said, a twelve for four. Uh, or a 12 attack ES or energy explosion with six range, two yeah. lightning bolts. Um, next up, this is a oh. hard one. This is a hard one to pin down. Emma Frost, yes. 75 points. That's the only point value. Full dial of mind control, six clicks long. Full dial of penetrating psychoblast. Full dial of so utterly predictable defense power that is super senses but succeeds on a four through six, protected at wit. And full dial of, I must insist you call me the White Queen, which is her damage power. Leadership, when Emma Frost uses it and succeeds, you may instead generate a bystander on this card. Each bystander on this card has max one. Note, does not it's not max once per game. So the bystanders can keep being generated as long as there's not one already on the board. Um Right. She does have one trait that is free. Replace Emma Frost with the number 100, the X of Swords number 100 Emma Frost on the uh, same click number. Do we know what that one does? Is the, like, I think she's got, like, impervious. It's like diamond skin yeah, Emma Frost. Diamond Not, Emma. I see. We won't use it, obviously, dial. in sealed or a BR. That's um, in constructed. It's something to keep uh, in mind. Okay. Here like, it is. Also 75 points. Charge yeah, exploit. Charge um, impervious but succeeds on a 4 through 6. Reduces penetrating damage. Protected outwit. Pretty solid defense power. Um, traded defend adjacent friendly bystanders. Modify attack and defense plus 1. Which is great to combine with this other one. And then original form she can free replace with the 040 Emma on the same click number. So you can swap back and forth between these two. So 
definitely keep that other dial in mind. They're both very basic dials, yeah. but the the rare is the one that's going to bystander generate, which is what you really want. So right. the bystanders, the main thing, the thing that you're doing. Oh, she also has improved targeting, hindering and characters. Um, so you have Celeste, one of the cuckoos. <coughs> prob. Yeah. A 10 for 2 prob. I mean, 8 speed, 17 defense. The stats else. might be the same across the board. And they just uh, each give a different power. 8, 10, 17, 2. I yeah. think so, so yeah. So prob, this one has perplex. The next one has outwit. The Ooh, shocker. That's Emma. Or Emma. Ooh. Uh, Phoebe has psychic blast. And then Sophie oh, a little different. has mind control. So, yeah, you've got two that are attackers, three that are support powers. It's a fun piece. It's a really fun piece. And honestly, in sealed and battle royals, it might even be a good piece because you can generate it's that. 50 prob. Senses. Like generating it's that pretty prob. Good for pretty seals. solid. They kill that prob, you generate another prob. Uh, it is a, what is it? You only get to generate it on uh, leadership. So Yeah, it's pretty rough. rough. It's not crazy reliable. No. And I don't think you ever shift the other one that gives like the bonuses unless you somehow manage to get all five like a out. bunch of them. Yeah. I mean, you can obviously switch. Maybe not all forth, five, but, but like quite a few, yeah. Yeah. If I get out Phoebe and I give her an 11 for two with an 18 defense, I don't think the game has changed Ooh, too much. About no. <laughs> no. But, but not. yeah. Magneto. I like this Magneto. I talked about him. When he, we first saw him a few weeks ago, he's dope. He has improved targeting sees through characters. He has prepared for invasion, opposing characters in range and line of fire when using impervious shape change and all that jazz. With pervious super shape change, uh, it increased the result for those powers by negative one. A six always succeeds. So, like, Emma, who is protected at wit, turns her super senses from a 50 50 to a normal super senses, which is pretty cool. Uh, other people with, like, impervious and, like, super shape change, minus one, only succeed on a six. That's really, really dope. Yeah, for 65 points, he Ooh. counters the, what is it, 195-point Phoenix Force Namor. Yeah. Wait, no. Namor also yeah. reduces. Never mind. Yeah, we were. I know we were super worried about guy. Phoenix Force Namor in this set, so I'm yeah. glad he counters him. <laughs> he uh, the but, same I mean, thing. He does, a figure he does that's though. Costs oh, okay. way too many points. Um, but he's got running yeah. shots. Uh, when we use it, after resolution, he use Force Blast is free. Pretty dang baller running shot. Yeah. And running shut up, shoot someone, maybe bring them towards you or like towards again another character so they can get a charge off or something. Or maybe you could running shot and then you could see through characters to see them. And then now you can move them some way around so that the other people that can't see through characters can now shoot the running shot or whatever, shoot the character. That's pretty cool. So it's ESD invulnerability. And he has safeguard mind control, which is again, I love his magnetic helmet. His whole reason he wears the helmet is to be protected from mind control. I don't give it to him enough. He also got enhancement. So for 65 points, flight enhancement, pen blast with two targets. He's amazing. He has a ton of keywords. I think he's fun and constructed. I think he's awesome and sealed. Uh, Battle Royale, again, he's not like a number one pick necessarily. Hopefully you pull something a little beefier than this guy because he's only six clicks long. But uh, if not, he's still really solid. Also, Black Magneto Supremacy, this like, a dope costume with the white highlights. Yeah. Black costume is so cool. It was a good change in comics when he went away from the magenta. Yeah, it went away from the magenta. And like the white and black Magneto look is they're just both so good. Both of them are great. Like they're awesome. But uh yeah, no, it's Magneto's dope. Yeah. Next up Cora of the Burning Heart. Ooh. Uh this is real name Cora. So keywords are Araco, Assassin, Sword, Soldier, X Men for sixty five points. Ooh, look at her. She's scary. She's got like an oh. outline of ribs on her shirt. Her ribs, or yeah. Maybe that's her power. I don't know. Uh, so she has improved movement through characters. She has the living power plant. If Cora of the Burning Heart is on an Araco or sword theme team, modify her attack and defense plus one. Good reason to play her on both of those keywords, honestly. Uh, first four clicks, she has charge flurry. First four clicks, she has enhancement exploit weakness pretty solid last two clicks she has flurry steel energy and empower with a 17 combat reflexes um 
that's printed, obviously. So if she's on a sword or a Rocco theme team, she's a little bit better. Um, that's all she is. She's she's like an eleven for three top dial. Goes to a ten for three. Yeah. Last click, she's a nine for three. But yeah, she's she's simple. She's charge flurry, sixty five points for range. Uh, I really like her. I think even though she has like a sword and the sculpt, the fact that she's not a sword bearer is pretty interesting. It's a little strange. Yeah. A lot. Uh, I think the enhancement exploit is a decent enough combo that for 65 points, I'm not mad that she's my rare. I'm just like, how am I going to build with this? Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm frustrated, but it's not the worst rare that I could get. Uh, and it's definitely one of those like, secondary tactical kind of rares that you yeah. always get in like sealed where it's like I don't really know how to use this but if I have a ranged attacker a solid ranged attacker that can carry her and the next turn I charge flurry with my 11-3 exploit oh, yeah there you go I'm not mad he's also yeah. a solid like if you get past her I'd probably pick it oh, kind of yeah. depends on all in the booster but like man if she you get might past not be her, the first person solid. or the first figure that people choose I don't might come I with, really like, don't think she is too. the first pick though I don't think she is no you know like she's a little risky in in sealed or BR. I she wouldn't be my first pick, but I wouldn't frown on her if I got her second or third. I'd be like, all right, decent, decent, decent. We're doing good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I gotta talk about this this idiot, this big dumb stupid head. You uh, played this. Ugh. Did play him. Yeah, I chose <laughs> him. This. I picked him out of my booster. I played this guy. <laughs> Yeah, Darwin. Darwin's big stupid idiot. X Factor X Men. Old Isle of Plastis. Look at him. Look, why he's got these terrible poses and gangly, <laughs> long limbs, orangutan arm looking idiot. You said orangutan. Head. Is that a JoJo reference? Oh, oh no. So he's got long, old, gangly, nasty arms. Uh, full dial. He's got six with life. He's got three whole powers. Um, plasticity, entire dial. 17 toughness, first three clicks. And three clicks of outwit on his bottom dial. His whole thing is that he's got to be attacked first. So he is safeguard outwit. Cool, Darwin. They can't take away your plasticity or your toughness right away, I guess. Once per turn, when he's targeted by an attack, you may choose a color of a standard power displayed on that character's dial. If you do, Darwin can use all the standard powers of the chosen color until your next turn. So important thing to realize that if someone targets him right after your turn in a BR, he will have those powers the entire, like everybody else's turn until your next turn. He'll still have them. All right. So be wise about when he gets attacked because it only happens once. It is once per turn, however. Until so the end of your next one turn. turn. But once per turn. So yeah, if it's once per if turn. It's like so every turn, you can turn different ones. The next if person he gets attacks attacked, him, you select yeah. a power. The next person attacks him, you select power. Excellent. The next person attacks power. him. Yeah, you could really and, stack those before the end of the, your next turn. Yeah, it's it's kind of wild, right? That's true. So it's pretty neat. Um, but he could potentially have all sorts of powers. It's really cool. Um, but he's also like forty points. Uh, maybe someone who got all like no good powers to target. Like say it's uh. I can't think of a good one right now, but anyway, someone someone can still shoot him and mess him up. Hopefully, they have a pink power. That's what your that's what your fingers crossed. Probably defensive wise, they might have invincible and power or something. They shoot you, you're like, oh, dope! I've got sidestep now. I've got precision strike. I've gotten power. I've got invincible. Cool. Um, gray powers also great. Dark blue powers pretty terrible for Darwin. <laughs> pretty awful. Um, so it, it all kind of depends. But for forty points, I can't super hate on him. Um, he just didn't do much for me in my battle royale uh, that I played with him. But you know, I maybe he'll work out he's better just for you easy guys. Enough to ignore. He, he is, is a great tie-up piece, but it's like, yeah. Sometimes you can just ignore tie-up pieces if you're lucky. Very true. Very true. But hopefully, you know, maybe down dial, someone with super senses tries to punch you, and you're like, well, now I've got flurry blades. Let's roll it up or something. That'd be kind of cool. It's it's again, it's all based off these power combos. That's all it is. Um, choosing the right one, knowing when to choose. Thank we got to be a little smart with Darwin. Them. Oh yeah, thank goodness. You'd hate to have more than one of these guys. If you play too many um, of these. Yeah, it's I mean, Darwin. I don't think he's ever a first pick. You no. just kind of forget about him. It Maybe you get him to play like or whatever. multiple Darwin team where it's like your opponent only oh, could attack Darwin true. and it's just like, ha, you have to attack him now. Yeah, deal with it, buddy. Uh, next all up right. is Christopher Angel. Um, yeah, Chris Angel here. Oh, sorry. 
it's pronounced Absalon Zembadurder Zembadrin Zembadrin Mercader. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Deity cool detective, that. mystical <laughs> ruler. If listener, if there's a cool comic book run with Absalon Mercator where he's not just a weird street performer kind of dude. Yeah. I would like to read it. If it's like a rip off of like Hellblazer or Constantine, then no thanks. But if it's actually interesting, I would like to read it. Um, but anyhow, this rare unique is 40 points. So just like Darwin there, he's rare, unique. He's 40 points. What does he do? Well, he's only four clicks long, but he does come with a big ol' uh, stop regen. At the beginning of your turn, you may choose an opposing character and roll a d6 on a 5 through 6, deal that character 2 pen damage. Pretty cool for a stop click. If your opponent leaves you on that stop click for some reason, uh, you can potentially deal him 2 pen damage. Uh, His whole dial, he has a special defense or special damage power that is, I thought I was a savior, but turns out I'm a destroyer, exploit weakness, and support. So he's got the whole like dichotomy that Thane had where he can Right. Deal damage, but also heal damage. He has three clicks of impervious. He has that special stop click with regen and the deal opposing characters potentially damage. Full click or for full dial of stealth. Oh. Um, Eleven attack his whole dial, which goes good with his support. And then his last two clicks, he has three damage. So honestly, this is not the rare that I want to pull. This is no. a terrible rare for me to pull. He's awful. Um, if it's the second like pack and it's the rare that I have, maybe I'm. Uh, I don't know about that one. I mean, maybe it's got to be a rough second pack for me to yeah. see. Yeah, right, but yeah, he's maybe. got deity, detective, mystical ruler. I don't think he's working for you too much in sealed, to be honest. Oh, in no, casual, he's bad in constructed, like casual constructed. I think he fits on a lot of fun teams. I think fun he does stuff, something yeah. interesting. It's not great, but it's interesting. And then uh, in a battle royal, it's like, man, I hope I'm past this guy because he's not bad in a battle royal, but oh. he sure isn't good. Like fourth and fifth pack mm-hmm. only. Um, cool sculpt. Be a four, really five. cool looking. It's an awesome sculpt. Which, well, that's why yeah. I'm so let down by the dial because, like, when we saw the sculpt, you're like, oh, yeah. spooky, what mystical this, Chris Angel crazy guy. magician guy do? He's like, like floating. Like, Hit me to my stop, like, and I'll tell you, kid. <laughs> like, all the correct, like, fashion choices. He's got yeah. no shoes. Suspenders. He's got suspenders. He's got yeah. a tank top and a fedora. He's just, like, clearly killing it. I think uh, I looked this guy so up bad. on, like, um, some sort of comic book resource thing. Yeah. And I feel like he was more powerful than this. Like he was like on mm, probably on like level with like more powerful. I mean, if he's if he thinks he's a savior slash destroyer. Yeah. I'm the savior more slash destroyer. Watch me do this eleven for weakness. three damage. Like Yeah. Real rough, bro. I'm not rough. Super I, I passed him when I was when I built my SEAL team, I I passed him. Those videos aren't on YouTube yet, but like I was like, I don't want to yeah. on team, dude. You're not great. All right, we had cracking the super rare, Simeon. Finally, uh, super quite rares. the journey it took us to get here. And I've I've talked about it before. Uh, this is Captain Britain. This is old Elizabeth Braddock here. He's got Excalibur as well, so Mystics, but only triggers during range combat attacks. And she, of course, has Safeguard Mystics. Um, she's a decent piece, though. She has eight clicks of life. She is a charge, 11 for three, invincible with outwit top dial. She can fly. She's got X-Men. Uh, she starts the Starlight Sword, I think. Yes. Uh, right, okay, She's, cool. Uh... Oh, Blades, Claws, Fangs. When this character uses it after resolution, so you may place the hit target, oh yeah, up to a number of squares from their current square equal to the D6. Like it's fun, again, it's wonky. more moving around. This yeah. can really help you chain attacks in a battle royal. If she runs up charges, moves them again back, similar to how I said with that Magneto and stuff. Like, that's all really solid. Um, what else? She has traded willpower, which is really cool, but only succeeds on a simian scroll down. A four through six. When Captain Britain <laughs> uses it and succeeds, you may also remove an action token from a friendly character in range. She's got 50-50 willpower, like, pseudo leadership to remove tokens. I think this can be really good in a battle royale format. I think it's solid and sealed. I don't think I would ever build necessarily with this Captain Britain in a no. constructed 
Yeah, it's not happening. But um, uh, but the outwit is there. The charge is there. Yeah. Um, I don't like her point forty line. points. Maybe. Uh, I'm not big on it. It's a. It's so if we looked at her versus Gorgon for forty points, uh, I could see it. I could see maybe, but like Gorgon for thirty five versus forty. I think the only <sighs> difference between no. playing her versus playing Gorgon for forty is that she comes with a sword and Gorgon doesn't. <laughs> Oh, she's still an optional trait. So you have to pay an extra five points for the sword. Oh, you're saying if you pull both. Uh, yeah, if you like pull both, you know, uh, maybe yeah. give Gorgon the sword instead for 40. You know what I mean? Like for Then it would just be 40. because of the willpower on a four through six that I pick her. Yeah, that, that is chill pretty big. That is yeah. pretty big. The willpower thing is super helpful. But um, but yeah, she's like fine. She's like solid, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's next up? Bay, the blood moon. Um, hey. Oh, wow. she looking like Bay, bro. Yeah. Big old bay. Uh, Big old so, bay. of course, Arako, warrior, X-Men, optional trait. This is, of course, a sword bearer, even though it's basically a spear bay. I don't know why mm-hmm. you can't tell the difference Ooh. between a sword and a spear. Ooh. It's basically got a whole staff on the end of it. Basically, yeah. Yeah, basically. Uh, so, bay is a pretty solid super air that you can pull. Um, I think one of the first hypersonic pieces, if not the first that we've seen in this set... I don't remember another one. This is, yeah, maybe the first hypersonic piece we've seen in the set. The only one we've seen so far. A whole dial hypersonic of piece. Doom Note, which that's what uh, my music Never teacher played in that sixth Doom grade game said or. I played on the recorder all the time. Uh, giant Reach of 2, Quake, but deals 3 damage instead of 2, which is real solid with a 12 attack and exploit. And exploit. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Top dial, pretty 12 good. attack, exploit. Um, goes on to... And 11 for 2 with co- close combat expert and that same attack power. Yeah. So still dealing 3 damage instead of 2. Pretty solid with a 12 on click it's 3. Um, yeah, her whole dial, she can deal 3 damage with that uh, quake. And then yeah. obviously printed 3 Ooh, damage on yeah. some clicks, exploit on some clicks, flurry on the last 2 clicks. Pretty solid. Oh, and then, of course, she does come with a sword. It is... Her uh, quote-unquote sword. Good old seducer. So, yeah. Wow. Look how sword this is. Look how sword-like that is. Very sword. Are you sure about that? Uh, Blades, Claws, Fangs. So she can also use Blades, Claws, Fangs her whole dial. When this character uses it after resolutions, this character may use mind control as free, but only to target a hit character. Well, that won't be a problem, because I'm probably going to be quaking... Every single quake, time yeah. I can. Um, yeah, she's just really solid. At 75 points, yeah. I play her in con- I constructed or sealed. Uh, and then at 40 points, I mean, probably in constructed only. I think at 75, you're just getting so much more, or 80, I guess. At 80 or 45, yeah. you're getting so much more at 80 points in uh, sealed. And then obviously a first round pick in battle royals being able to quake exploit three damage a whole group of opposing characters means you'll probably get a bunch of points in like one go if they're all damaged already just a really fun piece um i haven't read about her in the comics yet so i haven't gotten that far but interesting yeah. character for sure all right Ooh. Ah, yes, Nimrod the Lesser. Ah, Kirby. The Lesser of the two Nimrods. Inhaled a, I don't know, something white. He's very, he's very <laughs> Stay puff marshmallowy looking. Yeah. I know he's supposed to have, like, <laughs> muscles and stuff, Kirby, but he doesn't, he doesn't go off Stay that puff way. Marshmallow Man. Yeah. And Kirby inhaled him. Yeah, dude, it's very weird. It's very weird. He also has a Rally Blue 1, so friendly attack rolls. Free remove one of Nimrod the Lesser's Rally Die to generate, ooh, Nimrod bystanders, what? That's crazy. What is Nimrod bystanders doing? Man? Whoa, they're bad. Uh, six speed with <laughs> nothing. Nine crazy. attack with pent blast. They have um, their own rally die. Team. <laughs> they do. <laughs> rallies no. on top of rallies. Rallies, dude. Uh, where are you putting it? You can't. Wait, wait a second. This trait aims rally dice for Nimrod the Lesser to score when activating his upload humanity to the phalanx trait. But otherwise, it has no effect. Oh, okay, oh. cool. Um, neat. They have pen side. They have exploit. They have. Uh, that's all they are. They have yeah, terrible stats. So upload humanity. One, six. Seven, and for one. Yeah. 
they're real, they're real bad. We get two at a time. Yeah. Cool. Tie up is what they are. They're... Um, upload humanity to the phalanx. Power. Remove any number of rally die from friendly characters. Every two die removed this way. Ooh, ah, gain one mission point. So that's why they have like the red stick. Like the mm. worst rally day, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, I mean, a blue one is pretty bad, but a like, red six is also uh, bad. A blue one is like good for you. No, it's all no, it is. No, no, no it's, it's friendly, smash. friendly it's rolls terrible. one. Yeah. It would be, yeah. If it, if it's like red one, it'd be like, all right, we're winning. Um, so yeah. So he's a mission point character. He, his mission points are very weird. They're very, um, they're very odd. I would say, honestly, in a, in a battle royal, if you pull like Colossus or a few other people with Rally Die, you certainly might win off mission points. You do have to remove forty Rally. Nah, never mind. You're not gonna, you're not gonna win off mission points. You have to remove forty Rally Die in order to, uh, to yeah. win off mission points. This guy is a I do very, like him uh, when it comes to mission points. He's a very mm, tertiary addition. Supplemental. He's a supplemental mission point person. Yeah. He's not a main. So even without mission points and everything, is he still a hundred points worth it? Oh yeah, absolutely. He's running shot pen blast four damage. He's, uh, 18 invincible for his first four clicks of life. He's got all those powers. Then he goes on to charge, quake, invulnerability, exploit, weakness. He's got six range. He got flight. He is a giant, so he a giant reach two, and he's got the whole like three through six willpower, which is great. Um, and he's making all those all those dudes. So it is still a max two though. It's a real shame that he can only make two at a time because he would totally flood the board with them. Oh yeah, yeah. Every one he would. Um, but I don't know. He's so solid though. It's just. Kind of, kind of solid. I would say, uh, maybe not tier one pick totally, but he's really, really good uh, for like a BR and stuff. But I, I would put him on your SEAL team for sure. All right. I think he'd be gonna... first pick in BR. Let's get into uh, Nimrod the Cooler. Nim <laughs> Nimrod the Greater. Nimrod the Bigger. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, he's the same size. He's also a giant. Same size. Uh, so same he's got a 125-point line and a 35-point line. For 125 points, you get eight clicks of life with one stop click. <laughs> Uh, he has the recruiter, so this guy is very interesting, but like very hard because I we talked about him a little bit on the podcast. Um, obviously, his sculpt isn't as weird as the previous, but um, his recruiter is for the sentinel keyword, and uh, so yeah, he can recruit sentinels off the sideline if a sentinel's been KO'd. I think he's great with Nimrod, or he's great with I mean Nimrod the lesser, I guess. But uh, no, Master Mold um, and all of the like XDPS Sentinels, all the Rise and Fall Sentinels, any Sentinels, to be honest, Omega, um, what is it, Karima with the team up. He's pretty fun if you build specifically for that. He could even be like a boss battle level of fun. Uh, he has the special damage or special attack power. His first six clicks, that is Disintegration Beam, and this is Pulse Wave when he uses it. You can stay it instead only target characters within range along a single direct line of fire. So within six range along a single direct line of fire. If you do hit characters are dealt two damage instead of one. If only one character was targeted and it was an opposing character, he deals his printed damage value instead, which is cool. That returns to single target pulse wave. Uh, yeah. basically Full damage, single target pulse wave, baby. It's back yeah. in business. It's not uh, even that hard to pull off because he has a ten speed, no. or, yeah, ten speed yeah. with running shot, so he's a five, like five range with that, and then six range with running yep. shot, down to three, so eight squares effectively. Uh, it's fairly simple to pull eight. off for a twelve. For I really, four. really like this in a battle royale format, especially pulse waving oh, all yeah. your opponents for two damage for really two solid. Yeah, um, I like that a lot. Maybe singling out one big one for four potentially. Yeah, yeah. like. Messing up destroys blocking uh, characters. I love. I really do. Mm -hmm. Tier one pick. I mean, at one twenty five in constructed, it's a little iffy for me. Um, yeah. For what all he does, I wish he did a little Pulse bit more. Is still good in constructed, but, but it's just it is not one twenty five like, good. One twenty five. I would have liked to see a stop click on click four for one twenty five. Yeah. In addition to you know what I mean. Even on click, but I'd be two. like, okay, I mean, what was or click what's two? How yeah, Jordan something like that. How Jordan's got like a seventy five. He's 90. yeah, he's seventy five. <laughs> Yeah, and he's got one click like, on, on click two. two. Yeah, it's really good for him. Um, at least give it to Nimrod. It's yeah. Nimrod we're talking about. His stop click is become whole again. Stop invincible regeneration. Pretty good stop click. His 35 point line good. starts on click six, which is his last click of the running shot. Special pulse wave, the disintegration beam. Uh, he has toughness with perplex, and then he goes to 
normal running shot with pulse wave for two clicks yeah. that last click of course including his uh stop click he's a really fun piece i don't think he's gonna be competitive i think it's yeah. gonna be a really solid fun casual like boss build kind of thing or addition i think if they were build. doing um if they were doing like team nats i could very well see him being like the winning team nats oh, like sure. one of the teams you know what i mean like this is really solid In really sealed, solid temple yeah. like build around pulse yeah. wave outwit is hard to deal with and the really fact good. that he's giant size so his cosmic roll, energy can probably too. pulse wave what like 90 out of the a bunch of times turns that he takes pulse wave a whole lot i mean it's a disgusting amount of pulse wave yeah, man he's not gonna clear um, very often no well yeah. you get unlucky but it happens it yeah. does happen yeah uh all right uh deadpool this is the first super i've ever seen we saw deadpool a ton deadpool is so fun uh his sculpt is fun though look at that Snorkel. rubber ducky Cody, snorkel, harpoon gun, flippers yeah. that are impossible to walk in on land. Uh, just awful. Um, he's real fast Odie's for everybody. having flippers, though. Um, yo, he's super fast, dude. In speed, I couldn't. Because I'm not a metahuman, yeah. I wouldn't be able to run that fast. But, like, no, it's tough. He's in front of the character. He's got the dolphin symbol. He also has the dolphin symbol. He's a team player. He's 40 points. Full dial perplex, which I really like. Um, here's this cool thing. He also has the healing factor. So at the end of your turn, you heal Deadpool one click. It's solid. He only has four clicks of life, so again, he's very one shottable. Um, but his special speed power for his first two clicks is what part of pool didn't you understand? Get it, Simeon? His, his name is his name's Deadpool. Ha ha ha. Uh, so he's got phasing teleport. Where you generate up to four water terrain markers in squares and range and line of fire. At the beginning of your turn, uh, of your next turn, even if lost, remove them. Ooh. So cool, cool, cool. He gives people a dolphin, and then he hands out know little water terrain squares for them them dolphins so your whole team can't be targeted if they're four squares away with range this is an amazing constructed team player is great for deadpool deadpool core pirate weapon x x-men um x-men swaps and stuff using this i like this uh with agatha slash what's her face scarlet witch is really really good oh, with this yeah. deadpool it's awesome for the rune and chaos markers um which is obviously going to be not theme, but like, bro, who cares? Uh, it's like that's really, really awesome. If you have a very small amount of people on your team, keeping them uh, safe, and then again with a rune marker, really, really good. So, this Deadpool is awesome in sealed. I think he's a great, great pick in sealed. In a battle royal, not gonna probably pick him first. He is a pretty late down there, low pick in a battle royal because he's very one shottable uh, and solemn. Runs up to him, goes knock knock, and just leads him. Light. I can't remember what his flavor text was, but he has a one of his like flavor texts is something along the lines of like, "I'm gonna hide in this puddle because hero clicks logic or something like that." I think it is, yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. It's pretty funny. I for whatever reason, it's like a super senses maybe or something like that. But yeah, yeah, I think this Deadpool is super solid off theme. And then, if for oh, whatever yeah. reason, yeah. you make like a pirate theme, yeah. he's so fun. He, like he's like borderline where he can just be a fun casual piece, and then he could also like be like a fringe meta, like really solid meta yeah. piece too. So I, honestly, that's what I like the most about this. One Deadpool. of like the top super rare X Men swap team, like X Men swap like yeah. options, I would consider having agree, sidelined. Yeah. If I lose map and like I just want to drop him down free generate four water terrain markers and be like yeah deal with it and i don't want yeah, to take up my prime for uh, what's his name uh bishop yeah bishop. yeah next up moan arch um so this guy oh look at you mr fancy pants yeah, tall far quad here uh, yeah James braddock jr <laughs> um 50 points oh, cosmic a energy mystics Full dial of phasing, which is four clicks. Full dial of pulse wave. Um, two clicks of invincible, two clicks of super senses, two clicks of empower, two clicks of support. So he's got three damage on those empower clicks and two damage on those support clicks. He goes from an 11 attack pulse wave to 212 attack pulse wave. Really doesn't matter. Probably probably just, you know, getting bodied pretty quick at 50 points. Yeah. Um, that invincible ain't going to keep him alive for too long. Uh, but he's got some interesting stuff. So he's got three traits. He has Witchbreed, King of 
this breed. That's which breed. Um, oh, got him. <laughs> which breed King of Avalon leadership? When Monarch uses it and succeeds, he may immediately remove a terrain marker from this card. If he does this turn, friendly characters adjacent or occupying terrain of that type are considered adjacent to him, which is really cool. So how does he get a terrain marker on his card? Well, he has another trait. I do love gifts. Monarch starts the game with one hindering, one water, and one blocking terrain marker on this card. When an opposing character generates terrain, after resolutions, you may place a terrain marker of a type they generated on this card. So, mm, okay. pretty easy for him to get ones on his card. If he's going against the Molecule yeah. Man, he's going to have a Three. full stack of uh, generated yeah. terrain on his card. And he has a final trait. It's only reality. Free. Remove a terrain marker from this card to choose one. Generate a terrain marker of that type in a square within range, or remove a terrain marker of that type in a square within range. So if your opponent barriers, he can put mm. a bar barrier on his card, and then as a free action, he can remove one. He can also um, succeed with his leadership and immediately remove a barrier marker from his card. And then if he does this turn, friendly characters adjacent or occupying terrain of that type are considered adjacent to him. Be solid. Which is good for his support it's and a, good for his empower. Um, it's a really fun, goofy character that he he's is. He's a wonky support figure. So weird. He's so unique. I guess that's what I should say. Instead of being weird, like he is unique. Yeah. If someone very can find a bro. truly useful way to like break him or make him like competitive, I'll be surprised and happy. I would be too. Um, but casually, I think he does just enough where it's going to be interesting. Uh, but make sure if you play him casually, play him often enough where you don't have to like sit there and like be like, all right, what can I do again? And, you know, make sure Very you play true. him like three or four yeah. times. So like by the fourth and fifth time you play him, you really you have definitely to like grasp what he does. You need that card a lot. So, you know, kind of what you're doing. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a lot going on with him. Yeah. There's a ton. Yeah. But uh, in Battle right. Royal, like, man, I'm sorry you pulled that. In Seal, yeah, that's so also rough. sad you pulled that. I guess he's a 50-point yeah. leadership. Um, there's mm. not a ton of barrier or smoke cloud or rough. anything in this set, so he's basically just a weird, costed, pulse wave, phasing, mystic, cosmic energy. I mean, he's not bad on paper. All sorts of weird stuff happening. On yeah. paper, he's fine. It's just, in practice, he's bad. And I haven't practiced with him, but I, I, I assume he's bad. He's bad. Yeah. In practice, what I haven't done. Yeah, terrible. the thing I haven't done, uh, I'm just reading yes. on paper. He's bad. All right, we have Abigail Brand, uh, girlfriend. She Look at her. Look at all beast heart. Look at her. Yeah, she did. She did. Yeah. A politician, sword, soldier, X Men. She's got a special speed, special damage for her first three clicks. Full dial, a penetrating psychic blast. She got the shield, team ability. Uh, her trait, this is probably one of the biggest things you're playing here. Uh, leadership. Establishing themed teams. Characters on your starting force with X-Men. In the sword keyword. So, all them X-Men are also sword, which means you can pair them up with such great sword people like Tyler Hayward. No, I'm just kidding. This is for Prime Vision. This is for cheating Prime Vision on the team. It's yeah. exactly what this it's trait exists sport. for. Put Prime Vision on the team. Um... Personal teleportation device is her special speed power. Phasing teleport. When she uses it and moves four squares or less, after resolution, she may make an attack. Pretty cool. Pretty solid. Thank you, Mobius. Very cool. And then her damage power is friendly characters within range that can use the X-Men team ability can also use the shield team ability. And these, these shield gals that are also X-Men friends sure do like handing out the shield team ability and X-Men team abilities. There's a lot of shield going on now, so yeah. a lot of range on this team. He's great though. Uh, keyword cheat uh, for forty points. I would say, you know, in a battle royale, she's pretty bad. You know, eleven for through and blast, facing only four squares or less. Oh, Seventeen say, toughness. These, these all feel like the superheroes really feel like constructed. They're very constructed heavy. Yeah. In constructed, she's great. The the keyword cheating is really cool. Um, the phasing thing is is still like it's whatever. It's supplemental to everything else. Handing out shield, I have really learned that handing out shield is so freaking good. Like, oh yeah, shield is, is solid. Handing it out, man, that bump to that range damage is bump to so range, gnarly. The ability to like, yeah, 
if you yeah. if you have too many or if you have a lot of characters that are extras and like not really doing a whole lot right being able to boost damage hey. I guess I will say this about her, and this isn't really dial-wise, it's more sculpt-wise. Uh, I'm not in the super rare vibe from her sculpt. No. Getting the, the common, uncommon vibe. She told me this was like... From her sculpt, you know? Alternate universe Black Widow Hydra. I'd be like, oh, okay. Green cool. baton. Sure. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not in love with her sculpt. It's not crazy. It's not super rare style. But any, that's that's neither here nor there. I mean, it's a little bit there, but yeah. Yeah. Anyways, next up. Uh, yeah, a sculpt I am in love with. Is this Tony Hawk? Oh, Dude, no, it's look at this that. kid. Humongous with the chair. coolest skater board of 2020. Is that Tristan Halverson from Rainbow <laughs> Comics and Collectibles? Is that blue hair kid? No, oh, he doesn't wear glasses, does he? blue hair. Um, <laughs> his glasses. His glasses. Oh, does he? Yeah, hmm. his glasses. Why have I not made fun of him for that? <laughs> Strange. Because um, you have glasses. Why would you, uh, why would you make fun of someone with glasses? <laughs> okay. Got me. All right. Uh, tell, us, tell us about no. WizKid, Simeon. So WizKid makes his re-debut back to Hero Flix. Like seven he, years. He's back again. Uh, he's not a prime this years. time. He's a little bit more points. He's got a longer dial. He's got a lot going for him. Uh, six range, shield team ability, 45 points. Xavier's chair, painted red. Um, I guess that gets the cops off of him from GTA, at least. Not in real life. But... Uh, that's exactly what it is. It's just it's Xavier's chair painted red. <laughs> Why he do that? Um, yeah. Maybe it's a Shi'ar one. Uh, I don't know. So he's got. I think he's only five clicks long. There's this weird KO click going on here, but uh, he's five clicks long. He has a full dial of phasing, a full dial of his special attack power with a nine attack, full dial of ESD with two 18s on the first and fifth click, and then the rest is 17s. Um, a special damage power on the first click and the last click. And then he goes, click two is enhancement, click three is outwit, and click four is perplex. So his chair has a trait. It's built for only one passenger. Uh, so zero passenger zero. Um, at the beginning of your turn, you may place Wizkid in an adjacent square. So it's worse than sidestep, but you also can't carry anyone. So it's I'm, even worse I'm than nothing. that. It's nothing. double worse than sidestep. Um, yeah. He has that special attack power. His old dial is mutant technopath. So free, choose an adjacent friendly character that has the armor or robot keyword that hasn't attacked this turn. This turn, Wizkid replaces his attack and damage values with the printed attack and damage values of the chosen character. And the chosen character can't attack or be chosen for this effect by other characters. The fact that this is free means that you could already attack with, I don't know, say Prime Vision um, on like a theme team with Abigail Brand, phases mm, up, flurries, curious. then WizKids copies this for free. And it's like, oh, well, Vision can't attack anymore. It's like, well, that doesn't matter. He already did. So now I have a 12 for 4, and I'm going to also shoot you. Um, and then his special damage power that's on his first and last click is Enhancement, Outwit, Perplex. Obviously a really solid support piece. That's what he's meant to do. The fact that he does have the ability to take uh, armor and robot keyword attack and damage values is really cool. It means that he's not just a slouch. He's not just like sitting in the back. Uh, but it does mean that it's really hard to pull well with him. So armor, robot, sword, scientist, X-Factor, X-Men. Fun piece to build with. Probably bad and sealed outside of the, you know, I, enhancement outwit perplex. Oh, that's such a great damage power, though. 45 points. Oh, it is really so solid awesome. for 45. It's just, as a super rare, you you kind of want, want one of the guys sealed, that does, like, for big sure. damage yeah. stuff. <laughs> You'd maybe want, like, I don't know, the running yeah. shot pen black guy. Uh, any attacker. Yeah, maybe. No, fair. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. like, that big, like, running shot pulse wave dude. I mean, yeah, either whoa. of the Nimrods. Uh, the super Captain prime Bay. don't be greedy now all right yeah but uh but, but no, no yeah totally the, the damage power is really solid being able to outwit enhance and perplex makes him one of the better is, yeah. options for a ranged attacker um in a battle royal you'll probably have to pass on this guy uh yeah i would even, too. like even would by like second turn dude. you might pass on this it's guy tough. your opponent might pass on him like he might be you a know, third or fourth. If if everybody opens their boosters and then you see that you pull a robot or armor character, it might be worth 
stealing him from your opponent if your opponent picks him, or maybe you see your opponent's got a robot armor or something coming your way. It might might be worth it, but it's that's playing some meta game battle royale stuff. So who knows? Yeah. But yeah, Wizkid is neat though. I think it'll be really fun and constructed. But in Seal, it's like yikes, it's far away. It's just it's not. It's not what you want your highest rarity in a booster oh, to be it's not. No. for a specific, like, um, this is what I'm building kind of thing. Next up is Hope Summers. I can already tell by looking at this dial that she was dev designed by a complete imbecile. Like, a real <sighs> idiot must have made this care. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, no, she's cool. She's fun. She's either 40 points for her first four clicks, or if you pay 100 uh, when she takes damage, she will then hit a stop click on click five and have three more clicks of life, which is kind of cool. She brings back the mutant messiah trait. So again, whoever created this figure is not creative enough to come up with their own trait. So they just took the mutant messiah trait yeah. and uh, brought it back. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to... Well, no, anyway. I, um, I think they definitely designed her to be played at 100 points, whoever designed this. I think so. Yeah, whatever. 40 point person. line. They really sure. hate the 40 point line. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's Mastermind Leadership traded. If Hope Summers is 40 points, she is KO'd when her dial clicks past the KO line. Protect the way. Very simple. She's got stealth, TK, combat reflexes, and enhancement. Top dial, so combat reflexes and stealth. Very solid. Six range, two targets. And then her second two clicks on her 40 click line are running shot, pen blast, ESD, and then outwit. Uh, make up your mind. Like, do you want her to be in close? Do you want her to be ranged? Like, what are you, stupid? What's wrong <laughs> with you? Uh, sorry, her second trait, power you mimicry. You designed a figure terribly. That's yeah, you designed going. an awful figure, dude. <laughs> free, choose a character within <clears throat> range and line of fire and two inner powers that they can use. You can use the chosen powers for next turn. So it's cool. Uh, unlike Cinch, it doesn't have to be a friendly character. Uh, maybe you had to not be friendly for Cinch either, but... This is again choose two powers. Pretty solid. Um it's nothing crazy though. I I her power set right away, if it was if it was the running shot pen blast outwit clicks first, then I'd be way more jazzed about choose powers. Uh yeah. but that's I think it goes down to it being a more balanced figure. Um not giving her move and attack. I think at, uh, at forty points where she doesn't have that stop click. Where like Sure, you yeah. don't hit the stop click, like you just die if she like you know hits click. Yeah, five. right. She's knocked out. I think for forty points, it's a stupid good um, support piece. Like you have, you already have enhancement on dial. You already have TK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you copy like sidestep, perplex, sidestep, prop. What are we looking at? Like support? I think it's really good. No, I, I yeah. hope Simeon isn't. Yeah, I'm just dogging on this for no reason. I'm no, dogging. On I know it. you're. Yeah, I know you're not. Okay. Okay. Um. um in sealed, Anyways. to be honest, in sealed, that's a hard hundred points to crack, though. It is, it is. But at the same time, in a constructed sealed, like just normal sealed, not a battle royale, hang a hundred points for just that top dial, and maybe she never does anything else. Points, and your opponent doesn't ever that's, hit her, so you just stuck with like man. a TK yeah. enhancement, yeah. And you know, maybe there's for Nimrod on your team. You can still running shot. Well, I guess you can't still pulse. So it's not standard power. It's a special. Maybe you can't. I don't know. Uh, no standard powers they can use. You could steal it. Yeah, yeah. They can use that standard power. So sure. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, her stop click is at least invincible. Uh so it's stop invincible. This character, uh, when this power first reveal, this character has ooh, the power cosmic or cosmic energy team ability uh, for the rest of the game. And then uh the flight can't be healed above this click. So it's pretty it's cool. also got the, the yeah, wing symbol. The um, wing symbol, uh, it's hard to but see. like hypersonic uh, hypersonic uh, eleven for four and then I mean yeah. In a BR, this is like 100 points that probably is high. Yeah. Which is really in a cool, BR, so I like that. because you don't have to pay points, like you probably have other good stuff on your team. And yeah. uh, so it doesn't matter if they hit or two this click, but if they do, it's going to be like mid game. Yeah. And yeah, you'll start also, being able to like run around. I like, do some I like crazy the keywords stuff. a lot um, Avengers, Cosmic, Future, Phoenix Force, The Five, X Force, X Men. All the solid keywords. I. I got exposed to Hope during, uh, man, I wish, um, during Avengers for Sex Men. So, like, that was, like, the storyline I know her from. So I know her as being a very Avengers heavy on the Avengers side. Yeah. The X-Men, they weren't going to kill her. Were they? Were the X-Men going to kill her? I don't remember. What were the X-Men going to do with Hope? I thought the Avengers were going to kill her. Avengers going to kill her? Because the, like, the X-Men were going to let her was... be the host for the Phoenix. And oh, right. The Avengers Iron Man used, like, the Phoenix Buster to... 
split that it makes, into like five. It does sound like more. That does sound like more sense. Yeah. For some reason, I felt like she was more on the Avengers side for some reason during that story. Maybe she started there and she might have been. She might have been like Arnold. Like, kill me. Kill me. Do it. Do it. Kill me. Do kill me now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I doubt all right. <laughs> uh, who we got? Oh boy. Arcade. Oh, we got one. one of the fanciest dressed men in all of Heroes. Dude, we got. Look uh, at those high you know, sneakers. We got Hot dancing sneakers. high tops, fresh off the the I don't know clothes rack. We got Arcade, yeah, dude. Uh, that's his Fresh name. Boss dress for less. He it's looks like. If you ask me. Six years, seven years. It's been a while. Seven since years. Arcade's seven been years. Game. Yeah. Avengers Assemble is the last time yeah. we saw him, bro. So forty points, six range, one lightning bolt. He has three clicks of um, stealth for his speed power and then two clicks of plasticity he's only five clicks long he has a special damage power his whole dial with a two clicks of 18 and three clicks of 17 and then his special damage power is three damage for his whole dial uh his attack is 10 attack for his whole dial except his last click which is an 11 so what makes this guy do anything that's worthwhile for 40 points he has the team player team ability which makes him a wild card you can copy all those other awesome powers we've seen in the set he has the assassin and robot keyword which means he's in this set basically only fitting on like a danger room team um yeah his special yeah. defense power is you play by my rules now mastermind willpower when arcade uses mastermind friendly bystanders within range are considered adjacent that doesn't just mean his but he also has his own so uh, if you were playing him with like ABPI Medusa, that's a friendly bystander within range. Oh, very um, true. Very true. Special damage power is leaving so soon, the fun just got started. Leadership. When Arcade uses it and succeed, you may instead generate a killer robot bystander, and it can use autonomous this turn. So the killer robot bystanders. Pretty good. That's like the, the whole thing that he does. Um, they are an 8 speed, 10 attack with blades, 17 defense with toughness, and 1 damage. Uh, so obviously giving one autonomous is pretty cool. They also have 4 range, but you want a blades, so you don't want to shoot. Yeah. Uh, Arcade also has a trait that is welcome to Myrtle World. And this is the main reason you're going to play him, whether it's constructed or sealed. Honestly, I think he's good in both. For 40 points, I think you play him no matter what. Uh, probably not your first pick in a battle royal, but that's okay. There's other options out there. Um, but this is, if Arcade's controller chooses the map, he has power, choose a piece of blocking terrain within range, generate a killer robot bystander in a square adjacent to that piece of terrain. So this is a entire game length thing, power action. If I hit my leadership, I get a robot. If I power action, I get a robot, yada, yada. Um, he has mastermind willpower, so it's potentially he could just do this in, infinitely. Um, yeah. If Arcade's controller did not choose map, he has, at the beginning of the game, give Arcade three killer robot tokens free, remove a killer robot token to generate a killer robot bystander. So still generates them on leadership successfully going off, but also if you lose map, you just get to free action generate them. Now they're going to yep. be generated next to you, but, I mean, it's a really solid constellation. It's almost a better constellation than the power action one because uh, you don't have to waste action tokens. Obviously, That's what I robots, think so too. Like, you can move arcade up adjacent or nearly adjacent and then free generate one of the free robots. Free, just make one. Same yeah. turn. That's so good. Power action. But, yeah, he's just a really fun piece. He's a different arcade than the previous one. Honestly, I hadn't thought about it, but I should try and build a team with the two of them because the previous one, it was like you lose map, you just kind of like you wasted all these points. But this one, it's like you lose map, you still get killer robots, and that's pretty fun. Yeah, I think uh, I think in a battle royal, I don't think you ever choose him over like rare apocalypse. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, but, uh, <laughs> no, it was somebody sense. else he chose and took, took arcade. I'm sorry. No, he got given rare apocalypse. Never mind. I was, yeah, we both on the same. But, um, like, in Battle Royale, he's a really solid pick, though, because you're probably not going to win map. So you're going to just be able to toss out those free, like, 
bystanders. You can mastermind to him, and like he's hard to kill for forty points. We like you, tie you, up. You're the one right. that didn't pick rare apocalypse. You gave yeah, I wanted Andrew double rare Sodom. apocalypse with yeah, this I did. I gave. I wanted double Sodom. Wow. Yeah. I I uh, I not only didn't choose arcade. I want double Sodom. Double Sodom for life. <laughs> Forever. Didn't work out terrible. Well, you well, like almost, no, it didn't I, work you out did terrible. Get second, I think. I got second. Yeah, 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 and like, I don't know. Like, it's pretty good. I mean, maybe you didn't know this or not, but Solemn can use penetrating he damage. So Solemn, Solemn's damage, pretty yeah. good. We called him Sodom a million times. But his Sodom. name is Solemn. Yeah. Solemn. Solemn. Yeah, I keep, sure. Yeah, I keep forgetting the <laughs> the bad meme we had. Uh, <laughs> no, arcade's great. Okay, let's arcade's talk about Jimmy weird Jade, cousin. Dude. Yeah. Arcade's weird cousin, old Jimmy Jaspers. Sir Mad James Jim Jaspers. Jaspers here, dude. Uh, this dude does too much for 35 points, and I hate it. Yeah. Uh, he's got 5 range, triple target. He has 12 attack with in-cap, so he's already at 12 attack, 5 range, triple target, in-cap state. Cool. Cosmic energy, full dial of phasing, full dial of perplex, full dial of his special defense power, and then in his last two clicks, he has pulse wave, because why not? Cosmic, mystical, politician, ruler, Sir James Jaspers. Uh, his special defense, he has his entire dial, is super senses barrier, Barrier is free, but only to generate two markers. So, cool. Perplex, also free barrier, 35 points. Alder, he can't possibly get better. And listen, I tell you this, this is not even what you're playing him for. He gets so much better. It's insane. It's so much worse. Uh, yeah. Welcome so to the worse. crooked the crooked market, Simeon. Uh, so free. Choose an equipped friendly character within range and line of fire. Replace their equipped equipment with another equipment or uh, of equal or less points from your sideline. So, oh, that's it? That's not terrible, I guess, for 35 points. He just oh, no, like, no, no. He's like trader from ABPI. Yeah, he right, just like trade right, stuff. Right, right, right. Yeah. Except there's another there's another part to the traits. So I mean, a little what? slash slash going on. Yeah, there's even more. But wait, there's more. Power. Once per game, choose a friendly unequipped character within range and line of fire. And choose an equipment from your sideline. Equip the chosen character with the chosen equipment. It can be any amount of points. It can be whatever you want them to be. They can, automatically yeah. get equipped. They can still take an action this turn. You can you can first turn equip Sky Tyrant with the Necro Sword if you want to, sure. and TK and send them out. You can um, take Rune from ABPI, uh, and instead of using Rune's optional trait for a plus 15 points to equip the Gauntlet, you could just have Jim Jaspers equip it for free. Uh, free yeah actually all the gauntlet wielders and kobik all the yeah cosmic cube it's oh gosh cheaper. well it's not imagine cheaper to run in, Jim in Jaspers, silver but, age you um, you have also i don't know why i don't know what's with whiz kids they're like you know what give them the cosmic keyword i'm like man why yeah. though quit giving people the cosmic keyword please they don't have you enough know, yeah you know, cosmic, doesn't need it cosmic like, keywords just doing real rough currently so right now cosmic keyword gets to make five squares of free barrier between this guy and molecule man there's five free barrier squares the cosmic keyword gets to make per turn a little gross plus automatic equipments so on the verse side so like against thanos i don't think this guy's a thanos killer he helps thanos too much to be a thanos killer um he does whatever he can give you the ooh ah the emotional modifier for yeah. just 10 points for free no, auto for me it's pretty cool it's more it's so mix. like it's not so much um, bringing in an object for like a free cost. It's more so like turn one, I already have the object equipped. So for me, it's like Sakarian Iron Man already has the cloak and then can power action, move, pick up an object, sidestep, pick up another Side object. Move, already object. has two objects and is yeah, equipped full power. turn one. Yeah, um, that's really nice. That is that's true. crazy. Like, I, I don't know if we went over this guy in previous episodes, but like, you know, in Golden Age or Silver Age, um, like obviously there's like the the gauntlets aren't crazy, but they are good. The cubes right. aren't crazy, but they are good. And this guy being able to bring him in for essentially well, enough to points free, to though. make him only five points of your build. Yeah, like you get a free thirty point object. Yeah, because That's, it's on your yeah. sideline. That's like nothing. pay like, thirty five points and get a free thirty point object. For free, like free. It's like wow, it's a heck of a deal. Thank you, yeah. Billy Mays. I love it. So instant rebate. Uh, yeah. Jim Jasper's the instant like, rebate. Uh, Mad Jim is not a good battle royal pick. 
Unless, of course, it's the snake draft section of Battle Royal, in which case, definitely yes. pick him. Yeah, very, he is not. Honestly, game. he might be the last piece that you pick. He might be the second to last Probably. because the like, double barrier is an something. Attacker. And the perplex yeah, is something. something. But, like, you don't use any of this stuff in Battle Royal. In, in Sealed, I still, I'm cool with him in Sealed. Yeah. Um, you know, Triple he's cap, still super solid. Perplex. Triple in cap, the perplex, the barrier for free is really solid, really good in Sealed. Um, and I mean, control. potentially, if you pulled really well, for whatever reason, if you have a super rare prime, you might have a whole bunch of swords. swords. Who knows? And like, you were like, oh, I can only play one person with this sword. And you're like, I at least I get to swap the sword with Mad Jim yeah. Jaspers. Maybe. Yeah, I highly doubt that situation ever happens. But no, he's. Never know. In my opinion, he's the highest rarity um, competitive piece in the set. Because I, I yeah. don't think the chases outweigh how competitive uh, Nothing this guy sells is. for more than old Mad J here. No. He's going to be expensive. Real yeah. spendy. Real nutty. Even though he doesn't come with an object, which is interesting. Yeah, no but... object. No object for Jim Jaspers. Yeah. No. Just think All of, right. like, objects that uh, you would have wanted to equip without ever having to place on, like, the board. Like, if right. I can... I can equip no XSX without ever having to worry anything. about like my opponent KOing them, you know, things like that. Uh, Jim, old Jimmy Jasp, uh, yeah, makes that possible. What a guy. All right. Oh wow, there's a lot going on here. Next up, we got Look X23. That color. Good old Laura Kinney. She's an assassin, a martial artist, a Weapon X, a X Force X Men character. Um, she has improved movement through characters, which is awesome. For 90 points, she has one stop click, which is reminiscent of the uh, Black Widow title character stop click. Oh, true. Because yeah. that, that old 12. Very low defense. dial. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she has a trait that is I heal faster than Logan. At the beginning of your turn, you may heal X23 one click. At the end of your turn, you may heal X23 one click. So you heal twice in the same turn. Uh, both at the beginning and at the end, which is really cool. I really like this character. Uh, she has a special speed power on her first and second to last click. Um, her effective dial, her first and last click. Uh, that speed power is charge stealth when X-23 uses charge. If she occupies hindering terrain, she doesn't have speed. A little sky tyrant kind of action. Uh, 10 speed Ooh. top dial, 8 speed. I tyrant. Well, US agent. Dial. Well, little, U.S. agent action US agent. occupies hindering terrain. Uh, what is what's the other one? Is it uh, Sam or Aiken. Bucky? Aiken. I thought Sam oh, and Bucky also. Uh, Sam. Oh yeah, the oh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier super rares. They both get charge or running shot when they occupy hindering terrain. Okay. They just both get. They don't full speed or anything. not full speed though. No, um, not full speed. So the dials are real wonky. It goes from that special speed power to normal charge on click two to flurry to normal charge to flurry to normal charge to that special speed power uh it's like a christmas tree of powers uh she has a special attack power on clicks one two four and six seven so again wonky christmas tree kind of power tree um that special speed or that special attack power is a blades claws fangs when x23 uses it instead roll 2d6 and choose one to be the result which is pretty solid. She has a 12 attack top dial, 12 attack bottom dial. Um, got two 11 attacks in between with yeah. one of those being on the special uh, attack power. And then yeah. three clicks of 10 attack with one of those being normal blades. Uh, her special defense is on click eight, which is a blank dial except for click eight. And that is just unparalleled healing. Stop. Each time this click is revealed, if X-23 is the only character on your force, KO her. What a terrible... Dangerous. Very terrible click. <laughs> stop click. The only reason this click I... is cool is because if you're on, like, a themed... Well, it doesn't have to be themed. If you're on, like, a team, um, if your opponent can hit her to this, but they can't finish her off, then at the beginning of your turn, you will heal her up to a charge stealth... Um, full speed charge, really good blades, roll two d six, like all that stuff, and then at the end of your turn, you'll heal her up again. And if they can't 
finally finish her off after that, you'll like heal her even more. So it's yeah. the the trait where she heals at the beginning and end of your turn that makes her really cool. At 90 points, she is a top pick and sealed. She is my main attacker. She is going in, going guns blazing. I'm going to see how long she can survive. She's got oh, yeah. uh, combat reflexes, super senses, combat reflexes, super senses, combat reflexes, super senses, super senses, stop click. So uh, the whole dial, she's either rolling out or she's got a high defense for close attacks. And then her entire damage value is uh, outwit, exploit, outwit, exploit, outwit, exploit, outwit. So yeah. it's like if I can't do pen damage through this character, I can probably outwit their defense like power uh or whatever for 90 points yeah real solid first pick in battle royal probably um, oh no i agree 100 percent first pick in yeah. a battle royal absolutely she just has a lot of staying power and uh yeah i don't think her tr her special defense power where if she's the only character on your force ko her i don't think that triggers very often i think no, most of the time not. they'll try to double tap her because Honestly, if they don't and they like leave her for last, she's dealing a ton of damage beforehand. So true. All right. Ooh, ah, Summoner. Summoner remembered his sword but forgot his pants. Um, classic <laughs> mistake. Apocalypse to all of us. Son. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's. It's the he other summoned son. a terrible dad. Besides, besides oh, <laughs> uh, Summoner Sword. Let's colony. take a look. Colony. It's cool. Blades Claws Fangs. Exploit weakness. Character uses Blades Claws Fangs. If the target shares a keyword with this character, increase damage dealt by one. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's see what Summoner's keywords key. are. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Summoner's Summoner just has like pilot keyword and that's it no okay okay so he's got x-men horseman Araco, and mystical those are like that's good for the sealed foremost sure. common keywords in this sealed set yeah like, that's yeah. really good and bro is he a tier one pick so far he's looking like it he is a 10 speed 12 attack 18 defense three damage his speed power is i am everywhere phasing teleport and stealth he uses phasing teleport and moves five squares or less after resolution, he may make a close attack, which is just basically charge, but phasing instead, which is so fun, fun, fun. That's was Mystics, so keep that in mind. Uh, he's got a lot of clicks of life and a lot of stop clicks for Mystics to chew through, so keep that in mind. So, his damage power that he has top dial, and then on his fifth click, and then on his... Oh, that's it. First two clicks in his fifth click, that's it. Uh, outward shape change perplex, but may only target opposing characters. So, man, that's good. Clicks and down, some defenses, some attack values... He also got outwit and shape change. Uh, very solid. I like it already. All right. His two stop clicks one on click four and one on click eight. Wow, wow, wow. Stop invulnerability. So good. When this click is first revealed from damage taken by an opposing character's attack after resolutions, generate one of each bystander on this card. If not already on the map. Dang, see, didn't even know this guy had bystanders. Let's oh, look at him. Ton of bystanders. Let's, He's got dirt. Let's check these out. Cool. Go down. Dirt. Whoa, dude! A Ugh. charge, a or speed, and uh, nine attack. Yeah. Wow, impervious though. When he uses it, instead roll two d six and choose the result. That's great. Even though he's dog water at moving and attacking. Yeah, that's dirty. Uh, oh wow! And then this dude, whose name is a whole lot of things, um, flurry <laughs> eleven attack, freaking exploit and super senses. Oh my gosh! Um, actually pretty solid. Keep, Durger, durger, dur, uh, plasticity, precision durger, strike, oh 18 invulnerability. Oh my gosh, four damage, triple with target, giant though. size, triple yeah. target with freaking precision strike. Hot dog. Um, okay, I never looked at Summoner before right now. Summoner is a tier one pick on all regards, oh, except maybe he's, he's constructed, I guess. But like, dude good. is insane. 120 yeah. points for all these mystics and all these ice standards and all this jazz. Holy you make freaking one of crap. each bystander Simeon. from the card if it's not already on the map. And then... So uh, if they all die by the time he gets to his second stop click, yeah. he gets to make and It's so disgusting. Wow. Holy yeah. crap. Um, What is his second point line? Is that click five probably? Does he have a lower point line? No, he doesn't just have like another that? point line. Oh, weird. That, I would have so thought that was a lower point yeah, line. Yeah, okay. you definitely would have thought click five oh. would 
yeah it mirrors, especially before I mean, a stop click or like right maybe after a stop he does click. I mean, and it's just not listed on here but i i don't yeah. think so i think it's yeah just the 120 huh. point let's this guy's incredible i i'm actually kind of blown away right now he may have forgot pants but he brought everything else to the party <laughs> holy crap <laughs> this dude's insane it's really wow. really solid um oh, dude he couldn't summon a good dad but he kind of did it himself <laughs> he's already a great great hero clicks figure he do be kind of starting like the whole x of swords saga though by oh, did he like, oh well cool good this hey, is hey you know, hey dad you want to come back and like maybe save you wanna, your family try maybe? To, wanna try to find some like, swords? yeah i guess i guess so uh so, yeah no summoner in my opinion um Obviously, if you pull him, you play him in sealed, uh, and you obviously pull him, you play him in battle royal, and then uh, competitively or like constructed casually, whatever. Uh, I don't think he's got enough stain Almost power. Like too good for casual, man. But like he's yeah, not he competitive. Hundred twenty is a big ask for him. That's like competitive. If, what if Stagron's dinosaurs weren't garbage stats? Like, would you feel good? If Stagron just made three for free every time he hit a stop click, and Stagron also had stop clicks, like that's basically this guy. Uh, they just have really good stats. Well, for that's... forty-five more points, though. That's true. On top of yeah. that, Stagron was only seventy-five, or or maybe actually but, fifty more points with one twenty-five. Stagron but came still, out, he was not in Dom, so ooh. no, he wasn't. And that was you kind of had to pay a price for him being in Dom because his dial changed pretty drastically on that side. It did. Like, yeah. It like it changed up, bro. Yeah. All right. Red Rut. No, Red Rut, the forest. Hey, dude. We got uh, Groot's cousin, um, Red Root, the forest. So, Arako, mystical warrior keywords. One speed power, one attack power. That attack power is smoke cloud. I bet you forgot that was an attack power. I didn't. Yeah. Except I did. Uh, he's got two defense powers. He's got willpower for the first three clicks, and then mastermind for the last three clicks, and one damage power that is exploit weakness so uh the majority of his attack power is or his attack stat is 11 he has one click of 12 one click of 10 first and last click respectively his whole speed value is four across the board whole defense value is 17 across the board uh half a click or half dial of three damage and half dial of two damage so on consistent on just the dial not great. I'm going to say not great. Uh, 60 points. He has the optional trait to start with a sword for 5 points. So 65 points most likely is what you'd ever play him at. Uh, he has the twisting, weaving, growing trait. Which is when Red Root the Forest uses Smoke Cloud. After resolutions you may generate a twisting vine bystander. Max 3 in a square uh, with a hindering terrain marker oh. generated oh, cool. during that action. Free, choose one to generate in a square within six squares in line of fire. A hindering terrain marker or a twisting vine bystander, max three. So, pretty decent options for generating some little bystanders. The twisting vines, not as exciting as summoners, guys. Uh, they are uh, plasticity with zero speed, 11, or 10 attack with incapacitate, 10 defense with no defense power, and... Uh, a special damage Ugh. power with zero damage. If a Ugh. friendly character named Red Root the Forest is within three squares and adjacent, or is within three squares, adjacent opposing characters modify attack and defense minus one. Well, that definitely mm -hmm. won't help these bystanders, but it might help Red Root. Um, yeah, it might. Yeah, that's his. So those are the bystanders he gets to make. Um, he makes them by either doing that smoke cloud um, and generating one in a square of hindering train marker generated during that action or free choose one to generate in a square so he could potentially make two i think the same turn which is pretty mm -hmm. solid uh his special speed power his whole dial is plasticity st plasticity stealth free place red root the forest in a square of hindering train within six squares and line of fire so he's only got four speed but he can basically like phase around six squares mm -hmm. which is pretty solid and he can do that his, with a smoke cloud too, which is pretty nice. So. Oh yeah, yeah. And then his, uh, his sword, alluvium, the alluvium falcon. Okay. Uh, it's blades lost fangs. When this character uses it after resolutions, this character may use smoke cloud as free. Oh, so hot dog! He makes another plasticity 
uh, in pog bystander wow. guy. Wow, 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 wow. And that's, for 60 points, I mean, this is a really fun character to try and play around with because the bystanders aren't overly play, good. They like him and Koya on a team. Yeah. For some real some tree real guy. Tree action. Some tree yeah. thumb theme Maybe team. throw Groot on there, you know? Venom Groot or some jazz. They're probably sure. both warrior keyword. Probably are, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, probably. But um, uh, What a dude. I would say depends on what else you pull, but he's a solid play. He's a solid piece to play in a, a battle royal. He's probably a not my first pick if I pulled something nice. with a higher point Definitely value. Definitely not a first pick. I, I mean, I like depends. the idea of getting a drop on someone, being a 12 for three exploit. Pretty yeah. cool, you know, with some easing around. But man, that's 17 willpower just being 12, it. three for it exploit or so bad. 12. Uh, with blades exploit oh, and then blades exploit free smoke that's, cloud that's not, that's drop not a terrible bystander if you had like uh you pull gene gray you get stuck with gene gray it's already a terrible team if you're stuck with gene gray but like you tk him and then you another free phase six mm. then you can attack but man that's 17 just the 17 is so rough yeah really bad really bad yeah, I, like I prefer if the mastermind was top dial, so I could have top dial. Yeah, mastermind, mastermind your dudes. Mastermind is fine. Bystanders. Be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. Uh, all right. Let's see who's next. On to the chases. We got. Are we? Are we already? Apocalypse. Wow. Hey, I talked about this guy before. <laughs> I know what he. I sort of know what he does. Um, he's 195 points. Cosmic energy. X Men. Eight range. He's. Charge, 12 attack, precision strike, 19 defense, invincible, 5 damage, shape change. Then it goes down to 4, then it goes down to 3. Yeah, that's it though. And then he has traded super senses. And he's got his plus 5 sword bearer thing. He's got Arako, uh, horseman, mystical, past, ruler, warrior, X-Men. Does he have a sword, Simeon? He's got a, he's a chase. Yeah, he's got starts a with, I think it's called Scarab. Yeah, Scarab. Okay. Um. Uh, Scarab, please cause fangs. Archer uses it. Increased damage dealt by one for each four in the attack roll. Uh, the results can be greater than a six. Cool. So if you roll a bunch of fours in your attack roll, uh, that'd be pretty fun. Hey, give Scarab to freaking uh, what's Iska? her bucket? It's gonna be unbeaten prime. Those characters use it. That'd be the damage dealt great. by yeah. One for each four in the because attack roll. Be a crit and increased damage by plus yeah. one for each four. Yes. He's got a nine damage have blade. Scarab? That seems like a. I know, right? Way better. That's yeah, like a thousand so times much better. better. Um, mm. but Apocalypse here, uh, is real fun. He's real neat. Uh, so he's got a special attack power in like the middle of his dial. Click three through seven. Really weird. There must be suffering or victory for you make an attack. You're only to target a character that targeted Apocalypse with an attack since your last turn. So a little bit of pseudo retaliation going on. Um, and then it's he also in that middle of his dial picks up running shot with invulnerability and outwits as opposed to his charge. Again, I wish he started with running shot in that eight range instead of charge top dial, but whatever, he's a sword guy, he's doing sword stuff. Um, so he has stop clicks for his last three clicks. This is his weird, wacky thing. If you haven't listened to the podcast, talk about him before. It's stop apocalypse can't be damaged by opposing effects healed or chosen for mastermind at the beginning of your turn. Generate a daemon bystander in a square within six squares. And at the end of your turn, the Apocalypse won't unavoidable damage. So he has this for three clicks where he can't be attacked, damaged, healed, whatever. And he's on this countdown to die. Back to back. Yeah, three clicks back to back. So he, he's like, I'm going to die. Increasing defense I'm going to die. For each one. I'm going to die. Yeah, I, it's very weird. Um, he also has very high attack values. Like the fours and fives damages and the twelves, thirteens. Yeah. But he also I doesn't have any movement attack. For five, two um, ways to pen damage. very least, technically still moves. So he spits out the daemons. Six squares away, and they already have an eight speed charge, eleven attack quake, seventeen defense, invincible, three damage exploit. The demons are nasty in a battle royale format and in a sealed format. Um, Simeon played Annihilation. We know how nasty these demons are. Imagine spitting them out six squares away, and then they can like just they have crazy reach. Yeah. So you're trying to run. You're trying to like run away from apocalypse. You're like, oh, I don't want to get shot at. You know, he's twelve five. You know, he's thirteen five. Like. I don't want to get shot by Apocalypse. I'm going to run away. And it's like, no, 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 no. My daemon's going to track you down. Oh, I'm going to spit him yeah. out. Six I forgot away. He, at the end of your turn, you deal him one unavoidable. Yeah, and you turn to deal him one unavoidable. So he's on the countdown to death. Yeah. So, so your he, goal yeah, with this Apocalypse. Once he hits that, he is on like a timer. 
to try to punk him right away. Yeah, try to get him sure that top at least one more attack possible. left in him. Uh, absolutely, okay. at least. Clear, um, yeah. But, you know, Ape Chain Super Senses, Invincible with protected uh, whatever outwits with Cosmic Energy is going to be tough to get this guy necessarily punked all the way down to that click. Uh, yeah. But hopefully you can try to do that. I, I'd if say it's worth him, it. I mean, if you pull him at 200 points, um, congratulations. Tough 200 like, that's KO. one of the hardest figures to put down in a sealed yeah. setting. And in yeah. Battle Royal, it's like, yeah, if your opponent manages to knock you to that first well, top click. Does Apocalypse I mean, not have a lower click number? Man, no. I guess not. In and a battle royal, he just he just has to be played at that. Yeah. Like, there's no other way to rule it. Like, you can't just take that away from someone. No. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. That's rough. <laughs> All right, really next, up. Yeah. next up. Uh, they definitely could have done like um, one twenty five at like the first running shot. I think something. so. Yeah, something like that. Maybe one hundred. I don't know. Uh, next up, White Sword, who's got Ooh, purity. Ah, so cool, I believe dude. is his he's blade. So cool. Um, very cool character design. Very cool sword. Um, 75 points. He's got a special speed power for his first three clicks. A special attack power for his clicks three through seven. Seven being his last click. Uh, and then he has a singular trait. So his first three clicks, his special speed power is charge flurry. When white sword uses charge and hits, this turn friendly bystanders can use charge. Which is awesome for all That's the bystanders good. in this set. It's, it's really pretty nice. good. Except Twisting Vines, they got zero speed. Everything else in the set, though. So sad. Um, really, any bystander. Chewy likes this. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What bystander doesn't like getting charge? Um, his special attack power that he gets on clicks three through seven is Quake. When the White Sword hits more than one opposing character with a close attack, after resolutions, heal two clicks on each adjacent friendly character, which is. Not himself, but every adjacent friendly character. That's pretty solid. Uh, so he has two clicks of invulnerability. He goes to two clicks of 19 defend, and then he ends his dial with 18 combat reflexes and then two clicks of 17 combat reflexes. He has two clicks of leadership with three damage and then goes to three clicks of three damage in power and then ends with two damage exploit with normal charge on the last four clicks. Um, he's a very interesting piece. Oh, I guess also he has twice per game when a bystander is KO'd after resolutions, you may generate a copy of that bystander. It doesn't oh, yeah. specify friendly oh. or opposing, so he gets both. He gets he gets either a friendly or opposing bystander, depending on what he uh, yeah. interesting. KOs. Uh, and then Purity is the sword that he's equipped with, and that is when a or when this character uses Blades, Claws, Fangs after resolutions, you may generate an Okara Warrior Bystander. So it's a bystander generating sword, and that bystander is uh, just a 10 attack with precision strike, 17 defense with nothing, and 2 damage with nothing, 8 speed, nothing. Uh, but he, of course, can give them charge, and then he can bring them back if they're KO'd. I wish you could... Um, so the way he works, I don't believe that you get to pick. It is twice per game when a bystander is KO'd. After resolutions, you may generate a copy of that bystander. Do you get to choose when you generate that copy? Or would you be able to be like, nah, I don't want it's that It's a may. <laughs> it's a to. may. Yeah, so like you could yeah, it's pick, a may. hey, I don't, don't want that one. It. I want to wait for a better one kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would do. Yeah. But um, um, yeah, that's white so sword. Dope. He's literally so cool. He's one of the coolest. Tier, tier uh, one. Tier one. Chases, He's dope. In my opinion. He's one dope. Of the it sucks. You can get like just running shot, penetrating, blasted, and punked on by a Magneto right away. Yeah. But uh, that is rough. For Snipe that. He's points. so cool. But I mean, he's again, there's only 75 points. He does a ton for only 75 points. I really, really like I would rather have him on my team than not. So I, I like him. All right. It's weird that everything yeah. he does is like bystander related except his special attack power. And it's like heal yeah. two clicks. It's like, yeah, it's well, very weird. Your bystanders can't heal any clicks. They don't have very any true. clicks to heal. Very true. Oh, hey, look at her. It's Annihilation. Uh, she also makes daemons. Her sword, so really quick, uh, she's 70 points, plus 5 for her sword. Her sword is the Twilight Sword, and I oh, believe yeah. you get to make barrier. You get to make blocking terrain markers equal blocking to terrain. the result of the D6. Yeah. Yeah, generate a number of blocking terrain markers up to the D6 results. 
Yeah. It's not not blocking, or it's not barrier. It's just not barrier. Uh, no, it's blocking. It's blocking. Um, interesting. Yeah, like somewhere in the Discord, we were talking about it, and somebody said like, it does not mention that the terrain goes down. So this technically yeah it is interesting like it doesn't have the barrier it's not barrier it doesn't like disappear at the end of your turn or at the end of your next turn Uh, stay you just have blocking forever yeah like just blocking all over the map looking all nasty um so she's got four clicks of charge four clicks of invincible four clicks of perplex and then she has three clicks of plasticity three clicks of invulnerability and three clicks of exploit very oddly similar to that iska the mb that i'm looking at her um Mm -hmm just like how it's kind of set up and everything um but she is an 11 for four uh with an 18 10 speed up dial two targets which is pretty cool so flexing up her defense flexing up her attack value on the offense pretty fun stuff this command the hordes leadership she uses it friendly characters with the Arako keyword within three squares are considered to be adjacent to her at the beginning of your turn you generate a daemon bystander max three i've already talked about the daemon bystanders the crazy charge exploit uh freaking quake Invincible dudes, and she just makes them for free at the beginning of your turn. In Sealed, Kevin used it really well to block off an entire room and just have a wall of daemons or one or two daemons like just in the way. And I'm like, these are so annoying to try to get around. And she just makes them for free. Uh, and yeah, you get it's, like one of them awful. gone, and she just makes another one at the beginning of the next turn. Um, and you're like, well, I'll just finally kill her. It's a long dial. I'll kill her. And then I want to deal with all these free bystanders. Ah, 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 not so fast. Her second trait, when Annihilation is KO'd, she's a friendly character. For us, the game, that character is considered to have the Daemon bystander printed on its card, and they can use the Command of the Hordes trait. Awful. You will never be free of this disgusting Command no. the Hordes trait until every figure is killed on this opponent's and force and that makes her so nasty dude this figure is from the allocation it looks like this figure almost always comes with that rare apocalypse it does yeah so, so i need that trait with a danger room a danger room apoc like, you never in, get rid of the, the seal that's such a good seal team it's so oh, good it's so in a battle royal so i think you, you gotta choose her no matter yeah. what in a battle royal you can't choose apoc over her but like she's so nutty she's so great. no her with the the bystanders, the damage output is just like so much higher than anything else. Um, it is yeah, or like potential damage output, I should say. I I don't know about constructed though. I don't I don't know what her get and play is like. I, I don't know either. It. I honestly don't even yeah. know about the sword. Um, I really yeah. like the bystander generation. I mean, yeah. casually, like I'll play it if I get one because. Uh, I just like generating bystanders and it seems like a closed off map where I can just like keep like walking them up yeah, and then like one dies and I just keep walking one up like, and she's not unique. So I feel like I can, I could just have like, so gross. it's so gross. That she's not unique. I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah. I don't like it. Ugh. I could have four on a team. Yeah. Um, with not something a else going on. Uh, someone who is a unique though, uh, this is Blink. So Blink, I don't know if she has a sword or if that's just some weird effect that she's doing. I think it's just a weird effect, but uh, I do know that we're at the end of the swords for this specific set. Oh, okay. There will be Thank more goodness. swords in the... Oh, no, uh, a little bit anyway. Yeah, in the organized play, there's more swords. So, um, But yeah, for this set, we are done with the swords. Um, Blink. She's a chase, 75 points, 5 range, triple bolt. She has hypersonic for her first 4 clicks uh, with stealth for her last 2. She has the flight uh, symbol and the X-Men team ability, Age of Apocalypse, Exiles, Generation X, New Mutants, Sword, Utopia, and X-Men team team abilities. uh, Keywords. Uh, So she has improved movement through blocking and characters, which is pretty solid. Um, she has a special attack power for her last three clicks and a special defense power for her whole dial, all six clicks. Uh, shape change for her first four, perplex for her last two. Uh, special defense power, her whole dial is super senses. When blink is missed by an attack, after resolutions, you may deal one pen damage to an opposing character <laughs> within three squares of a portal marker. Well, how do you get portal markers? That's from her trait, blink portals. At the beginning of your turn, you may generate a portal marker max three into a square within range or place a portal marker from anywhere on the map into a square within range 
When a friendly character within range and line of fire makes a range attack, they may count range and draw a line of fire from a portal marker. If they do, their maximum range is 3, and after resolutions, remove that marker. Very cool. Um, her range is only 5, but it doesn't say printed range on her specific portal stuff, so mm. um, generate a portal marker into a square within range. So you could, you know, shield team that to like 8. Um, place a portal marker from anywhere on the map into a square within range. So you're either placing one or generating one. Uh, max. It's so cool, though. It is fun. And then, yeah. I like that uh, a lot. Being able to have For a me. friendly shoot through it, not just herself, yeah. is really cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah. it's really cool. Uh, so she has hypersonic oh. with uh, precision oh. strike, and then she goes He's to... The second hypersonic figure in this entire set. Yeah, Ooh. not a lot. Uh, her special in attack team. power, her last three clicks, is in cap. Uh, when Blink uses it after resolutions, you may place a hit character or you may place a hit character given an action token up to three squares away from its current square. So uh, in cap with three targets and then up to three squares away from their current square if they're given an action token. Pretty fun. I mean, mm. that's mm. like one of the weaker powers that she has, but it's still really yeah. unique. Uh, but no, I... I really like the portal generation. I don't know if 75 points is enough to make that like worth it. Uh, she is one of the weaker rares that we've looked at so far. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, as far as chases but, go, yeah. Yeah. Still double rollout. And, I, guess, um, I don't get why for Link three. is a chase. I don't understand maybe what she does in the story. She doesn't have a either. sword. Um, And I'm just like, Blink has just kind of been an okay random x-men she's never been chase x-men she's before, not even so. i mean she's not a sword bearer she doesn't even have no, uh, i don't get it yeah she doesn't have morocco keyword she's not uh -huh. like a Egyptian person or whatever huh okay blink or yeah i don't know well, all right she doesn't then. have age of apocalypse so maybe they're just filling out the age of apocalypse chase theme yeah all True. these years later yes so finally we'll we'll get there we'll slowly fill it out uh all right Adder nine, hey, this is the one Scott this, Porter pulled. This lady's pretty cool. Yeah, it's one Scotty P got. Yeah, I watched his unboxings. Ha ha, totally. I'm ha ha, sure did. Uh, so he's got uh running. Sh she's oh, she has running shots. Her whole dial, all six clicks of it. She's 150 points. Big ask. Um, she's got a special attack power for her first two and last two clicks with pulse wave in the middle. She has a special damage power her entire dial, and she has invincible her top three clicks and toughness her last three clicks. Card is drawn. Core is reborn. Free. Generate a Captain Britain core bystander in a square within six squares in line of fire. Max three. Let's look what the bystanders do with the Captain Britain core. What they do in Simeon. Charge, blades, uh, toughness. Okay. They're pretty simple. They had a little yep, 10 flight. attack, two damage with flight. You know, they're pretty cool. They're solid. For uh, for free, that's cool with me. That's, uh, yeah, that's neat. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, just free. That's pretty good. Can't complain about that. Six squares. Charge out four more. Uh, she's a trait. Long may she reign. Mastermind. When Saturnine uses it, she may instead choose a friendly character of the Captain Britain Corps with her name in it within six squares. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Very easily. Uh, you see that she's got pretty decent staying power with all the free Mastermind fodder she generates. What's her special attack power do? Dragon fire. Penetrating psychic blast. Norse characters. Shoot while based. Range. Choose an opposing character in range and along a direct line of fire. Make a range attack targeting that character and all other characters occupying squares along that line of fire. Instead of normal damage, each hit character is dealt Saturnine's printed damage value. That's a pen blast for four damage along a eight square path uh, leading one character. If you line up that shot beautifully, it, it that's at least going to hit one or two it's capital other range, people. So. Yeah, it works the running shot. Yikes, that's good. That's really, that's really freaking good. Holy smokes. Yeah. Might not then, always work, but like, I bet you pull it off at least once. I think so. I think you definitely do. If not, like, you probably at least catch one other person. Like, there's probably at least one other person adjacent to this character, usually, yeah. you know. I might catch one other dude. Um, all right. Omniversal Majestrix. Leadership perplex or damage power. Leadership perplex. Once per turn, you may reroll a die rolled by a character within range including one die of an attack roll. Wow, that's really good. So, I mean, I wish she had that with also prob, but she's leadership. She's yeah. got perplex. 
can bump up her defense. She's got all this mastermind fodder. There's just a lot she does. I feel like, and 150 she seems like a good amount. Leadership. We roll her own leadership. 150 seems like a balanced price to pay for what she does. Although I think six clicks seems low, but then she just makes mastermind fodder, so it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. Um, I still feel like yeah, six clicks feels a little low. I feel like nine. I'd feel okay paying 150 for what she does if I had nine clicks. Like Oof, nine seems like a big ask. Eight. <sighs> I would say eight. I think 150? so. 150. 150 for eight, and then she also makes all the free dudes mm. that she can fill off. Okay, well, I'll say I'll say 150 for eight if she has a stop click on four. No. <laughs> no. I don't, Why not? I don't like this on stars. We only do like, well, I'll do 150 for eight if she's got a stop <laughs> click on four. Best thing oh, I can do is a stop click on four. I, I would say a stop Best click on maybe not four, but at the end of her dial. I would say oh, a yeah. stop just click. like a single would, one. Any someone anywhere. Honestly, if, on that, if she had like a 30 40 point one that was like line that was just gosh, her last click. Attack values are so good though. Literally just her last click. Like well, 40 points attack. for that. I'd probably all those pay things, 40 points. Yeah. No, I'd pay that too, Simeon. That'd be pretty dang good. Pretty the mastermind good. potter? Yeah. No joke. Um Cool. Saturday's really cool. I've never. I really didn't pay attention to her when Scott Porter uh, unboxed her. This is kind of my first time actually looking at the dial. It's pretty yeah, neat. I mean, she's cool. hard to right, KO Scott. because you can generate a Captain Britain bystander yeah. leave it like, way back. Because one of the, yeah. like, the ways to get around cosmic energy and mastermind is like energy explode or quake or like group yeah. them in, and uh, she straight up can mastermind something like way back behind her. That's not even adjacent. So and that's so solid though. Uh, you it's know so what's good. really, really, really solid is Lady oh. Roma. Uh, she's <laughs> reading a tablet. Wow. Are you sure? What a great character. So 65 points, 7 range, uh, 3 clicks of phasing, 3 clicks of force blast. What more could you ask for, you say? Well, 3 clicks of smoke cloud to combine with that phasing, and then phasing 3 clicks of cloud. penetrating psychic blast to go with that force blast. Double blast, oh. you say? Wow. ESD mm. top dial with some support. Uh, so mastermind good. with some outwit, six clicks long for sixty-five points. Mystic steam ability, Excalibur. It's the Mystical goofiest Apology power Shooter. setup. It is. A long it time. does feel like it's just like Bob Ross you just played a prank brain on brain. someone right now. Um, improved targeting through elevated and characters, which is cool. I really wish that was like top dial outwit for that though. Uh, she has two traits: the floating kingdom, leadership, shape change. When an opposing character attacks Lady Roma or an adjacent friendly character, if they began the turn on different elevation than Lady Roma, modify their attack minus two and damage minus one. That's great. If you okay. get map, if you win map, because otherwise this trait just does nothing except leadership shape change. Um, yeah. It is a cool power though. Like if you couldn't win map, it's really interesting little flavor. Uh, she her second trait is guarded, locked, and quite upside down. It gives her perplex when an opposing character within line of fire uses perplex after resolutions. Roll a d6 on a four through six. The targeted character modifies the chosen combat value by the opposite amount instead, negative two hmm. instead of one, or vice versa. Uh, if only this was around during like the times of uh, what were they the. Uh, the Barons of Battle World, the Baroness. Oh wow, of World. that'd be the crazy. Negative two yeah. instead of negative one. Yikes. On a fifty-fifty, you really gonna perplex that? Are you? Are you? Gonna chance it, huh? Huh? Um, you gonna risk it? Risk it? She's fun. She's real fun. Uh, I'm sorry if this is the chase you pulled, because there's yeah, that are better. Bummer. She's not a she's not a good attacker. She is an okay perplex like support kind of piece. Um, yeah. She is a little hard to KO with her leadership shape change and her mastermind down dial. Um, she's not bringing a whole lot to the table. Top dial, though, it's almost enough where I could just like ignore her and sealed. Like, she's basically just a perplex piece at that yeah. point. Um, but yeah. She's unique. She's just really weird. I, I think there's yeah. I don't know. enough pieces that I'd probably pick before her in a battle royal that yeah. uh, she'd be like fourth or fifth to be honest I think all right more of like a liability than anything else in battle Royale. i would setting. agree 100 percent agree uh home, my homeboy 
Merlin. This Merlin. is so cool. This is so dope. Like, I don't. Uh, is that I don't read X Men. Absalon Mercator in his older years. In his older wow. years, yeah, he becomes instead of going from a Chris Angel Las Vegas strip <laughs> magician, becomes like a real wizard. Yeah, and he comes from Merlin. He fights uh, seven range. Mordor. He targets, yeah, dude, exactly. Well, I'm I'm more jazz, like just for like Arthurian legend stuff. Like Merlin's cool. I never read any comics with this Merlin in it. If it's just like Arthurian Merlin, that's pretty dope. Uh, so I'm I mess with that. That's sweet. 150 points. N clicks of life. Maybe I shouldn't have said it's Lady the Roma. Style we've seen having is the longest dial in. Uh, no, 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 it's apocalypse. eight clicks is too long for Saturday. Yeah, for 150 points, you can't. No, yeah, okay, maybe terrible. out there track that. I think it's at nine. Actually, Merlin, but Merlin's got ten clicks here, but uh, so he's got a trait: the Holy Republic of Fey. Amen. Uh, during each player's turn, that player can't give their characters free actions if they've already given a number of free actions equal to their action total that turn. Oh. So, you combine this guy with I don't know a little bit of a uh, little bit of all caps doom. Your opponent's doing three free action. Period. No more crazy free actions above busted action limit. This is an interesting way of doing of limiting free actions. It's actually kind of cool. Oh, that's each of you. That's you and your opponent. So I guess keep that yeah. in mind. Um, you better be packing free some leadership. They've already given a number of free actions equal to their action total that turn. Right. Um, Doom limits you to what is it? Just three, is three it costed three, action. Three, yeah, three action total. For each hundred points. Uh, so or he whatever. does, he does increase your action total plus one, and then if you have yeah, leadership, that. that would instantly Another give you platform. five. Can, you can help you out, which is pretty uh, nice. So he's got perplex and just yeah. straight up action total plus one. He himself doesn't have leadership, which is a little lame for being 150 points. But I guess he's giving you that. He is a a special defense power on his first three clicks and his last three clicks. And click long dial, which is the Merlin Stones. Oh, hey, we've seen these before. Yeah. Uh, invincible, free, roll a d6. On a four through six, you heal Merlin one click, or you modify his defense plus one to your next turn. So that's great for his top dial and his lower dial. How neat is that? That's pretty darn neat. Um, he also has a 12 attack with penetrating psychic blast, top dial, along with a four damage. That leads a lot of phasing for his movement ability on his top three clicks and his last three clicks. In the middle of his dial, he's got... A real weird dial. Um, it's end control pulse wave ESD outwits. Oh man, that's so strange to me, but okay. Um, and then later he rolls on to, like I said, phasing, but then he picks up in cap on his last three clicks instead yeah, of pen instead blast. Of psychic blast. His, his protected uh, outwit. He's got willpower because of cosmic energy. He's got mystics. He needs some TK. Uh, don't be afraid to equip him with. The cloak probably uh, sidestep is the only form of yeah. I think movement attack you can give right now. Modern, but yeah. the cloak is pretty yeah and modern. Otherwise, you know, goblin glider this homeboy up glider. for sure. Silver so surfboard. Um, yeah, it's surfboard. Oh yeah, give surfboard him a surfboard. Is modern, yeah. yeah, yeah, surfboard's modern. Give him the surfboard. Yeah. Um, no, he's really cool. I think he's awesome. I don't know if he's editive. Like what he does with the free actions is really really cool. Um, for his hundred fifty and then fifty, 50 point points. line, fifty points. Hey. Yikes, no stop click on that 50-point line with just the invincible power is a little bit of a tough ask for mm -hmm. three clicks of life. I mean, those are the powers I want him to have at 50 points. I just want him to have more life uh, with that 50-point. I feel like rough. that 50-point line should be 30, right? From, like, what we've previously I would seen. I'd say 30, like... 35 maybe, because yeah. Apoc like Nimrod's 35, so sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yikes, though, man. Um, I like no, him I though. Think... I like him as just like a fun piece, as just like a wizard dude. It's cool. Like if you that's really want to break his um, his Holy Republic of the Fey trait. Um, and with what Doctor Fate or like Loki 1776, or something. Doctor oh, Fate's that's Loki's good. increase yeah. their own stuff to crazy yeah, high, and then limit their own, and then yeah, like uh, this gets me cap all caps doom, so that your opponent can only do three costed actions. Um, yeah, I don't know if that. I don't remember if that limits their free actions, how that's worded. Well, it's during free each actions, player's turn. If the they've player already give given character. a number of free actions free. equal to their action total. I don't know if is it he, changes he, their action total, though, or if it just says they can't take more than... Oh, true. That's fair. I can't that's remember. fair. Maybe it doesn't work with all caps, Doom. But I know that, like, uh, you know, 1776 would uh, take does their decrease. leadership. It does straight up, yeah. It does straight up decrease your action total yeah. by minus one when he hits an attack, so... 
Yeah, that too. Minimum two. So yeah, straight up though. Him in 1776. Wizards and rip off George Washington getting along together. That's just a hilarious. <laughs> again, that's why I like. Even though it's an X Men set, we got straight up Merlin. Like that's so cool and flavorful. Yeah, or like real name Merlin. Yeah. yeah, bro, it's Merlin. Like the hit BBC show Merlin. Like this is awesome. Ooh. I love it. Yeah, was no, I shouldn't reference that. Was it? No, it wasn't. I don't think so. Oh, oh I'm probably not. Let's take Merlin, but let's make him a young wizard. Yeah, you know the HBO old Max. wide I'll wizard take, Merlin. I'll take, the, yeah. I'll take the dive and watch Merlin with the terrible dragon scenes. Oh, I've it's seen so on, bad. I've seen this on the Netflix works. or not Netflix. EGI uh, in the universe, dude. Uh, so that's the so only thing I remember. I, oh, it's so bad. But, but no, Merlin's cool. I'm. I gotta own him. He's so neat. Like, I gotta play him with like Spider Knight or some other knight characters and play like a. Ye oldie, like, I don't know, night team. And pass a round table. Find a round table. Yeah, Knights of the Round Table, dude. You know, Gwendolyn Christie and yeah, Brutus was... and all the other friendly people. You could, play, you could play Monarch. That's your King Arthur. Oh, is that is that my King? No, I'd probably rather play any <laughs> other knight person besides Monarch to be King Arthur. Yikes on Monarch. Monarch here, gives bro. me mad. Um, Who's the king from? Burger King. He looks like the Burger King, oh. dude, with that mustache and who's, goatee. Who's the bad guy from Robin Hood? Um, oh, uh, do you mean the Sheriff of Nottingham? Yeah, he gives me Sheriff of Nottingham You mean uh, Prince uh, not William, not Harry, whatever his name is. Cusco? Is his... Yeah. Yeah, Cusco. Yeah, cu yeah Cusco, Simeon. Cusco's poison. Yeah. It's poison for Cusco. <laughs> uh, last character. Well, Gosh. I guess, yeah, we talked about Pyro, didn't we? It's a play at home kit. We don't care about play at home kit. We're doing the main uh, sets. Pyro hits after resolutions hit character. Get flame marker. Yeah, play at home kit. Simeon. We're character. doing the main set. Simeon. Uh, flame marker deals one pen damage. Simeon. Simeon. Um, Simeon. We're doing the main set. Simeon. Well, we already talked Which, about Emma yeah. Frost. Last character is Professor X, yeah. who yeah, Tristan apparently did. has three of or something. Yeah, it's yeah. hilarious. He pulled three. Three of this guy. Poor kid. Yeah. He's actually got like a unique thing that I think is cool with the... Yeah. Uh, not the apocalypse from this set, but uh, one of the grand prize ones. So for 75 points or 40 points, um, nice, it's an even split. So for the 75 point dial, you have three oh, clicks yeah. of mind control, three clicks of penetrating psychic blast, three clicks of mastermind, and three clicks of the special damage power that is outwit when he uses it. The duration doesn't end until he uses it again or in this power is, is lost. Um, the duration will end if they have, like, say, power cosmic pop up or. Um, some protected outwit pop up like via stop click, so it doesn't get around that. But otherwise, if you get rid of like charge, they just don't have charge until Professor X uses outwit again. His uh, forty point line is three clicks of stealth, three clicks of precision strike, three clicks of super senses, and three clicks of perplex with uh, respectively a seven ten seventeen two. So not the strongest attacker for seventy five points. Also has the X Men. Uh, team ability, the Illuminati, Politician, Quiet Council, Ruler, Star Jammers, X-Force, and X-Men keywords. Uh, but no, he's he's a solid little support attacker in Sealed. And then the big thing is he has a, well, two traits, I guess. So he has a Rally 5, a Red Rally 5, as almost all X-Men do at this point, it seems. Free, yeah. remove one job. of Professor X's Rally Dice to choose a friendly character with a, a shared keyword within a range and line of fire. This turn, Professor X may count range and draw lines of fire from the chosen character and use his printed combat values when doing so. This is really cool uh, if you're using, like, Moira. So I can give him a Rally Die turn one, move somebody up, like, six squares near, like, a opposing character and then i don't need move and attack with Pro professor x i can just target through that character um uh, the other trait is forging the cerebro sword once per game when an opposing equipment would be ko'd you may instead equip it to a friendly character if you do that character can use blades claws fangs this game so not only are they oh. equipped with that ko'd okay. equipment that will would be ko'd equipment they also get blades claws fangs which is really solid if you listen to our episode where we talked about the grand prize uh, apocalypse you know why blades claws fangs is cool to have on friendly characters yeah. and same thing with like just being equipped with things so i like this guy at 40 points i think he's basically the tradecraft uh colson that i used to run with like yeah. arc arms and stuff um 
but yeah, like it's opposing equipment that would be KO'd. So normally you can't force a opposing equipment to be KO'd anymore. It's actually quite hard to KO opposing equipment nowadays. Yeah. Most of it's yeah, indestructible. It but um, no, if you have something, I believe if it says remove from the game, that is the same as KO'd because it would be scored and in order to KO or right in order now, to score something, it needs to be KO'd. I'm but, a biased. How does this work with John Walker's shield? His straight uh, up that, that KO, KO'd, right? right? Yeah, so when John Walker KOs an opposing character... So if, if I was playing Captain Professor America's X shield. against John Oh, no, nope, never mind. You don't. You just remove it from the game. Sorry. You remove his shield from the game. You don't KO it. That's so lame. That'd have been great because then you wouldn't have KO'd it, right? So then he wouldn't have gotten his Battle Fury. Yeah, it been a weird like, counter. I don't know. Dawn. I don't know because personally, I think remove from game. It's removed. Do you think it it's gets KO'd? scored? Okay. And it's so, scored. if you're going to distinguish between remove from game and KO, this is KO. Like, yeah. I don't. I just don't think there's like a good ruling out there where, like, maybe I'm completely That's wrong, tough. but I don't feel like there's a good ruling out there where they, they're like, oh no, there is KO, and then there is remove from game. Both are scored. But like one is one and the other is the other. It's like now nah, that yeah, if it's removed from the game, it's just KO'd, right? Like it's if it's scored and That's it's removed right. from the game. I don't know. Weird Anyhow. rule stuff. Anyways, Professor That's X. The X of Swords set. Hey, that's the X of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Check out all these mutants. Uh, overall, we did the set review. So, Simeon, what are you thinking? Uh, how much of the set you think you're gonna buy? How? What do you What do you feeling on this? I'm, I'm really big into the organized play, the storyline organized play. Okay. Um, okay. This specific set, there's, it's mostly rares. Like, I really want some of these chases. I think they look really fun. Um, obviously, the main thing I want from this set is the uh, tarot cards, which, um, just like an FYI to anyone out there listening, tarot cards so far from what we've seen, it's like. 50 50 in a brick if like a booster will have one so a decent amount of tarot cards like five to six tarot cards in a brick be happy with that it's a higher distribution than id cards it's higher than team up cards it's higher than any other yeah. anything that they've released in boosters like as far as like an extra thing so the price for tarot cards should not be any higher than like five to ten like on the Hopefully. average there might be Hopefully, one that's like yeah. really good or really rare or something right but on the average i think they're gonna like settle to around five ten bucks each. Yeah. so please I do not pay 20 plus or whatever yeah. some people are asking it's a little I extreme wait. just yeah. wait guys because there's no crazy big tournaments coming up where you need the tarot cards here no, soon they're not gonna not be legal world. at gen con which is nope, not legal at gen con weekend. so and they, yeah, don't worry they about would them. be legal at Worlds, but at that point, uh, enough of the set will have been distributed. Um, right. That being said, I think I'm going to go with a single case and then some okay. uh, secondary market. I'm mostly trading for tarot cards if I can, but again, yeah. I'm going to wait because some people are like, oh, I'll get like some super rares for you for these tarot. And I'm like, no. Mm. No, yeah, I will, no, I'll give you like a chase and you'll give me 30 tarot cards. <laughs> Uh, I'll definitely I, yeah. looking at the set. I'll probably pick up some Kerr here and there. Probably not a full Kerr set, but uh, you know, honestly, it's going to be a singles slash Kerr for some me personally. Equipments like, like some of the about best it. equipments are in the. That's what I'm comedy. thinking. Yeah. Like picking up like the Kerr for the rare equipment and stuff isn't a bad isn't a bad choice. And then none of the super rares were like crazy for me. But like again, I do want Merlin. I do want to play with White Sword. Like those are probably the figures I want to play with the most. Or in Death seemed really cool. Those equipment seem really good. So I think like snagging the chases I want, snagging the Kerr, I'll be I'll be good. I think I'll be good to go after that. But yeah, I dig it. I dig this set. It's just not a next men guy. You know, everybody knows this. I'm not an X Men dude. I don't really care about getting um any of the tarot cards personally. So I'll just like whatever. Pick up Kerr and I'll be satisfied. Dang, Summoner's cool though. Can't can't not admit. Maybe I'll also yeah, let's pick summoner up summoner. With that smoke cloud poison. Whoa! Oh, that's right. The it, starter starter set characters summoner. occupying the smoke cloud uh, markers as adjacent. Very. He's good. just as good as the main set Punisher. That's uh, Punisher Summoner. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, that's the Ten of Swords set review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you're going to buy the set. Let us know if any of this. If you're listening to this on your way to Gen Con, 
I doubt it. Gen Con's happening right now. If you're listening to this on the morning of Gen Con, you should already be there. What are you doing, bro? Are you lost? Uh, But no, really quick, shout out to everybody going to Gen Con. Good luck out there. Hope you have a fun, safe weekend doing all that jazz. Um, Yeah, pick up all those Connellys. Enjoy some Indianapolis stuff. Had to recommend one place to go in Indianapolis. It would be the same place I always go whenever I go low enough. That is Steak and Shake. I don't have one up here. <laughs> steak and Shake is so good. They are literally, they always, you know what? Steak and Shake always knows how to make a chocolate shake correctly. So that's one thing they got going for them. Culver's. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's Ten of Swords. Really quick, I want to shout out uh, all our $15 and above Patreon members. We have Darth Jono 22 Ethan Jacobs, Matt Reed, Alex Morris, and Chance McCall. That's the Patreon. You get a ton of cool, exclusive content, behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, podcasts. Ooh, ah, yeah, that's right. You think these were all the podcasts we make? No, there's at least one other podcast that's Patreon exclusive, which is like movie reviews and all this like fun nerd stuff. It's not necessarily HeroClix related. All sorts of cool action tokens and bystanders. I don't know, Simeon. There's a there's a ton of bystanders in this set. I I don't think we can make them all. That's oh. a lot of cosplay for us to do. Um, we yeah. might make a set of them. I think if we vote, may, we might do a poll on our Patreon to see what are they going to be the Captain most Britain used Corps. bystanders. Uh, Captain Britain Corps, Jonathan, all of the maybe. summoner summoner guys, Captain Britain Corps, and then Damon. like Nimrod. I feel like Maybe not. Damon, Damon could oh, be Damon created by sure. two people. Damon for um, sure. Captain maybe. Britain Corps for sure. I still say we make summoners no matter what because I personally want summoners. Oh, you want, I also you personally want, want cosplay Durr. Yeah, I'll do Durr, Galdur. Durr. And Durr and all the other weird Durr. ones. Um, but yeah, we'll have to figure out. Like, straight up, we're not making all the cuckoos. I don't, I don't care. Just say this yeah. is a perplex one. That's the problem. We're not doing that. We're not getting in drag that many times. It's not going to happen. We're not making cuckoos. Sorry, guys. Yeah, my weekends are already filled. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, um, but we might do a poll to see like who, like how many of these tote bystanders we want made. Disney Plus, it was easy. There's two bystanders. Well, there's five, but this this is an, a nutty amount of bystanders. Thank you, Six of Swords, Ten of Swords. Um, but we'll see. But either way, you'll see. And also, we're gonna have some pretty cool. I might make some T-shirt designs. Recently, I had to order some T-shirts because uh, we want to look dapper and stuff. I might, I might make ch- chainsaw chip maybe come into a T-shirt. I don't know. <laughs> At the very least, I'm gonna commission someone to draw a picture yeah. of Chip with a chainsaw. And if you're if you're people. wondering what that's in reference to, at some point, the uh, best Maybe. of video for our six-hour live stream will yes. be released. Thousand and, subscribers. Uh, oh, yeah. Many shout-out to the YouTube. Thousand subscribers. Big. Yeah. You mentioned this the first time we quote-unquote recorded this episode, but that's what made us happy this last week, and it still is what made me happy this week. I'm very yeah. happy um, that we got to do the live stream. Very happy the amount of support you guys have shown for the YouTube channel. This has been so fun. It's so fun making these uh, stupid fun videos, and we, we love doing a, it. We do have a post up on Facebook or up on YouTube. Uh, oh yes! So if you subscribed, uh, make sure you check that post to see yes. if you won. Um, and if you messages. yeah, if you entered the contest, if you commented on thousand subscriber giveaway video okay. with your favorite Dial H for Hero Hooks video, or well, no, we already know the Deadpool is getting given away. We got in contact with that person, but yeah, if you want to see all the stuff that you won, potentially. You weren't able to tune into the live stream. We have it all written out there with all the winners and all the stuff they won. Yep. We do need your address. You have to get in touch with Dial H at so either Dial H probably at be... gmail.com or ask us on Facebook. Yeah. Dial H Hero on Facebook. So you let us know. Try to ship those out within a week or two here. It's probably it's a lot like of the stuff. last big uh, live stream kind of giveaway, like subscriber yes. count giveaway that we do for a while. Yeah. Um, I don't see us hitting 2,000 or 3,000 or like any other milestone anytime soon. Not super soon, yeah. But uh, we will do like smaller giveaways fairly frequently. Uh, anytime yeah. a set releases, anytime we just have extra product that we feel like we can give out, kind of thing. Um, I got all these ID cards I don't want anymore. Uh, yeah, so beautiful. maybe we'll throw yeah, those beautiful. in somewhere. Um, they're great for. Silver Age play. Something oh boy! For that Simeon just has Green people's Lantern, hero Captain Clicks experience. America, agent, experience. Uh, yeah. yeah. Would Thanks. you like to ruin your friend's time at Hero wow. Have they just realized what powers do? Time to introduce 
Would you like I to do, absolutely destroy them in a completely unfair game of Silver Age? Well, boy, howdy, do I have the thing for you. If you hate fun, check Colin, this out. Call in Wolverine twice. Um, yeah. X of Swords, it's going to be released here on Cool Stuff Inc. in a few days or hours. Oh, yeah, pretty soon now, yeah. Um, so they tend to release stuff either Thursday or Friday after the set drops. But at this point, you can still get the Play at Home kit get yourself a map and a pyro you can still pre-order a booster brick or case and single booster packs so all that stuff uh the dice and token packs are 13 dollars plus tax and shipping uh the miniature game is 60 dollars plus tax and shipping um right use code dial five save five percent and if you hit that hundred dollar mark it's free shipping so do all of that check them out coolstuffing.com happy trails I say Simeon that thing above your head looks like a health bar this entire time and I've just thought of it as Simeon's health bar I think it's hilarious <laughs> that's a card box is it a card box that's I was like what is a that card box because I'm oh, sorting man. stuff back there oh <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. pretty good yeah <laughs>